Hello, everybody. We're about to uh, light the bonfire. Uh, welcome and thanks for being here. I appreciate everyone being here. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday evening. So let's uh, burn some stuff and and maybe talk uh, some politics. Let's see who is here. Gap after dark. Hello. Hello to you. Disney sheep herder. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for being here. We're going to get the fire going. Got a beverage? Where's the bond? Hmm? Where's the bond? It's coming. It's going to be a good fire. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> See. Okay. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure that'll that'll be just fine. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Saturday afternoon bonfire chat. The sun is just going down. Got about another hour of light. Hopefully you can hear. Okay. Hopefully, testing, testing, one, two. Holy crap, look at all the people we have in the chat. Hi. Hello and welcome. Uh, PVP, hi. Hello to you. Right, so we're checking sizes. Yeah, they're going to be big logs. They're going to be big logs. Hi, Reniel, hello. Welcome. Good to see you here. Sun's just going down. You're a couple hours ahead of me. Yeah, great to see you all. Thanks for being here. Fantastic. Gorilla's random thoughts. Hi. Hey, Spidey. I tagged you in a post. Uh, bonfire. My bonfire is bigger than yours. Well, mine just started. Give me, give me five minutes, buddy. <laughs> it gets bigger. Believe me. Try rubbing it. It definitely gets bigger. Yeah. Good to see y'all. Thanks for being here. Uh, Disney Sheep Herder. Uh, sadly, I'm working at no drink for me. Well, uh, I have a drink. Uh, hopefully you can hear the snap crackle of the fire here in a minute. 
Uh, I have a slushy because it's still pretty hot out. It, it was t-shirt and shorts weather today. So I have a slushy uh, with some rum, with some delicious rum in it. So we got about five shots of rum in here. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, gorillas, random thoughts. Yeah, your bonfire is bigger than my. Well, give it, give it five minutes, buddy. All right. So yeah, um, I'd love to talk uh, a little bit of politics tonight. I think. Why not? Let's talk some free speech. Uh, let's talk about maybe what's going on in Scotland. Hello, Rennie. And oh, I think I see. Yes, uh, Pleasant Valley Picker says, hey, gorillas, put it on a stream so we can confirm that. That's right. Pictures or your fire is not bigger than mine. Tyron Lethbridge. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Hey, if you want to talk politics, let me know. Um, so you and I had talked about uh, streaming, and I know I know we're overdue. So uh, uh, hit me up if, if you'd like to. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We, we got talked about the Second Amendment. Um on Manorama with Rancor Steve on Tuesday. And I kind of, it got me thinking, you know, um, I wouldn't mind discussing the Second Amendment. I think Australia and Canada, um, maybe it's time we had a version of, of, of the Second Amendment. And we don't have anything written in law in Canada that guarantees our freedom of speech either. And uh, that's becoming more and more important. So maybe it's time we had something actually written down that actually guarantees, with teeth, that actually guarantees our freedom of speech. And and the best way to ensure my freedom of speech is by having my firearms and, and ammunition, really. Uh, Thomas Jefferson uh, said that. The, the, Thomas Jefferson said the best reason to own firearms as a, as a responsible citizen is to protect the against uh, tyranny from the government. He specifically said that. Makes sense to me. See? Fire's getting bigger. We're just getting started. I haven't even put... That's just scraps. That's leftovers from, from the last bonfire. I haven't even put the six-foot logs on yet. That's length, not diameter. <laughs> Gotta love these paper straws. Shout out to the inventor of the paper straw. I love you so much. Why don't you come over here and I would, I'll would i give you hugs. I'll give you hugs for inventing paper straws. Let me hug you very, very tightly. Around the neck. Wow, what a great... What's, there's 10 people watching. That's fantastic. We just started the fire. Disney Sheep Herder says, uh, you have fans of Canadians and loyal sheep. Yes, I'm very loyal to Disney Sheep Herder. Absolutely. Love sheep. Without sheep, we couldn't do much. Hi, Jedi Bill. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Saturday Night Bonfire. Uh, it's, it's not quite karaoke. I don't have karaoke. I can't sing Jedi Bill. Uh, so I know you, you have some fabulous... I'm rubbing black on my face. Great. I know you have some great um, uh, karaoke streams, uh, Jedi Bill. I can't sing for shit. So I can make fire, though. So I can make fire for the people. I can't entertain them with songs like you. But I can at least make fire for the people. And, and people like watching fire. So it kind of works out. Continue with the singing thing, though, uh, Jedi Bill, because we need more singing and music in this world. Uh, you didn't use enough gas. <laughs> Ten gallons should do it. I didn't use a drop of gas. You saw how quickly that lit up from nothing. I used wood that was already dried and burning from uh, a couple nights ago. And the birch bark. I always start my fire with birch bark if, if it's available, 100%. That's right. My bonfire is a grower, uh, not a shower. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Hello and welcome. Good to see you, Lisa. 
And oh, greetings from the edge of time. Hello to you, sir. Uh, greetings from uh, the middle of British Columbia, uh, south anyway. Welcome to the bonfire. Pull up a chair. There's a lot of room. Oh, fantastic. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us on a Saturday night, folks. Um, yeah, talk. I, I think the Second Amendment is a good place to start. Does Canada need a Second Amendment? Because really, right now, there is nothing in writing stopping Pretend we had a prime minister that acted like a tyrant. I know that's a bit of a stretch, but just pretend we had a prime minister that didn't care about the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Because it is, after all, a piece of paper. There's nothing to stop our governments from freezing your bank accounts. There's nothing to stop our government from censoring you and shutting down your entire online presence. If I say the wrong thing, you will not see me on YouTube or Twitter at all. I will be gone from the internet if the government so chose. So what's to stop that from happening? Well, according to Thomas Jefferson, the citizens own firearms and are responsible in their use. That will stop the government from being a tyrant and taking control because their natural inclination is to gain more power and control. That's just how the world works. Uh, any student of history would know that to be a truism. Uh, so the Second Amendment, maybe it's time Canada looked at having a Second Amendment. I, I love this country. It, I, I was born in a fantastic country. I would like to see it get back to its former glory. Because we're, we got a black eye right now, uh, for good reason. Um, I don't know, maybe starting with, with looking at our Constitution. Uh, we, our Charter of Rights is, is not strong by itself. It's just a piece of paper. Everyone saying hello. This is just frozen all to shit. I can't get anything out of here. I've been sucking on it for 10 minutes and nothing's coming out. They are frozen solid. Holy shit. See, and now I, I don't want to hold them too close because they're paper, right? They need to melt first. Turn them upside down. See if that works. Uh, I hate those straws. Flimsy as fuck. Yes, they are, Rennie L. And thanks for joining us around the fire here. Thanks a lot. Uh, everyone needs and should be able to have a 50 caliber belt fed and some <laughs> Tomahawk missiles, says the random, uh, Gorilla's Random Thoughts. Yep. Yeah. As long as they're responsible in their use. Yeah, why not? What could possibly go wrong? I was going to say paper straws suck. Yeah, they do, Lisa. Absolutely. Hello to everybody. Thanks for being here. Holy shit. We have 31 people watching live. Welcome to the bonfire. If I can convince my buddy to throw some more wood on, we'll keep going. Stone racket. Hello. Yeah. I saw you streaming earlier, man. It was really good to see you. Um, I forget uh, who I saw you on. Was it Appio? It might have been. Hi, Gap After Dark. Good to see you. Edge of Time says, I'm doing my part to keep my spirits high. Excellent. I think I know what you meant there. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, we're going to. Oh, you're throwing the birch on. Oh, you're going for the big boys. All right. Well, there's 35 people watching on YouTube and uh, another 20 on X, I think. That's. Yep. That's how you start a fire. Throw a birch log on it. What's that? About five feet, five and a half feet long, six feet. Yeah. And there's some pine. Throwing some pine on. Nice, hey, buddy. My buddy Cassius. Now, we got birch, we got pine. Perfect. Excellent for political discussions. Hello. Hey, Jacob. Good to see you, Jacob Ironside. Thanks for being here. Sun's just going down. Just adding more wood to the fire. 
We're having a little talk about uh, politics in general. Although the sun is streaming right into my eyes, so uh, it makes it difficult to read the chat. Mm. Tyron says, I would love to go on, come on uh, tonight, mate. Okay, uh, but I have to be at work in about 10 hours. Okay, cool. Uh, if you get talking politics and World War II, uh, then I won't sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, peace and love to you all. Hey, good to see you, Tyron. Thanks for being here, buddy. I appreciate it. And, and yeah, good luck at work. Try not to work too, too hard. Add your time. <laughs> Plush sweet envy. This is pretty good. This is a delicious. This is pretty good. The slush puppy with rum. This is the uh, green apple. Uh, and it's just delicious. The green apple uh, lime. Good combination with the spiced rum. Captain Morgan. Wow, that's awesome. The birch and the pine really, really take off. That's excellent. Good to see you. Saying hello. Hi. Hey, Lord Toth. Good to see you. Excellent to have you here. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Bonfire uh, Slushy Politics uh, chat. And PVP says So, armed insurrection will solve uh, bad government. No. No. Armed, armed insurrection should never, it should never come to that. The fact that your populace is armed will ensure that your government stays true. We've seen examples where that doesn't happen. Korea comes to mind. Um, you know, uh, when you take the people's arms away, uh, there's nothing keeping the government true. It should never come to armed insurrection. It should never come to that. And it used to be back in the day that the big caliber weapons were owned, more civilians owned the big caliber weapons than the government did. The government had to play catch up back in the day. I don't have a problem with that as long as, uh, you know, as long as we have the laws that are in place uh, and as long as they're enforced. Uh, no, uh, you, without arms, there's nothing stopping the government from doing whatever the fuck, as you can see in, in, in some places around the world. And it to some extent, Canada, the government's pretty much there without parliamentary debate. They enacted uh, lockdowns and closures. No parliamentary debate violated the Constitution, which has been proven in court repeatedly. They violated the Constitution. Will they face consequences for that? I don't know. But we better put something in place to make sure that they can never do that again. Never. They literally told us who we could have fucking Christmas with. I'm a free man. No way. Turns out everything they told us was wrong. Oh, you're protecting the population. You don't want to spread the virus, right? Mm-hmm. Everything they said was wrong. Everything. Pretty much. They're batting 100% for being wrong. That is what she said. That is absolutely what she said. Mm. Thanks for being here. The sun is going down. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Evening. Getting into the evening now. Got a beautiful birch and pine uh, fire going. We have 42 people watching on YouTube and half as many again on, on X. That is excellent. Hello and welcome. Um, yeah, I, armed insurrection, it should never come to that. Um, I couldn't agree. I, I think we both agree with uh, on that, um, PVP. Um, it should never come to armed insurrection. The point of having an armed populace is that it will never come to that, right? Uh, you're setting yourself up with comments uh like that but yeah i am yeah i know yeah 
I can't help myself, man. I'm a comedian. Even if the joke is at my own expense, it's better to have the joke. Uh, I know. Get steel straws. PVP, you're right. You're absolutely right. And and uh, we do have steel straws in the house. It's just I couldn't. I didn't think of it. I forgot we had them. But we do have steel straws. And they kick ass. You're right. And glass. Glass and steel. Although if you drop glass, it's not as fun. Uh, Orville Nation. Hi, PJ. Welcome to you. Um, I'm not trying to do blackface. I, I rubbed my... I was playing in the fire and I rubbed my face. I, I'm not trying to make a political statement with the blackface. I'm not Trudeau. Uh, you got the best studio ever, Spidey. Hey, thanks, Orville Nation. Absolutely. Hey, uh, PJ, if you want to talk politics, if you want to talk the Second Amendment... Um, Pull up a seat, man. There, there's. Uh, I, I know I was talking. You're another fella that uh, we talked about streaming, and 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 I've mentioned it, and uh, we just haven't had it happen. So, um, but I've I've watched a lot of what you have to say, and uh, I'd, I'd love to have a discussion, an intellectual discussion with you. It is a pretty good uh, studio. We still got the blue sky. There are no clouds up there. I don't know if it's capturing it very well on the camera, but there are no clouds up there. The sun is just setting another 40, 45 minutes. We got birch and pine on the giant campfire. It's a beautiful studio. It really is. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, Stone Racket asks our friends, have either of you gorillas or Pleasant Valley? Heard from Pop Culture Curator. I'm hoping to visit all of you in the tab tonight. Yeah, I have heard. Uh, I've seen him around um, just yesterday. Just yesterday, I did see. Hello, everybody. Hi, welcome. Pull up a chair around the fire. We got we got some big wood on there, and uh, some interesting discussions, some adult conversations. I, I, you know, the most important thing is keeping emotion out of debate. If you want to have because as soon as it gets emotional, feelings get hurt. And and that is not the goal. The goal is to foster better understandings and, and maybe come to an agreement on both sides. Although not always. But I think at least the idea is to each side at least develop a little better understanding of, of the subject, whatever they're discussing. And, and emotions um, don't help with that. So I'm a big fan of debating without name calling and without emotions if and that's hard that is because you know it's a really some of these topics are passionate holy crap absolutely especially if you have family family that may have been victims of, of gun violence then you're gonna have a different perspective on 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 uh, on, on on the second amendment although in Canada, what is it? It's some ridiculous number, like 89 or 87 percent. I forget what the number was, but it was super high. It was really it, it made an impression on me. Um, it, you know, some 90 percent of the crimes that are committed in Canada are created, uh, are committed with illegal firearms. Licensed gun owners in Canada that are certified are among the most responsible firearms in the world. Otherwise, during hunting season, you would see the shootings and go way, way up. Surprisingly, they don't at all, ever, in any province. Um, so they're, you know, but I can appreciate emotions on both sides. It's just, um, if you want to come to an understanding, it's best to just be logical about it and and try and not be emotional about some pretty, pretty touchy subjects, really. Hi, Andy Masterson. Hello and welcome. Um, yeah, I bet you have some opinions on the Second Amendment, uh, Andy, because uh, you were at Manorama. You were on the panel uh, having some excellent, excellent points about the Second Amendment. So good, good to see you, sir. And wow, the chat is on fire. I'm doing a, not a good job of keeping up. Uh, we went from plastic straws wrapped in paper to paper straws wrapped in plastic. That's right, gorillas. Yep. Sounds about right, doesn't it? <laughs> Good to see you, Renny and PJ. Uh, hello, everyone saying hello. Thanks for being here, everyone. Wow, this is a fantastic. 
45 people watching. Holy crap. Um, yeah, well, it's a beautiful scene. We're in the middle of the woods. Blue sky. We have a slushy. It's n not all rum. There's mostly there's mostly slushy in here. Got a great like fire half going and on. Half. It's not half and half. Got a good buddy Cassius here with us. He loaded up the fire for us. Thanks for being here, everybody. Um, yeah, there's some, it's good to have political discussions without without getting hurt feelings over it, and then you can truly come to some understandings. You know, some maybe some 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 epiphanies even. Uh, I think we need to have the right to bear plastic straws. <laughs> Steel straws and plastic. You know what? I'd agree with that. Write it right into the Constitution. Why not? Absolutely. The right to bear plastic straws. Now, in Canada, it's funny. Um, we don't have necessarily the right to bear arms. It's just it's always been part of our British common law. Things... Our, our law works on precedent. And, and if we've always had arms, we've always had firearms, it, it just becomes, it's not written, but it's it's our right to have them. And and so they make laws to restrict their use to for safety reasons. But it's not a bad idea to have something in writing saying, yes, in fact, we do have the rights to bear firearms, especially living out in the country. If I'm cooking bacon, on a Saturday morning, and a bear comes through the door, I'm not going to be able to negotiate with that bear. No matter how many languages I speak, it's not going to happen. Everybody's saying hello to everybody. Well, it's great to have so many friends around the bond. I've never had 45 people around a bonfire before. No, that's not true. Boy Scouts. There were some pretty big jamborees in Boy Scouts in Guelph. Anyone's been to Guelph? Guelph. There's no F's in Guelph. Weird. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Oh, hello, Miss Cantonic Madman. Hey, great to see you. Really good to see you. Man, you are all over the place. You're everywhere. Really good to see you. Um, Andy Masterson is saying hello to everybody. Thanks for being here. Granny as well. Um, I mean, you can, if the population's not, not armed, you can hope that your government has your best interests at heart. And I grew up for the first 30 years of my life believing that. And they why would they need a check? Our system is made on checks and balances, right? That is pretty much constitutional monarchy, democracy, republic. It's, it's a system of checks and balances. And the check against the government using the military to just take control, which has happened in history, has happened and will happen and can happen. Ask anyone from Cambodia. I've been to the museums in Cambodia. You know, it can and will happen. So the, the check against that is to have an armed populace, but there has to be rules so that they don't go shooting themselves. And understand that. Hey, Raquel. Hello and welcome, Raquel. I'm glad to see you. Thanks for being here. We have 51 people watching this uh, bonfire tonight. This is That's all right. That's pretty good. Not bad. And that's on YouTube. Uh, and half of that again on X. So great to see you. Tim's talk on your left. Good to see you. Polar bear run. Yes, I did run to the store to get a Slurpee slushy. If uh, that's what you're talking about. Absolutely. Fantastic. Wow. There's uh, a lot of good friends in the chat. Thank you for being here tonight. You know, um, when you talk, see, I'm not too worried. I know a lot of a lot of channels don't talk politics, especially sensitive subjects, because n number one, you get hurt feelings. 
if people get emotional about things and you gotta, you gotta, I don't want to say walk on eggshells, but you have to be diplomatic. Fortunately, I studied that in school. So I do, I've always been a little bit of a diplomat, any of my work environments or any of any groups I was in. So I, I think we can handle that. But the other thing is I'm not monetized and I doubt YouTube will ever monetize my channel based on what I've said and done. Uh, so I'm not scared. I'm not worried. There's no restrictions here. There's no censorship here. We can talk about whatever the hell we want. That's pretty good slushy puppy. Yes, it is Raquel. Uh, the Rush song, The Trees, is coming to mind. Yeah, PVP. I love Rush. Fantastic Canadian band. The best Canadian band ever? Possibly. Fans of the Tragically Hip might argue with that. Fans of uh, Chilliwack. Hell of a nice town. Hell of a name for a band, too. Uh, Tyron Lethbridge, did you get a chance to say hi to our Orville Nation? Hello. Good to see you again. All of you. Tyron, Rennie, Orville, PJ. Tyron's got an opinion on the Second Amendment. Um, Tyron was on the Manorama stream. Uh, if you're not familiar with Manorama, uh, folks, uh, Rancor Steve does a Manorama talk every Tuesday night around uh, 7 p.m. Pacific on Rumble. And, and now on YouTube as well. It's a men's health program. Uh, we promote men without putting others down. And by others, I mean trans and lesbians and women. Um, you know, we, we are positive towards men without being negative towards anyone else. So on Manorama, we did talk about the Second Amendment last Tuesday. And Tyron happens to work uh, at a place with guns. So... Uh, yeah, he was on the, on the panel. It was a great discussion. So I thought it was a good discussion to continue. That Australia does not have a Second Amendment. Australia it, now, my understanding is, and I and I've spent, I've lived in Australia. I've spent a lot of time in Western Australia and Queensland. And I know that if you're a farmer, you can own a firearm. You can own a, a, a shotgun, but it's it's restrictive. I know it's really restrictive. And the Australians faced some of the worst lockdowns ever seen in a civilized history ever, especially Melbourne in Victoria. If they were an armed populace to the extent that America is, do you think the government would have been confident enough to get away with that and pull that shit? Turns out it didn't help Jack shit. It actually might have hurt. I mean, we'll wait. I mean, if we'll ever get a true study, true true evidence it's hard to say but there's a lot of circumstantial evidence that is saying that actually hurt a lot more people than it helped if it was an armed populace to the extent that the americans are armed would they have had the balls to go that far any australians that want to have that discussion um i've spent a good part of my life in australia i'm i have family in australia right now my little brother's down there raising a family uh, he's a citizen, actually, uh, now. Um, I have a great affinity to Australia. I once thought that I wanted to retire and live in Australia. It's a lot warmer than Canada. But after seeing the lockdowns and after seeing just how easily the people bent over, and you know what I mean when I say that, they literally bent over and the government just went at it with no loop. Um, like, and, which is fine. If there's parliamentary debate about it, you're in, acting in the par people's best interests. You know, it's a crisis. It's an emergency. Budget and rules go out the window, apparently. No, because you've planned for this. We pay you to plan for shit like this. No, you don't throw the windows and the budget out the window. You have a plan and you respond accordingly. A and uh, the lockdowns weren't debated. Anytime you... If you're following science, science is nothing but discourse. Science is debate and discourse and experimentation and then reflection. You examine the results and you move forward. Science is not, oh God, what does the public think? Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's do this. Nah. 
I, yeah. So I, my heart goes out to Australia and, and I think they were done dirty. Uh, they were done dirty. And if it was an armed populace, would the government have had the balls to do that? That's a good question. Oh my God. The chat is exploding. Uh, all right, let's keep up with the chat. I'm, I'm just, I'm still trying to work out how to do the whole YouTube thing. It's only been three years, folks. I'm trying to get better. Uh, Stone Racket says, Canadian Spider-Man. I've never been one of those bond. I've never been to one of the bonfire things. I don't know what the heck I'm doing yet. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, Stone Racket. First thing is you pull up a seat. You notice where the wind is blowing and you don't sit downwind from the bonfire. That's your first mistake. A lot of people make that mistake. The second mistake is if you touch the bonfire, don't go rubbing your face because people will think you're doing a Trudeau impression. Uh, also, you get a, a nice a beverage and you make sure it's big because you don't want to get up too often. If you're comfy, <laughs> you're facing the fire, you get a comfy seat, you can sit in for a while. You make sure you've got water handy. We've got the hose right there in case anything goes wrong. Got a neighbor on standby over there. He can sort of see me. We got shovels. We got a phone list. We're good. Uh, the next thing you want to do is is make sure uh uh that people can hear you so hopefully i'm hoping that uh this microphone is picking up some of the the fire hopefully you can hear some of the the noises the crackling from the fire that is the whole point of having a bonfire stream is, is to have some of the ambiance the ambiance of, of of a bonfire yeah gathering around the campfire so that's what you know what find a neighbor hold their hand Especially if they look good in a bikini, and you'll be fine. No need to panic. We're all in this together. That's the thing. Um, humanity, actually, people get depressed. There's, oh, there's so much trouble in the world right now. You know what? Overall, there's less starvation in the world than ever before. Uh, there are deserts. That, land that was once deserts are being cultivated and turning green in, in Africa. More than ever before. We have less famine. Uh, in natural disasters, we've dropped casualties in the last 100 years. We've dropped casualties from natural disasters by like 90%. We have antibiotics. Humanity is doing pretty damn good. We, ha we have social media so to talk with each other, you know? Wow. Holy crap. 54 people watching. Thank you for joining us on a Saturday night. The bond. See, the sun's just about. It's down behind the trees there now. We're not getting direct sunlight in my eyes. So I, I can actually see the chat. We still have blue sky up behind us. There's robins making noises. Uh, we have birch and pine in the fire. Get some fi You can't tell maybe from where you are, but those are five foot long uh, logs, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Uh, pull up a chair. We're all friends here. Um, even if you have completely different opinions, if I don't at least protect your right to say your opinion, what good am I? You know, I may not agree with you, but anyone that wants to censor you or me, I have a big problem with them. Hi, Lord Toth. Great to see you, buddy. Suzanne Eckstein. Hello. Hello and hi to you. Welcome. Welcome to you. Pull up a seat around the fire. We've got 53 people on YouTube and it, half of that on X. It's going to be a big circle, but uh, uh, those of you who know each other, try sitting on each other's laps. Make some new friends. Get cozy. We'll throw some more wood on here. Raquel, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Raquel is... A wonderful uh, wrench. And uh, I see you all the time here, Raquel. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Jacob Ironside, just saying hello to everybody. Gorillas. A lot of people know each other. And if you don't know, if, if you're new here, uh, I say this a lot. Uh, if you're watching and, and you don't know, it doesn't cost anything to say hello in the chat. You can type as much as you want in the chat. It's all free. Hitting the like button. It's also free and the subscribe 
It's all free. There's not many things free anymore. And there's no carbon tax on them. You can hit the like button and you will not be carbon taxed on it. That's, fuck all the that's, that's funny to Canadians. Probably not funny to... Well, it's not funny to Canadians, actually. <laughs> Orville Nation says... I heard... I think ARG might have a tailored uh, response uh, just for time and all Thai. Uh, thank you. LOL. I heard rating about Ty calling him booger. I don't know this person. Not sure. Plus, I have my contacts in for seeing long distance, so I can't... It's hard for me to read. Getting older, eh? Getting older. It's hard to read shit. I need big text. And I... You laugh, I can still fucking do a handspring. I can still do three handsprings in a row. As long as I can do a handspring. That's all I care. <laughs> Gorilla's Random Thoughts says, It's not insurrection when your government uh, betrays you. And it's definitely not treason if you win. You know what? You're right. Uh, again, uh, was it... No, I don't know if it was Thomas Jefferson or... Or Benjamin Franklin, because he, he also had a strong opinion on a lot of these uh, topics. But it is actually, as citizens of a country, America or Canada, doesn't matter, or England, because uh, we do have some people watching from the UK, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, your duty as a citizen, as a, as a citizen of that country, if, if you see your government acting in tyrannical ways, it's your duty as a citizen, on behalf of your other citizens, to stand up, and there are quotations to that effect. And if I had William Shakespeare here, he would be in the background uh, typing up and, and bringing us those quotations. But I have read them. I have them saved on my laptop. Uh, I can't bring them up by memory, but more or less, I'm paraphrasing. Basically, as a citizen, if you see your government acting in tyrannical ways, it is your duty as said citizen to stand up and protest against it. <laughs> And a lot of hellos. Wow. A lot of people. <laughs> you need your arms. Oh, for hugging, you mean. Yeah, you need your arms. Push-ups and pull-ups. Pull-ups and push-ups every day, buddy. Every day. Pull-ups and push-ups. Highly recommended. Wow. You see, everyone knows here. Everyone knows everybody here. But if you don't know, if you're new and you don't know anyone in the chat, feel free. We don't bite unless you ask us to. Uh, say hello in the chat. <laughs> Tyron Lethbridge, a uh, very good friend, says, uh, Renny, no, I didn't get a chance to say hello. Our, I'm going to start collecting my snot and boogers to build my... I'm not going to read that. That's gross. It's about snot and boogers. What kind of a channel do you think I'm running here? Jeez, Dyron. So instead of continually mm. saying that, just continue talking rather than It's fantastic. No, it's, uh, saying hello to everybody, aka the Koof. Yes, the Koof. Um, Raquel, you can say, uh, as a wrench, please allow anyone to say anything about COVID. I do not care. Um, as long as, as long as no one's being malicious, uh, to anybody else. Um, because we're all here um hopefully as friends um yeah we we if they want to say covid19 like i said i they will never much for the shit that i've said on this channel they will never monetize me i'll have to go back and delete all my other content um so you can say covid19 you can say pandemic you can say lesbian you can say muff diver whatever you want on the channel um you know as long as we're not disrespecting others as long as we're behaving like adults um 
Now, Tyron Lethbridge says, Raquel, hey there. Good to see you. Hello, Captain. Hey, uh, where are you? Only here. Um, no, I'm on X as well and Rumble, although I'm not streaming on Rumble because I couldn't work that out in time. Right now, we're on YouTube and X. And in the future, I do have a Rumble channel that I upload all of this stuff to. And uh, I do hope to be strum streaming on uh, Rumble before long. Uh, I've just got to work out how to do that without upsetting YouTube. YouTube is in competition with Rumble right now. And they really don't like people. Like, they will get very upset about people uh, streaming on, on both platforms. But it, you got to be careful how you can do it. But it is possible. Um. Uh, Pleasant Valley Picker says, I think they may pay in the next election. Who may pay? Oh, the the people that it enforced a lot of the, yeah, the lockdowns and, well, because there was no parliamentary debate. So you reap what you sow, you know? Yeah. Um, I, just, I don't care who's in government. I don't care if it's 50% women. I don't care if it's 50% Brown people. I do not give a shit. Are they the best people to run the government? Are they the best people for the job? Do they care about Canada? Can they be bought? You know, are, are they are they free from bias? Do they have a genuine do they have a genuine desire to to do the best for the people? And are they qualified for the job? I don't care if they have four fucking arms. Do not care. They can wear a pink tutu every day. Do not care what they look like or what they believe in. Do not care. Are they good at the job? That's. Are you going to do a good job? If you're going to do a good job and you want to be there, you're not in it just for the money. Those are the. It's time to get those people back in in into Canadian politics, the people that actually want to do a good job. You know, the people that are there, not for the money. Uh, Orville Nation says, I wish I were sitting right there with you, Canadians. Orville Nation, PJ, dude, you are one dude I want to have a conversation with. I, I watch you, um, usually from the bushes um, behind your place, and you are one interesting dude, and I would love to have you on to have a conversation. You're an intelligent, um, well-spoken guy. Um, you know, I, I, I'd love to have you on. I don't agree with everything you say. But maybe that's even a better reason to have you on. So thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, tell your wife I said hi. No, I'm not going to say that to him. No. <laughs> I did not know you were on YouTube. This is John. Oh, hey, John. Yes. Holy shit, John. I certainly am on YouTube. I, yeah. Hey, John. I'm on YouTube. Absolutely. And X and on, on Rumble. Uh, on X, you can find me at spider underscore Canadian. And Rumble, I'm uh, Canadian Spider-Man. But, uh, yeah. I'm not wearing my Spider-Man mask, so you might recognize me. I, I My face is a little black-faced from the fire. I'm doing a Trudeau impression. Might be. I don't know. We'll see. That, uh, good. Yeah? The, the black face looks nice, Rennie. I'm glad you like it. Or you might be talking about the fire. You're probably talking about the fire, aren't you? Yeah. Had a bit of rum. This was a lot of rum, okay? A lot of rum in here. Um, I wish I had s'mores. Raquel, yes. I like the chocolate. The marshmallow... I've never had good experiences. In fact, I know people that have had like facial scars from marshmallow incidents around a campfire with flaming marshmallows and the flicking of the stick. I don't do s'mores anymore. There's been too many injuries. Now, you'd stick with a wiener. <laughs> John Sipola, hello. You are here. Good. I recognize you. Good to see you. Laughter is the best medicine, uh, Disney Sheep Herder. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yep. 57 channels and nothing on, but there's 57 people watching tonight. Thanks for being here. Um, 
not a bad fire. She's going all right. This is pretty dry. All of this stuff has been uh, standing, standing dead wood, standing dead uh, for at least a few years. Let it stand and then cut it down, buck it up into five foot lengths, throw it on just like that. Uh, we have pine and birch on the bottom. It'll burn the birch, the softwood and the hardwood combined uh, gives you the heat and the longevity from the hardwood and, and the softwood keeps uh, the fire uh, burning. It keeps it going. Softwood loves to burn. Good to see you. John Sippola. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce your last name. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the bonfire. Maybe another log? Do you mind? Thank you. I appreciate it. I've got a good friend, Cassius, uh, with me here, and he's assisting me with the uh, fire. We've had slushies and rum all day, folks. Pleasant Valley Picker, who loves, who, who loves, who, who loves BC, loves Canada, I know that for a fact, who lives not far away from me. And I hope to meet you uh, this, well, this summer, sir. Uh, PVP says, uh, I've seen a lot of government come and go. One thing they may, they have in common is they all become corrupt if they are in power for long enough. You are a little older than me, PVP. Yeah, you, you, you've got some years on me and you've got some experience on me. And I would agree with that statement. If they're in power long enough, they become corrupt. Uh, when I was living in Japan in 2004, it was the first time I was there, uh, the government, the LDP, uh, ooh, that's going 20 years of my memory, LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan, is that? There's no way I just pulled that out of my ass after 20 years. LDP, I think it is the LDP, uh, Liberal Democratic Party of Japan. Uh, they were in power for 45 years in a row. Oh, yeah. Might as well be. And it actually felt less free there than it did in China at the time, oddly enough. Conformity is a big thing over there. Wow, this is such a great chat. Fantastic chat. Thanks for being here. Thank you for doing that, Cassius. We got, see, we got the fire going now. What did you throw in there? More pine? Yeah. More pine. More pine. Wicked. I think that's all that's left. Oh, we got enough for we got enough for all night there. Oh yeah, there's lots. And of there's money. more over. There's more where that came from, folks. Okay, uh, don't burn yourself. Ah, he's a professional. He's a. He's been. We we. Canadians burn shit since we get firewood, what, it's starting at five years old? Get wood. Shit, and I thought my name was Get Wood until I was 10. <laughs> That's an old Eddie Murphy. That's an old, anyone who's older than 45. That's an old Eddie Murphy joke if you get that one. Tyron Lethbridge says, uh, please make sure you burn all. Uh, burn a thumb uh, for Steve? Oh. Please make sure you all burn a thumb for Steve, that's me, and share the stream uh, to all your friends. We could use a good turnout tonight and a good laugh. And we have uh, Tyrant. Absolutely. It's a fantastic bonfire. Fantastic bonfire. And I appreciate it. Thanks, Tyrant. Really appreciate that. Appreciate the thumbs up. Yeah, if it, it's free, folks. If, if you're new here and you haven't been here before, um, please know that it's free to comment in the chat. It's free to hit the like button and it's free to subscribe. Uh, there aren't too many free things in this world anymore. Bonfires are free until the oh, shit. Do we have to pay a carbon tax on this? We probably have to pay a carbon tax on this. It's free for now anyway, folks. So, um, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. <laughs> Uh, Tyron, how do I make you a wrench? A ban user. No, I don't want to ban you. Uh, put user in timeout. No, I don't want to do that. All right. When I figure out how to make you a moderator, uh, Tyron, I will because, um, you have a good head on your shoulders for an Australian. 
I'm kidding. I have family in Australia. Wow. That's so shit. I, I wish I had an Australian here to talk to. Uh, hashtag uh, not Trudeau. Agreed, Renny. I wish I had an Australian here to talk about Second Amendments and do countries like Canada and America need a Second Amendment? Good question. Uh, we should make it happen, bud. I agree. Or Orville Nation, absolutely. I would love to stream with you. 100%. Um, I mean, you're pretty big time, dude. You, you've got a big channel. I'm just a little guy. But, um, you know, I've been following you for a long time. We've known each other for a while. So, um, absolutely. If, if you want to talk politics, uh, I think we're linked. I think in X. I think, I think we do talk to each other in X. I think, you know, um, absolutely. I would love to do that. 100%. Whichever topic you, I mean, I'm more towards the, the, the Second Amendment right now. Um, but, uh, any topic I did study, uh, international politics in university for what that counts for. Um, my minor was, uh, in, in politics, international relations. And I've always had, you know, I volunteered at polling stations. I volunteered for various political parties. Um, I've always liked politics as, as long as. As long as there's no emotions and hurt feelings in it, you know, um, there's everyone's an adult here. I, I hope I, I purposely block children from this channel because occasionally we drop the f bomb. Uh, although we try to stay classy, we're burning pine after all. That's pretty classy. Uh, John Sipple says, Orville Nation, ha ha ha. Uh, you want to laugh? Uh, the post office doesn't not know. My later father is late it's here in Florida. I still rescue mail from him. Oh, okay. I get you. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see from this distance uh, without my glasses. Tyrant Lethbridge says, uh, Orville Nation, go on now, burger boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> BVP. Pop, no, you know, Pop's not on Rumble tonight. Okay. I do try and follow Pop every once in a while. Pop culture creator. Orville Nation says, uh, seen Pop yesterday, uh, but he canceled Rumblings tonight. Oh, Rumblings from the lab. Yeah, he's not feeling well. Yeah, uh, my heart goes out to Pop. Um, I don't know much, but I know a little bit. And um, you're in our thoughts, Pop. You're definitely in our thoughts. And um, there's no Rumblings from the lab tonight. I, I do drop in. I do at least uh, drop in and, and, and see you for a little, bu a little bit. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Pop. Um, hope you're doing well, man. You know, when uh, when you're not feeling well, you, you realize there's nothing, nothing more important than your health in this world, really. Your health and your freedom, I would say. Your health and your freedom. And freedom of speech, that's become a big topic right now big topic and and so it should be freedom of speech is important because if you don't if you don't have the right to criticize your government i mean what are you li living in china you're living in north korea at that point um you, you don't have any you don't have any way to criticize what your government is doing. You don't have freedom of speech. There's censorship. No, no. See, I, I, I've studied philosophy. It doesn't mean I'm certainly no friggin' expert, but I've studied philosophy. I've studied political science, I've studied anthropology, cultural, cultural anthropology. The whole reason as independent, sovereign human beings that we enter into an agreement in society is because we're going to be better off. We give up a little bit of our freedom so that as a community, we can all benefit. The only reason we enter into that agreement is because it benefits everybody. When it comes to the point where you are becoming as a citizen, being taken advantage of, and it's no longer working out in your best interests, and the agreement is rigged against you. 
then it's time to leave the agreement. It, it's no longer when you when do you end when you enter into civilization, philosophically speaking, you give up your rights as a free sovereign individual in hopes that we can all work together and create something better and more and it benefits everybody all across the board. And it went, when it gets to the point where as individuals you are no longer benefiting or only a few individuals are benefiting from it and it is lopsided, do you have to stay in that agreement? Do you have to continue getting taken advantage of? I was going to say something more graphic there. Um, I don't think so. It's a deeply philosophical question. I've read a hell of a lot of books, spent a, way too many hours in university libraries about it, had a lot of conversations with people, with people in more intelligent and less intelligent than I. It's a great question. It's a question that um, philosophers in Greece 3,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, were discussing. Fascinating. Saturday night. Around a campfire, around a bonfire, perfect time to discuss it. Uh, PVP says, and sorry, chat. Uh, yeah, we do want to keep up with the chat. Absolutely. Uh, that's why I generally avoid politics or religion. People can get worked up. They can PVP. And that's why I don't mind hosting this, this talk. Because I think I can say what I have to say without being emotional. And, and, and I think other people can do the same. And we can have a rational discussion as adults. We're adults. I mean, some of us have done some pretty amazing shit here. Some of us have, have given birth and raised kids. I mean, not me personally. Although, if I identify as a woman and I choose to do so, I will do that. But right now, I'm not choosing to do that. Uh, you know, so, some people have, have created businesses out of nothing. Uh, some people have, have gone through great hardship in, in, in this audience, in, in just this amount of people watching right here. So I think we can, uh, we can absolutely come together as adults and have a conversation, a half sober conversation with without emotion, and 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 have better understanding. I mean, that's why we're here, right? We're here on this planet um, to communicate with others. When when you're when you're canoeing on a lake and you see one see someone. Like five kilometers away on a beach, and you only see it, and you wave to them. They wave, they automatically wave back. They do. If you're way across somewhere and, and you wave to someone, they will wave back 19 times out of 20. Humans want to communicate. I think that's possibly why what what got us to, to come together as clans, as cavemen originally, and the ability to, to work together. Even if we don't, but I hope we don't all believe the same thing. Then we just become a giant echo chamber and we're going to be subject. I mean, that's the same thing. That's equivalent to genetic, a lack of genetic diversity. Basically, all the same opinion. Uh, you're headed for trouble. I don't want to agree with everybody. I have arguments with my friends all the time. They're always wrong, but, you know. Uh, good to have you here, Raquel. Thank you for being here. Good for being here. Thank you. I'm so I'm catching up on the chat. Sorry, uh, behind on the chat. Holy shit! Taylor Swift greater than Disney. Hey, Matt G. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for being here. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Um, Taylor Swift, man. Flapjacks. Ooh, I'm at a maple syrup though at at the moment. <laughs> I'm at a maple syrup at the moment. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> Thanks for being here, buddy. Disney Sheep Herder. 
you got to go. I'll uh, come back after the Muppet Show, Canadian Spy. Hey, the Muppet Show's good quality shit, and I dare say they're more entertaining than me. Although, do this, does the Muppet Show have a bonfire like this? Probably not. Just saying. I've never seen them. I've watched almost every episode of the Muppet Show. I've never seen them have a fire like this. Not quite. I'm serious. People like that. Great, shit. great to have you here. Thanks for being here. Stone Racket. Matt, I know you're you're a student of of, of culture, uh just through the interactions I've had with you, Stone Racket. You're you're a man of, of culture and, and I believe a student of politics and history. I'd love to have you uh, chat. Um anytime you want to come on here, man, and have a political chat, I'd love to have you on here. Some cookies for you. I yeah, what kind of cookies? Like pot butter cookies? Some special cookies? Stone Racket? I forget whether... I think you're in Canada, Stone Racket, but I forget. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you get cookies from a Canadian folks in the mail, just don't give them to your kids, just to be careful. LDG, hello, sir. Great to have you on here. I know LDG is also a big uh, student of politics and a fan of culture. LDG, if you would like to come on and talk, uh, just let me know, man, and, and I will uh, send you a link. And uh, it's going fantastic. It's a beautiful Saturday night. The sun is just about below the ridge now. Uh, we've still got blue sky up here. And we got pine and birch on the fire. So it's going really good. Fantastic. Uh, the Slurpee does need a bit more rum, though. It does need a bit more rum. Good to have you here, LDG. Thanks for being here, man. I know you, um, and I don't want to speak for you, LDG. I respect you a great deal. Um, but I do know that you are a fan of free speech. I do know that LDG is a fan of free speech. And um, we need more more people that are willing. To, and, and LDG is... is um, you know, he, he's he's working on building a, a network on the internet that maybe we can all speak without some censorship. And um, whatever I can do to support you, LDG, uh, I believe in the same things you do, man. Hello, everybody. Wow, so many people know each other. Thanks. And if you and folks, if you're new and you don't know anyone here, um. There's very few assholes in the chat looking at it now. So please say hi. Please say hello. I'm kidding. There's no assholes in the chat. We we kick those we kick those guys out. <laughs> or we or or we fed them booze and weed and they're fine now. <laughs> they were assholes. Now they're just stoned. They're fine. <laughs> Pleasant Valley Picker says, uh, I remember years ago. Uh, they got rid of paper bags to save the forests. That's right. Holy shit. And went, yes, and went to plastic. I remember that. Oh, my God. Wow. That's that's going back. Is that the 70s, PVP? The whole thing. Is that the 80s? Yep. That's the 80s. I, I do remember. Switch to plastic to save paper, folks. <laughs> Thank you, PVP. That's hilarious. That that is hilarious, PV. Oh wow, that's that's funny, PVP. You're right though. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. To to quote a friend, you're not wrong. <laughs> LDG, thanks for being here, man. Um, Gap after dark, LDG, love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, dude, salty traveling sea. I've seen you around, sir. I believe you're a sir. Forgive me for misgendering you. Uh, but with a name like that, I'm going to say you're a dude. Uh, welcome, and thanks for being here. And you know what? If you're a tranny, that's okay, too. No problem. As long as, long as you're respectful, I don't care. Can you play hockey? That's what I don't care if you wear a dress. Can you play hockey? 
that, that we've got a great smoky fire. Well, you know what? You notice that there's not a lot of smoke here. This wood is dry. It's been standing dead wood in the forest over here. And I try and clean out any of the standing dead trees. And you may ask, why would you do that? Well, because if a forest fire ever sweeps through here, I don't want to add fuel. I don't want to have uh, trees that will candle. Um, and candling means when the entire tree just flames up like a giant lightsaber flaming torch. Uh, out at the lake here, the local lake here, you go and a, a tree candles on the other side of the lake, and your whole campsite is lit and lit up from it for a few seconds. It's crazy. So I go around here and I cut down the dead trees. Uh, this is pine and birch. I bring them here and I burn them. We have a good time. We have some laughs. We have some drinks. And we burn all the uh, we burn all the dead trees so that they don't candle and they don't add uh, to the forest fire fuel. Now, forest fires in BC has been it's been an issue. But Environment Canada and this, some people might not like this, but this is the facts. 70% of the forest fires, according to Environment Canada, in British Columbia last year in 2023 were human caused. Now that, don't panic, it doesn't mean arson, it does not mean arson. Human caused can be started by a piece of forestry equipment, in which happened here, actually. Uh, started a small fire here with forestry equipment. It can be an old abandoned vehicle, it, it, you know, with or good. Coca-Cola bottle in the forest, the glass with the sun refracts and, and makes a fire. That can happen. That's human caused. Uh, the Coke bottle is definitely human caused. Uh, people burning grass or having campfires when they shouldn't. 70% were caused by humans. So we got to do better, folks. Um, but like I said, my hose is right here. I have neighbors with shovels. We have, we have, we have more than... Yeah, yeah, I gotta pee like a racehorse, so we're we're safe. We're safe. It's all good. Tyron Lethbridge says, uh Canadian Spider-Man. I uh, can't remember if you liked Purple Glock or not. Oh my god, yes. Rennie L's uh your wife's purple glock. Fuck yeah. Although it's not like Joker. It's not like purple like the Joker, but it is definitely purple. It's a, it's a it's a muted purple which I like. It's a subtle. It's like, hey, bitch, check out my purple. No, I like it. And a Glock. I've never owned a Glock. We can't own handguns anymore. Hopefully that'll change in Canada. Because I'm sorry, if I'm out gutting a deer, in the if I'm gutting a deer over here, and a bear comes, like hopefully I can reach my shotgun and pull it around, as opposed to a pistol. But I would like to have a sidearm. If I'm gutting a deer in the woods, I would like to have a sidearm. You can own, you can't buy. I can't buy a pistol right now. You can own them. Though. That's that's no good. I don't think. If you're in the country, I, no, that's no good. The government can. Trudeau's bodyguards can. Police officers can. For some reason, they're more trustworthy. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. I'm an upstanding citizen. I'm an upstanding citizen. So are all these people. If police can or can own a firearm and a handgun on their side, if the prime minister can have security guards with pistols on their side, then so can I. As long as I don't break any laws that are just, so can I. That ain't right. Good. Thanks for being here, uh, Matt G. Thanks for being here, man. Hello to everybody. Everyone saying hello. Wow, if you guys, it'd be easier to keep up with the chat if you stop typing. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, this is fantastic. I've, uh, it's rare that you have this active a chat. So thank you for being here. Um, was it because I put politics in the title? Probably. Uh, Rush R were an incredibly uh, underrated talent or talented band. Yeah, they are PvP. I think they're still alive. No. Ooh, they did have a band member die. You're right. Orville Nation said, uh, Arg uh, loves the Second Amendment, but for ray guns? Well, you know what? If the government ha can have ray guns, 
then the people should have ray guns. Absolutely. Yep. I have a ray gun, but it only comes out Saturday night after a bottle of whiskey. Tyron Lethbridge says, I love guns and love the Second Amendment. Pro-gun, anti-idiot. See, that's it. That's it, Tyron. Idiots should not own guns. 100%. 100%. Um, but seriously, there are wild animals around here. Um, I have photos from friends and family of, of mountain lions on their porch here, just over there. Like a friggin' mountain lion. Go ahead, grab a knife, grab two knives. You're not gonna, against a mountain lion, good luck. No, you need a firearm against a mountain lion. And they are around here and they will eat your pets and they will eat your children. Well, not my children, because I don't have any that I, no, I don't, I don't think I have any. But they will eat people. They will attack. So, you know, absolutely. Low spec Linux laptop. Man, it's always good to see you. You're one dude I, I'd love to see in the chat. Good to see you, man. Really good to see you. Thanks for being here. We're just having a bonfire. Talking about the Second Amendment. Talking about politics a little bit. A little bit about Canada. A little bit about America. A little bit about Australia. I've lived in America for a year in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. They they hate it when you say that, by the way. I uh, lived in Australia, in Western Australia and far north Queensland. I, I don't like the amount of shootings that are in America. But I also don't like the fact that the Australian population are is not armed. And if the government wanted to take complete tyrannical control again, like they did during the pandemic, then they could. And there's nothing. I mean, the Australians, don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of us, the Australian rugby players, their legs are this friggin' thick. Their legs are literally as thick as my torso. Those, these are some tough fuckers. But up against a, 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 a military style weapon? No, I'm sorry. You're, you're toast. Not going to happen. As tough as you want to be. So a disarmed populace, a disarmed, I guess the point is a disarmed populace is at the mercy of the goodwill of the government. And you better pray that they have the people's best interests at heart. And if you've studied history, the odds are against that, you know. Orville Nation, phasers set to not stunt. Yeah, Tyron. Yeah, lethal, lethal freaking setting on the phasers. PJ is on fire tonight. Agreed. You should be, man, PJ, I don't know if you come to British Columbia. Um, I'm in the Okanagan. You can fly into Kelowna Airport. I'll pick you up in Kelowna Airport, PJ. There, there's a spot right there. It's open for you. You know, it's open for you. We'll go to the waterfalls, we'll go to the lake, then we'll come around the fire. We'll do a live stream. Your channel's a lot bigger. We can live stream on your channel if you want. I haven't seen any bonfires on you. Your channel is big, but it needs a bonfire, PJ. Your channel needs a bonfire. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, gorillas, gorillas, random thought says, uh, you need a 50 cal belt fed for those Australian spiders. You know what? Uh, yeah, this, I've seen a funnel web up close and personal. I've seen red backs. Uh, I'm more worried about the sea creatures, They're like little tiny ear kanji jellyfish will kill you before you can make the hospital. The spiders. Yeah. 50 caliber. If, if you sight the bastard in, yeah, absolutely. Good to see you. Pew, pew, gap after dark. <laughs> Orville Nation says, if, they, if the Great Canadian Fire 2024 begins today by any chance, remember, you were all here watching. No, you were not all here watching. PJ, no. If a forest fire starts around here tonight, 
this never happened. This stream will be deleted. All of this will be erased and destroyed. No, no, it never happened. I will get all, I will send each of you. You just have to swear it never happened. No, you don't. No, you're going to choose <laughs> history in the making, so to speak. No, don't start any rumors, uh, Rennie. That's exactly, oh, the, the authorities would love to have that on me, wouldn't they? Australian government told the public what to think. They did. And the irony behind that is they did public polling and they responded to the polls. You would think that they would have had an action plan and they were decisive and so oh, this is what's happening. So this is the plan. No. The Australian government, much like the Canadian government, and they openly admit this, they followed the will of the whatever the public was thinking at the moment. And you can tell this by looking at their policies, looking back on it. They fucking flip-flopped to whatever was popular at the moment. They told the public what to think based on what the public was telling them. The more radical, scared, you know, the people that speak up are always the most vocal, and, and those are the ones, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah, absolutely. That's funny. Uh, politics is not science. Yep, but the, I literally took political science, though. Uh, it's about manipulating the population. Well, yes, true. Uh, government on the left and right both do it. Couldn't agree more. Absolutely. The left and the right, they both do the... It's a horseshoe, right? You've been told this, right? It's the horseshoe. So uh, the extremes, they sort of meet together. Absolutely true. Raise a glass for Gil, friends. Ab Orville Nation, absolutely. Cheers, Gil Bavel, 100%. Cheers to you, my friend. Jesus. No. Cheers. A lot of fun. Shout out to you, Cardinal Sin. I thought you were going to go get a case. I'm going now. What do you want? I'll have whatever you're having. This is straight rum at this point. Yeah, I can feel it. That's <laughs> I, This is catastrophe in the making if I keep drinking straight rum. Right. You Mind you, it's just a little bottle. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Yep. Okay. Pause just for a moment, folks. I'll be right back. Two seconds. Right back. Enjoy the fire. Be right back. Hang on. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, there we go. Wow. That could not be avoided. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Really needed that. 
Uh, thanks for being here. We're going to throw some more wood on this fire. Uh, we got 69 people watching. That's a good number. That's a magic number. Yes, agreed. Yep, the Australian government did tell the people what to think. Based on public opinion polls, which is funny. All right, I think we're done with that. No more sun. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, government on the left and right both. Yeah, you're right. Um, but you know what, uh, PVP? I recently learned that prior to 1906, Canada really didn't have political parties. We had independent people that came together to, to somehow make the government work and, and do the best job that they could. And they, they didn't have political affiliation, is my understanding. Um, I mean, I was born in 72. I, I wasn't around in 1906, but I, I would like to get back to that. Why, why do we have parties? Why, why do you have a party whip that, that makes people vote the way the party wants them to? I mean, you know, is it more efficient that way? More control, perhaps? But it's a really interesting concept of having no political parties and just we have, what is it? Is it 228 MPs, members of parliament in, in Canada? I want to say 228, but I, that could be outdated. Um, imagine 200, and, and most of them are either to the Liberal Party, the Conservative Party, the NDP Party, the Bloc de Québécois, the Green Party has one, uh, I think, is it still Elizabeth May, probably, from Victoria and Vancouver Island, British Columbia? Um, yeah, the, uh, the, there was a time when there were no political parties. Might be in the best interest of the people, of the populace. We'll see. Good to have you here. Absolutely good to have you here, uh, PJ. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We can we can say whatever we want here, man. Absolutely, we can hear. Oh, you can hear the fire a little. You can hear the crackle. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping. You know what? Let's move. Let's move the microphone here. I don't know if that helps. Maybe you can hear me better. You can hear the fire a little closer to the fire. James Caserta, hello to you. Hey, man. Good to see you. Uh, isn't it dark in Canada yet? No, nah, not in, not on, uh, I'm out five hours east of Vancouver in the countryside. And it is still, no, nah, you don't even, you don't, you could drive your car without turning your headlights on. Although not for much longer, not for much longer, but yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's still pretty light here. Although the camera doesn't capture it. The camera's making it look darker than it is. And I'm going to have to get some lighting if, if we're going to continue this. Uh, stream. We do grow together. Absolutely, uh, Orwell Nation. As as YouTubers, as content creators, and as a nation, we absolutely do. Hundred percent. Cheers to Gil. Agreed. Good to see you all. Fantastic. Uh, government may, uh, PVP in the chat says, government may try to tell us what to think, uh, but many will still think for themselves. Yeah, um, I took a liberal arts education in university, and although I didn't get employment from it, it did teach me how to think and read critically. And yeah, people will still think for themselves. Well, hopefully. Anyway. Yep, some positivity. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am positive. I am optimistic, uh, PJ, uh, Orville Nation. Absolutely. I am optimistic. I, th I think people are getting, because we have social media now, and, and we have, and YouTube, for example, we have people watching from like six different countries here tonight. And, and I've, and I've said this, I've been a backpacker all my life. Um, we have people from different countries because of social media talking to each other more than ever before. We have greater understanding. And hopefully we're seeing that we have more in common with each other than, than, than we have different. I, I think that is true. And I've said this. I've been a backpacker all my adult life. I've stayed in hostels on purpose to meet people from other countries. 
And I truly, and I've said it for years, I truly think that if you're going to be the leader of a nation, you should be required to spend a year backpacking around the world. Absolutely. To get a greater understanding of people with different thoughts than your own. Oh my goodness, that is straight rum. That is straight fucking rum at this point. Wow. Alrighty then. Um, I, I've said that. Um, because I used to have pretty much. I have. I have had views. Uh, you know, I'm fifty, turning fifty two here in a couple of weeks. Um, I I've had in my life completely opposite views to those that I hold now. And I think through backpacking around the, but literally, I, I think I've been on every continent, not including Antarctica, because it's too damn cold. Um, and, and I and I've learned by talking with other people. I the reason why I backpack is, is to meet other people, to and to eat their delicious food. <laughs> it's it's a lot about the food, and, and to talk to people. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks, Clay. Appreciate it. And. Uh, yeah, just the, the, the amount of, of similarities that people have in common. You know, we have more in common than we, than we have apart. And I and I am positive. By, by My hope for the future is absolutely positive. Um, I think people, the more we talk to each other, the more we... You know, you could YouTube with a, a Russian fella, and, you know, maybe they're not so bad. The more the media in over here tells me to hate Russia and Russians... The more I don't want to do that. Oh. oh, you want the cold ones, didn't you? Yeah. That's cold. Excellent. Good to see you. Good to see you, Tyron. All the way from Texas. <laughs> Someday, uh, Tyron, we're going to have to have a conversation. You're going to have to explain to me why Texarkansas is, is Texarkansas, Texarkansas, is it Texas, Arkansas? I don't know, Arkansas. And why don't you spell Arkansas right? Why is there no W in Arkansas? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Why is there no W in Arkansas? That makes no sense at all. You just did it to confuse Canadians. You didn't want us coming down there and burning your White House down again. That's a touchy subject. Well, we actually burned it down twice because we we ran out of beer, turned around, and went back, and we burned it. They were rebuilding, and we burned it down again. <laughs> Boy, we can't do that now. Boy, we did it once because we knew that's it. We're never going to be able to do this again. <laughs> if it wasn't for America, we would probably be speaking Chinese right now. Thank God for America. Although, you know, we're adaptable. We, we could learn to speak Chinese. Which, oh, she do. We'd still beat them at hockey. I, the, the day that at China, I don't care how many billion people you create, you will, Canada has 38 million people, 40 million people. You will never beat us at hockey. You will never, ever, ever, I'm pointing the finger, that's very rude. You will never, ever beat us at hockey. A billion Chinese people against 30 million Canadians, you're going to lose. We will have the puck. You don't know where the puck's going to be. You can't see the puck. You can't. The Americans can't even see the puck. The LA um, Olympic. Anyone old enough to remember the Los Angeles Olympics where they had flames going behind the puck? You guys can't see the puck. The Russians, maybe they can see the puck. The Sweden. Chinese sure can't see the puck. Sweden. And that's not a slanty, squinty eye joke. Not a, I'm not saying that. I'm saying they can't see the puck because they're not Canadian. They're Chinese. Only Canadians can see the puck. It's like the force. We have the hockey force. Sweden's pretty good, too. Sweden, yeah. those Sweden, and they're tall. They're tall, blonde bastards. Yeah. Sweden's pretty good. Yeah, they're, those, those, they're good-looking Swedish bastards. We're going to need a light here. I'm going to have to go get a light, I think. We have 69 people watching. That is a magical number. Good to see everybody. Thanks for being here. We have a great fire going here. 
I might even put another log on here. Let's see what happens. Maybe even put on uh, another layer. Just thinking about it. Great to see you. Great to see you, Tyron. PVP says, uh, I don't like extreme politics on the right or left. E exactly, PVP. Um, and I know you and I have differences of opinions, but we can still be friends because we're adults and we're rational and we're logical. Uh, and I haven't slept with your daughter yet. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, but that's right. It, it is a horseshoe. The people on the extreme left, and then you, you know it's a horseshoe shape, and then you come down, and here's the center, and then the people on the extreme right, the, the extreme people are actually closer to each other than one would think. That is a that is an astute uh, observation, sir. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's ten p.m. Should be dark. Hi, uh, James Caserta. It is nine. Is that? No, that's eight. Eight oh seven. I am reading eight again with the contact lenses. I can't see eight oh seven. Fine details. Uh, yeah, it is eight oh seven. No, it's uh, it's still. I'd still take a shot on a deer. It's still light enough. No, 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 no. Actually, that's no. Looking around, no, I wouldn't shoot a deer. Maybe 10 minutes ago, but no, actually, it's just dark enough now I wouldn't shoot a deer. Unless I had a bazooka, and then you know you're going to hit it. But then you're not going to eat very much of the meat. Ground beef. Yeah, it's ground beef at that point. It's tenderized. Ground venison. <laughs> TSM, uh, Rennie L. Man, I, Rennie L is one of the my first YouTube friends. Uh, in the original Doomcock chat, there was like a hundred of us. Known you for what is it, Rennie? Going on four years now? You and Tyron? Wow. CSM, uh, you should do a trivia night. Absolutely. I'd love to do a trivia night. But I only have one trivia question. How do how do house flies land on the ceiling? I that's my only trivia question. And I do know the answer. So I, it wouldn't be, it would be a very short trivia night. Unless you have a bunch of trivia questions. Hey, we're back. 79 viewers. 69 viewers. That's even better than 70. Perfect. Now they, they, it's interactive. They do enjoy seeing that. Suzanne, are you still here? Says PPP. James Caserta is saying hello. Hi. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you and welcome, uh, P2S uh, Chipper. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the bonfire. Saturday night uh, political stream. Talking about the Second Amendment. Do you have any? No? Um, I, I don't agree with the amount of gun violence that is happening in America. However... I, I, I don't agree with the amount of gun violence in America. But if you restrict the guns, and, and anyone who's familiar, whoever has English friends or friends in England or the UK, what are they doing now in the UK? What, are they, what laws are they having to enact right now in the UK? Oh, hello, focus. Focus camera. Hello. They're having to enact laws on knives. That's right. They took away the guns. People use knives. And take away the knives and they will use sticks. Take away the sticks, people will use rocks. Um, you're treating the symptom and not the cause. Which is much like our, hey, our pharmaceutical industry they don't want to treat the cause. They want to cause the symptom. Or they want to treat the symptom. I'll, I'll, I'll sell you this medicine for 50 years. 
to treat your symptoms. I'm not, we're not going to cure you. Fuck no. Same, same with the guns. Um, you know, the, the, the gun violence is a symptom. I, th- I think there's a greater problem in, 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 in Western society. It's, it's an unhappiness. Life has become too easy. So we literally, humans thrive on challenge. I mean, that's, that's how we got here. That's literally how we got here. Life is too easy now. So we're literally inventing problems. We're literally inventing pronouns to create problems with ourselves. Because we're just that fucking bored with each other. Because life is so good now. And it, for many of us, it is. Um, although in the last 10 years, it's if you're in Canada, it's taken a sharp turn downhill. Hey, buddy, do you know that plug-in light that I have a, above the station with the big halogen light? And the plugs? Do you mind getting that? Are you okay? One? Yeah. What? No, it's big. It's a big bulb. It's above my head where I... Yeah. Because it's getting dark here. And I, the people demand to, to have light, I think. I don't know. You probably don't want to see my face. I don't know. But it'd be nice to, hear, to see the face of the person yabbing at you. I was expecting uh, some people to come on to the chat here so that you wouldn't have to bear the brunt of just me talking. But uh, Rennie L says three fifty. <laughs> uh, freedom fifty. Yeah, if you're talking about retirement at fifty, I've been retired for the last thirty years, so I think it's about time I started working. I've been I've been pretty much living traveling and living in ski resorts. It's been a vacation so far. Well, see, because retirement is wasted on the old. Like, if you want to backpack through Cambodia, you sure as hell don't want to do that when you're 70. So I did all that shit when I was young and and I'll work till I'm dead. That's fine. If that's what you're referring to. uh, Yeah, we're going to keep up with the chat here. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not doing a good job with that. Uh, nothing says gorillas random thoughts good friend of the channel uh nothing like having a smoked pork loin and potatoes next to a bonfire under the stars you got that right buddy thank you that's exactly it thanks cassius cassius clay it's not his real name but he's my buddy thanks no uh that's gonna blind me it's over you can just lay it down Lay it down under the shirt. I'll remove the shirt because it's getting kind of cold. Yeah, just lay it down there and plug it in. You're going. But off at an angle so it doesn't blind me. I will literally get a suntan from that bulb. <laughs> Actually, folks, uh, I did work in a, in a prototyping machine shop once. And I was in charge of quality control doing inspections on this. It was a, what was it? It was a Teflon. It, it was shaped like a booby, what with like a spiral maze on it. Um, and it was used for radio telescopes in Peru. I think we were building it. And I was stood under a, like a giant lamp for light. And I actually got a sunburn on my a second degree sunburn. Because that's what men do. I mean, but that's, that's blinding me. I look, I'm doing white face here. Let's just push that off to the side. Thank you, Cassius. Appreciate that. There we go. That's better. Cassius Clay, do you have any opinion on the Second Amendment and the right to own firearms in Canada? You're around this bonfire. You might as well get a say. I don't really know about that. I, I do like the fact that we're allowed to still have them. I they're allowed think, to have them. That's very uh, gracious of them, isn't it? It's very it's very nice of them to still allow us to um have them to protect ourselves from the wild animals. I don't agree with them stopping the uh right to buy handguns. We're still allowed to own them, but not allowed to buy, purchase, trade. Hmm. Sell. I, I'm not sure what you mean by that, PVP. Define betrays. 
phrase, any examples? Um, of our government, you mean? Betraying the people? Well, telling us who, telling us that we could only have five of our closest family to spend Christmas with. What if your family, like my family, is bigger than five? There's six in our family, and that's just immediate family. The government telling you who to spend Christmas with in your circle of bubble for COVID? What kind of Nazi regime are we living under? What the fuck? I am so... I should have... I should have fought more. I didn't do enough. When the government started telling us who we can spend Christmas with and we can have five family members and you're going to have to tell some of your family you can't come to your house... I should have gone straight. I should have driven to the prime minister's office to his house. I should have gone right there. I didn't do enough to fight. You're going to tell me who I can spend my time with? And, oh, well, you you could spread the COVID. You got to listen to us because we're following the science. And, in fact, they didn't have any science at all. No, no. We're free people. We are free human beings. When, when we don't socialize with each other, when we don't interact with each other, the government loves that. When we don't talk to each other, historically, historically speaking, governments have loved that and they've taken advantage of that. Why is the camera? Hello, camera's not focusing the game. Sorry, folks. The fire, the campfire and the lights, everything. It's a little bit screwy. There we go. Is that better? No. There we go. Let's see if we can break some shit tonight. There we go. That's not better. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can put another log on this fire and get the flames going. Yes. Yep. Um, ATMs are very handy. Oh, arms. Arms are very handy. Sorry. ATMs. See? Now, ATMs. ATMs were a smart move on the, on the, on the part of banks and government. Because if you're anyone older the, than the age of 40... You know that we spend more money because of ATMs. Hello, camera. Stop fucking around with the camera. Come on, focus. Hello, camera. ATMs have made it way easier for us to spend our money. A lot, a lot quicker. Do you remember the days when, on a Friday, because the banks were all closed for the weekend, You'd have to go and you'd fill out a, a, a withdrawal slip and take out however much money that you wanted for the weekend. And if you didn't take out enough, you know what? You didn't fucking spend it. Well, that's no good for the that's, the banks don't like that. The government doesn't like that. That doesn't help the economy. We want you to go into debt. Let's give you some uh, ATM cards and some credit cards. Credit cards, I don't even, if anyone remembers before 1950, I, I was born in 72, so I do not. But I don't even think we have credit, credit cards weren't even a thing before 1970s. I don't think. They weren't practically used. Anyway, let's keep up with the chat. Sorry. Up on a tangent there, folks. Pop culture curator. Hello to you, sir. I hope your ears were burning. We were sending you good wishes. Our thoughts were with you. Holy fuck. Cassius Clay, you... Wow, what did you throw on there? That's flamey. That's very, very flamey. We got a fire going now, folks. Thanks, Cassius Clay. All right. Uh, Pop Culture Republic, good to see you. We, we were giving you a shout out earlier. Sir. Sorry. All right, James Cassius, I'm taken out of reality. I think you've had nudity. 
not sure. He wrote reality. He might have been a mutant. Uh, Girl's random thought says, Speak for your elf, Spidey. Uh, I do. I do bite, and I will leave my mark. Well, <laughs> you've been warned, chat. Gorillas uh, does bite. Wow, that's that's some nice. That's pine. See, folks, that's pine. Those are five foot long. Uh, here, let's see. Here, chat. Thank you, gorillas. Those are five foot uh, oh, lengths of pine. Those little suckers are about okay. two and a half. Those, those what? That's two and a half, three, three and a half. Ah. Those big ones are five, though. Yeah, that, those are five. Those are three. We got some good pine going up here. That gives you the. See, there, there's a sap in pine, and it gives you the a bit, of a, a bit of a flamey chemical reaction here. And can you hopefully um, you can hear the crackle, uh, folks, in the chat. I, I put the microphone here so you can hear me babble. But hopefully you can hear the fire. Uh, the whole point was to have a Saturday night bonfire ambiance, ambiance with the fire, with the crackle. You should probably shut up and let me enjoy it, folks. <laughs> probably enjoy the fire more than me babbling on. <laughs> What's free day? Oh, Granny A, maybe you didn't say 50. I, I have my contacts in, but I think he said free titty. I'm a big fan of free titty. If that is indeed what, what you wrote, it says free 50 or free titty. I, I'm a big fan of free titty. Um, arms are very. Okay. All right. <laughs> PVP. <laughs> you, you, if you're gonna nibble on a lady, it's important to have a, the right lady. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, Saturday evening. Saturday night. We're yeah, we are. We're just approaching into the night now. We have a bonfire going. Uh, the blue sky is gone. It is dark there now. Uh, the sun has gone down. It's almost dark. If you're driving, you should probably turn on your headlights. Yeah. Welcome. And, and thanks for being here, chat. Appreciate it. Jobs. Hey. I don't know if you can hear the geese flying overhead, chat. If there were geese flying overhead. It's a beautiful Saturday evening. Um, I, 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 I fear for Scotland. Um, I know they've had some censorship laws enacted. And I know that actually, coincidentally, um, well, not coincidentally, uh, you know, action as reaction. Uh, the Scottish police are now overwhelmed because they committed to investigating every single hate speech allegation. Which, what do you think? Did, did anyone think about this policy first? So now they, they are overwhelmed with like 30,000 hate speech complaints or whatever the number is. Because people are using it against each other. Um, People seem to be more divided these days. I mean, you've got men against women. You've got people, colored people against non-colored people. Uh, you know, left against right. The government has been trying to divide us because it's much. And I never used to. Holy shit! I never used to believe this. This used to be a conspiracy theory. Holy shit! Except it, it seems to be true when you look at. Canadian government. Division is their number one card. Divide, divide, divide. Put people against people. Let, hey, let's point out first black Indian, indigenous woman. Yeah, let's point out the differences. Let's point out what she looks like. You know, let, let's point out what's between their legs. Martin Luther King, I, whom I believe was correct, he said, let's judge people by their characteristics. They're immutable 
uh, uh, by their character, not their immutable characteristics, not not the characteristics that can't be changed. I don't want to be. I'm five foot six. Do you think I want to be judged on my height? Fuck no. I mean, I can change my skin color. I can get suntans. I get pretty dark, actually. I've been confused for an Indian person by my own. Not a joke. My own mother thought I was an Indian person in the photo that I sent because I'm with some Indian friends of mine. But I don't want to be judged on what I look like. I don't want to be judged on whether I'm a dude. I, I don't. The pilot that's flying my airplane, I do not want them hired based on whether they were a dude or whether they had different colored skin. I want them to be the best fucking pilot there is. How about the person, the guy, the girl that, that scored the best and, and knew how to fly the plane the best? I don't give a flying fuck if they're liberal, if they're conservative. I don't care if they're atheist. I don't care if, if they play to, pray to Allah six times a day. Can you fly the plane and land the plane the best? Okay, you're the person I want. I don't care if your name is fucking Rainbow Fruit Loops. I want you to fly my plane. So when did we lose that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear God. And and when has it become wrong to talk about that? Since when can you get canceled for even asking those questions? You know? Yes. Back to the chat. The chat is the most important. Um, absolutely. We all are here for the chat and the fire. I, th I think we're all here for the fire. It's pretty toasty. Like this pine, it's got an oil. The pine has a sap in it, doesn't it? Clay, Cassius? Yeah. It's got a sap in it. It burns hot. It's, it, it burns fast. That's why we've got the, the birch here. Although they're all the same color now. But the birch here, it'll burn for a long time because it's a hard wood. Speak for yourself, Spidey. <laughs> you bite and I will leave my mark. Well, you remind me of a friend of ours, Snorta Poop is Cubert. I don't know where Snorty is tonight. He also bites and leaves a mark. And he's a polar bear. And that's kind of what they do. I wouldn't bite, says PvP. Uh, but you're happy to nibble on a right... Okay, that's right. <laughs> on the right lady. Yes. Yep, it is nice that the days are getting longer. Absolutely. Zero censorship, zero Fs. Love it. Ready, L? Yeah. If people and and Orville Nation, this goes out to you. Culture Casino, I know you, you drop in here occasionally. If you guys want to come on a channel, I know if you talk about some shit on your channels, you guys risk being demonetized and, and, and YouTube will punish you for it. But if you want to come on here and, and say what you want to have to say, you guys don't mince your words too much. I mean, you don't hold back. You, you do say what you want to say. But if you want to come on and just like poke the bear, if you want to poke the bear, come on to this channel. You, there's no fucking way YouTube will ever bump that. So come on and poke the bear here. <laughs> you, can, you can say some things that you might not want to say for good reason on your own channels. Renny L. Good looking. Identify as a muff diver. <laughs> Says tired. Okay. Catching up to the chat. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing a disservice to the chat. All right. Uh, Going to catch up here. George Carlin. Seven words you can't say comes to mind. PVP. It's funny. George Carlin actually inspires me. Um, absolutely love George Carlin. He died... I want to say seven years ago now, but he was a legend. Absolute legend. Love George Carlin. 100%. Renny A says, facts to her hubby, Tyron Lethbridge. Am I, I, am I supposed to not say that, that you guys are an item? Renny, Renny and Tyron are sweet on each other, just in case you guys don't know in the chat. Let alone fact, the muff divers were... We're a fierce unit in World War II. What? <laughs> PvP, you're older than me by like a few years, I think. 
What do you mean? The Muff Divers were a feared unit in World War II? Okay. You're tricking me into Googling that, aren't you? Because <laughs> now I want to Google that. The Muff Divers were a feared unit in World War II. Okay. All right. Well, the German army probably didn't have a lot of lesbians. Oh, well, maybe they did. Do you guys remember Benson? Benson from the 70s? With Robert Guillaume as the governor. And ooh, Rene Aubergenois Ober uh, was, was in uh, Deep Space Nine. And he played the assistant to the governor. Yeah, that's right. Great show. Where was I going with that? Fuck the fire. Oh, Gretchen! Right! Lesbians! Okay, Gretchen. You gonna talk to your maid. Now? Yes. The maid in Benson, for those of you that remember the show. Come on, camera, focus. Uh, Gretchen <laughs> was the maid, and she was a German lady. Pretty sure she was lesbian, but holy shit, was she hot. She was fat. She was very strict. Very strict. Cheers to Gretchen. Shout out to Gretchen. If you can hear honking in the background, it's not an Ottawa convoy. It's the Canada geese returning from the south. Although there is lots of honking. Shout out to the Ottawa convoy. Holy shit. Marie's, uh, Marie is uh, tea with Telly. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the fire. We've got a great campfire going. We're talking a little bit of politics. Um, we're being adults here. We're being respectful. Um, we're we're being respectful. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um, I want to say hello to, thank you for uh, the wrenches in the chat. Is in the chat, and I know there have been others, so thank you for that. And I uh, appreciate you all for, for being here. Thanks for being here, Marie T and Telly. Uh, I don't think you, I haven't heard you talk politics. I have dropped in on some of your streams, uh, Maria. I haven't heard you talk politics, but um, I, I bet you have an opinion. I, I've heard enough of you, I bet you have an opinion. You know, my friend. Oh, thanks, uh, PJ. Thanks, PJ. I appreciate you saying that. I know what you're referring to, and I appreciate it. Bakla. No, that's Mark. Marga. <clears throat> Maga. Yes. <laughs> Everyone saying hello to everybody. All right. Gonna keep up with the chat. Gonna keep up with the chat as best I can. I'm still learning at this, folks. I'm certainly not a, a professional YouTuber. Uh, you go open up the chat. Uh, no, not tonight. Um, not with politics. Uh, not not with politics. Not not tonight. It can get a little emotional, and I don't want to. I want to have a stress free. I, I just a bonfire stream with with some good people in the chat. Congrats, almost three thousand. What? Is that right? Does that say thirty thousand K? Maria, 3,000. Either way, 3,000 is massive. 3,000, if it's 30,000, that's even more impressive. Um, 3,000K, that's incredible, uh, Maria. That's incredible. Iron, wow. That's 3,000 uh, viewers. That's impressive. Uh, Gorilla's random thoughts in the chat says, it's confirmed Canadian Spider-Man likes wieners. I don't remember saying that, buddy. Um, I'm more of a hamburger, more more than a wiener kind of guy. Uh, I mean, I like my wiener. But other than that, no, more of a hamburger, a cheeseburger, specifically cheeseburger. If it doesn't have cheese then on it, then get, get out of here. 
it's got to be a cheeseburger. I I like in so much I yeah I like my wiener. But thank you for that bit of hilarity. <laughs> hey, we have uh, Jim's landscaping in the chat. Hello and welcome, uh, Jim's landscaping. Thanks for being here, man. We're just having a bit of a bonfire, talking a bit of politics. Um, seeing if we can uh, talk politics <clears throat> without being emotional, without without upsetting anyone. Orville Nation says, oh my God, facial scars from marshmallows. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're a bit behind. Okay, holy shit. All right, we got to catch up. <clears throat> facial scars from marshmallows is a thing. <clears throat> yep. Uh, you have molten marshmallows on your face and people are throwing them around. Absolutely, people are going to get burned. Uh, John Sipola says, uh, it doesn't matter the party. They all steal from the people. And they do anything they want with the money without permission. You're not wrong. Everyone's saying hello to everybody. Hello. That must be dry wood, not green. Uh, John Sipola, that is the, that's the reason why we don't have a lot of smoke here. We have a nice clean fire. I'm not getting smoked out. It's dry, it's, it's dry standing dry wood uh, that I went up here and cut down so that it wouldn't candle during a forest fire. Burn a thumb for the Trudeau. <laughs> Thank you, Tyron Lethbridge. Too wavy. Pardon? Too wavy. I am. Am I? All right, well. <laughs> Well, we got some business to take care of here. We got some business to take care of here. That's all. Oh, okay. No, I I can see. All right, I see the the pre, the current chat. Yeah. All right. I better keep up. Good point. Yeah, you're right. All right, we will keep up with that. Hundred percent. There we go. Okay. Done and done. <clears throat> well, bonfire's still going. We got some good fire going here. We got some excellent fire. <clears throat> PvP says, uh, Japan seems a weird culture. On one hand, they are very conformist. That is absolutely true. More so than China. Excuse me. More so than China. Even. <clears throat> but on the other hand, the Japanese on the fringes can be quite eccentric. As in Elvis fans, etc. You're, you're, you know what? That's absolutely right. PVP, good observation. Um, they are both extremes. They're very conformist, uh, and I've had many Japanese friends. I still have many Japanese friends. Yeah, that is a true statement. They are both extremes. Uh, Gorilla Orville Nation says uh, Trudeau might use the video as evidence on charging Spidey cartoon tax carbon tax. That's not, that is not a joke, Orville, yeah, 100%. But I've already, I've I've challenged uh, Prime Minister Trudeau to a boxing match, all on the up and up on his terms. He's taller, he's younger, he has boxing experience. But I, I'd just like to uh, stand up for the common man and lay him out in under five seconds, unconscious, Garen fucking T. <clears throat> We'll see if he takes me up on that. Just <laughs> PVP says, just a little guy with some big wood. Yes, we've got some big wood here, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm glad. <laughs> PVP, it's always good to have you here. Granny L. Great channel. Yes, Orville Nation is a great channel. PJ is genuinely a nice guy. You're absolutely right. Um, my dick radar has not gone off once for, for PJ. Um, I mean, he's being a dick, not the, not the gaydar, different kind of thing. Orville Nation uh, says, Tyron Lethbridge, uh, we should go on together and say good day to Steve. What do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely, Ken. You've got an open door, buddy. No one bigger than oh, Orville Nation. No, you're, you're, you're awesome, man. Good to see you. 
Oh, Jim's Landscaping is another big channel, almost up to 3,500 channel, uh, 3,500 subscribers. Holy shit, Jim. That's impressive. Well, obviously, you do some fantastic landscaping. You know what? And that is a trade. See, landscaping is hard physical work. I know. I have done it. It's hard physical work. Not a lot of people want to do it anymore. So good on you for, for doing it, man. You're going to be popular there. You're going to develop a following. Renny L says Orville Nation's channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you for doing that, Renny L. Thank you. And I, I made your hubby a wrench as well. Uh, it's hard to like politics, says John Cephala. Yeah. Because I did it in university and I got so involved, I took a 20-year pause from it. And now I'm getting back into it. I didn't want to, but they started fucking with my life, uh, John. I didn't want to get back into politics. I had other things to do. I was happy with Star Trek and Star Wars and planting vegetables in my garden. I didn't want to get into politics. And it's ironic because Canadians were not involved enough in politics over the last 15 or 10 years. This is what's happened. And we've got what's coming to us. Because we weren't involved enough, we, we reap what we sow. We, we reap what we sow. And this is what's happened. So now, I'm, I mean, it was my minor in, in university. I, I did minor in it, major in cultural anthropology. Now I'm back into it. You know what? You started fucking with my life. You started telling me that I couldn't leave Canada, that I couldn't go backpacking around the world, that I couldn't go see my brother in Australia, that I couldn't go see my friends in Europe. And you started telling me who I could spend Christmas with. And now you fucking poke the bear. Canadians were not paying attention to politics. And you, you poke the bear. And now we're paying attention. And there are more people watching the parliamentary committee channels. And actually watching the parliamentary committees than ever before. And you brought it on yourselves. We, we wanted to let you police yourselves. And the people in power couldn't do that. They got greedy and they got stupid. And now we've got to take control back. And now it's time for the adults to step in the fucking room. Excuse my French. PVP says, I get mail address to my apartment to folks that used to live here. Been here three years. Yeah. It's welcome to Canada Post. It's, yeah, exactly. That's crazy, PVP. It is crazy. Uh, the key is learning uh, to take criticism, says John Simple. I do it every day. Not would, and you wouldn't learn anything without it. exactly, exactly, John Simple. Uh, not the point of office, not the post office fault, but it is uh, clueless companies. Yep, you're probably right. Sorry, again, I've got my contact lenses in, and it's used for far distance. The older I get, the harder I have uh, trouble reading. I uh, still do handsprings, though, as long as I can still do handsprings, buddy. No, 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 no. Uh, that's not the way to think, says John. I know, Gap. Every individual freedom is to be cherished. Exactly, John Simpla, exactly, um, 100%. And, and cooperation. Anyone that studied evolution, anyone that studied cultural anthropology, anyone that has paid attention growing up in this world, we get farther with cooperation, don't we? We get absolutely, humans get farther with cooperation. 100%. In, in times of hardship, the default is to cooperate with humans. And that that is what gives me hope. And that is what gives me optimism. Because the default with humans is to cooperate. The default, when someone waves to you across the lake, the default human, even if they don't speak your language, is to wave back. 
And that is where my optimism and my hope comes from. That is exactly it. In a nutshell, PVP says. It's unwritten that most folks just get along day to day. That's exactly it. We just all. I've, I've been to 50 countries on this planet, folks. I've been to every continent on this planet, except for Antarctica. It's too damn cold. People all over just want to get along. They just want to have the things that they feel important in their life. They just want to have, they just want to live their own life and do their own thing. They don't, you know, they, they don't want anything else. You're absolutely right. PVP says, uh, I should write them and tell them to stop sending the mail from, yeah, you should. Hey, Herc, Herc 130's in the chat. Hello, Herc, 130. Great to see you. <clears throat> Hello from Texas. Man, great to see you, Herc from Texas. Absolutely good to see you, buddy. Uh, PVP says hello. Write return to sender. Yeah, that'll help, 100%. Do that when you the, walk the dog and you meet people. Hundred um, percent. With a dog is a good. It's a good uh, icebreaker. Absolutely. Saying hello to everybody. Herc, man, it is really good to see you. Herc one thirty, folks. If you don't know, the reason why he has that name is because he's flown the big planes, the Herc one thirties. Um, those are massive. I believe they're Canadian. Hey, Cassius, are the Herc 130s Canadian or American? I thought they were Canadian. I think they're Canadian. They're giant Canadian cargo Air Force planes. So I believe that's where Herc 130 is coming from. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before once. Uh, Eugene Bird, hello. Cheers to you, Eugene Bird. Hello and welcome to the giant bonfire we have. Going. Eugene Bird says, uh, have you ever had a one-night stand during your travels? It's American. Uh Herc 130 is American. Okay. Well, he's nice enough. I figured he could be Canadian, too. There's some nice Americans. I'm friends with a lot of them. I know Canadians, the Canadian Air Force does have uh, one Herc 130s. Yeah. We can't afford the F 35s, but we can afford the F 130s. Uh, Eugene Bird in the chat says uh, CSM, have you ever had a one night stand in during your travels? Yes. Not many, but yes. Uh, ever fear there may be a mini CSM out there carrying your personality disorder elsewhere? Yes. <laughs> like physically possible. That's some funny shit right there. It is funny. I, I could have an <laughs> Irish kid, an Indonesian kid, a Japanese kid, an Australian kid, Norwegian kid. I was in the back of a pickup truck underneath a tonneau cover in Australia. Yeah, it's, yes, it's possible. Five or six different nationalities, yes, but that was not my motivation. I was generally just keeping to myself. Um, yeah, it's possible. Yes, it's possible. Possible, although I'm in contact with them all. They haven't mentioned it yet. You would have thought they would have by now. I tend to stay in contact with all the people I've been intimate with. Great to see you all here. Fantastic. Thanks for being here, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, if there was a Muppet, says PVP, I'm at the age uh, where I'd be one of the old grumpy guys in the balcony. Stetler and... Stadler and Wal Waldorf? Stadler. Stadler and Waldorf? The two guys in the in the Muppet Show, uh, right. in the balcony. Those guys were hilarious. The older <laughs> I get, the more I like them. You're not wrong. I want to say Stadler and Wal Waldorf, but I haven't seen that show it, again it in, in 20 years. And I've, yeah, there's been a lot of her since then. Eugene Bird says, I showed my daughter uh, the Great White North today. That's awesome. She didn't get it. Oh, Jesus. Really? Well, make her watch it again until she gets it. 
It's Bob and Doug McKenzie, man. That's Bob and Doug McKenzie. I've got the action play set right in my kitchen. You see it during live streams when I'm in my kitchen. Right there. I spell good too, says Siren. <laughs> yeah, you do spell good. It's okay. You're a good shot. You don't need to spell good if you are a good shot, my friend. <laughs> Saying hello to everybody. Hello. Uh, I've been searching for years for a woman with nice cookies. I know a girl that makes nice pot cookies, uh, Pleasant Valley Picker. You might be able to... Uh, light hop on later if you want. Oh, might hop on later if you want. Rank or Steve, you have an open invitation. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to talk politics, my friend, um, I know that also you've had me on your streams many a time uh, recently, uh, like in the last three days, actually. So if you do, uh, yes, absolutely, Rank or Steve, 100%. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'd love to, because you've had me, you've been more than generous on your streams, and I know we did talk about the Second Amendment, and I and I know that you're a big fan of the Second Amendment, so actually you're exactly the person I do want to have on, uh, Rankers Team, uh, because I know that your stream for speaking about the, the Second Amendment sort of inspired me uh, to do this stream, so please hop on uh, if you want. Absolutely. So the Second Amendment, the right to own firearms, See, now what point should the individual citizen be allowed to own a bazooka? I mean, the military can own it. I guess that's the basic question. Should, a, should an individual citizen be allowed to own the same firepower as the military? And I, the, basic, the basic question around that is... Do you put complete trust in your government and your military that they will never go against your interests? Or Steve, I have an opinion on that. Hello, sir, and thank you for joining. Hello. Hello, and welcome. Diamonds Jubilee. That's pretty cool. I haven't stopped that one. Uh, yeah, hi, Steve. Welcome. You have a Hola, perfect... Hola, como estas? El baño. Cinco semanas to tarats. You See, now you're speaking all different kinds of foreign languages. Duh. <laughs> uh, How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I, I promoted uh, the Ram Manorama as men's health program where we promote men's health issues without putting other people down. Mm. And I have so the UFC fight going on right now. I'm going you back do? and forth. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, so I you got me talking uh with with seventy five uh -oh. people on YouTube. I'm in, I'm in trouble biggest... now. Oh, the wife? No. You talking to seventy five people and you bring me up? Uh oh. <laughs> seventy five uh viewers watching live on YouTube, which is the biggest audience I've ever had. There and you on go. Rumble, we're also on Rumble and I can't or on, on X. How do you tell how many people are watching on X? I can't tell. Uh, I, can't I can check right now. Okay, cool. But uh, I'll thanks do, for I'll do us. your dirty work. I don't see. I need a producer. You got 62 people? Dang. What? We have 140 yeah. people watching? This. I oh, had. What? Okay, so I had watching oh, for. I so I just did I just did a sports one for UFC 300 that's yeah. happening right now. The main card's happening right now. So I was like, I'll do a sports one. Over 100 like over 100 people were watching with Saturday three different night? platforms. I know, right? Yeah, and that is correct, Eugene Bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, so. uh, Tyron and Rennie are Wrenches for, for Hitchcock or were uh, before they got married and you're too busy. Yeah. I don't know. You, so, so you what have, was your question? You have, uh, uh, my question is do you have usually more people watching on Rumble or more people watching on X? Um, Rumble. Way more. 
Okay. And wh- how does YouTube stack up to those? Not even close. <laughs> really? YouTube is less than uh, one X? I can look right now. Wow, yeah, it's 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 not even close. Like I hate talking about numbers, but yeah, it's I, so we were talking politics and what do you think about mm-hmm. the right to bear arms and and is would American governments gone further in the lockdowns if you guys weren't all armed to the teeth? Yeah, say that again. Would the American government have locked down harder if you guys weren't armed to the teeth, or is that not a factor? Like, would the if if people had to bear arms, would the government? No, no, no. Um, I, I'm I'm saying that the reason why the Australian government locked down so hard was because their people had no way to fight back. Oh, so my yeah. question is. Did America not, and Texas and Florida in particular, were in particular not locking down hard, and they coincidentally are armed to the teeth, did the fact that Americans are armed prevent the American government from clamping down harder? Was it in the back of their minds? Was it a factor? Um, I think having... I think having, I don't think it had anything to do with bare arms. It's just, it was there, but allow the lockdowns and all that stuff. It it led to allowing the state to do what they wanted to do instead of let it be a one totalitarian. That's the thing I liked about Trump is he said, Hey, it's up to the States. Right. And it's up to the states, each individual state. Because yeah, Arkansas like, is way different than Alaska. Way different. Yes. Or Arkansas, which I think is how it's properly pronounced. What, Arkansas? Or Can- no, it's Arkans- Kansas Arkansas. 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 No, it's is Arkansas. Spelled Ar- it's spelled Arkansas. No, it's not. Isn't it? No. If you read it out phonetically, it's Arkansas. No, it's not. No, I'm, a, I'm not American. I can smell Saskatchewan. Oh, it is? Well, when you take out the last few... Okay, I see what you're talking about. No, it is! Spelled Arkansas! I guess it is. You might be right, right there, man. To, to non-Americans, it's kind of fucky. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so, Eugene Bird in the chat. Oh, this is a... Do you mind reading this one if you can see it? Steve? Uh, Eugene said, I believe in freedom whilst Star Trek is communism. Yeah, it's not wrong. How you doing? Uh, as the military that I was in for 21 years, thank you for the service. I don't think that those who want to enforce it can be entrusted with all the power. See, here's the thing. In the States, I think a lot of people don't understand that... The government works for the people. I think a lot of people are very like if you took all the countries together, I think, yeah, I think in America, um, it's a lot of people are very ignorant in America and they think the government works for them because they become lazy. It should be the other way around. It's the government works for the people. Yeah. But but if the people aren't active enough in politics, and if they get complacent, like happened in Canada, then the government can sort of run willy-nilly. Kind of like California. Kind of like California. Wow, Eugene, uh, uh, excuse me, Bird is very opinionated. <laughs> Wait, rightfully so. Uh, Maybe we should do more political shows. I, was so, <laughs> Steve, do you think it's a coincidence? I've had double the numbers that I've ever had on any bonfire stream before. It's the first time I've mentioned politics. It's not a coincidence. And Maybe. I'm not scared. If you want to say Nazi on here, you can say whatever. Because I'll never be monetized. You can say whatever the fuck you want on here. All right, Nazis. 
and exactly. we're shut down. Express your, no, I don't care. They, YouTube can go fuck themselves. I do not want their money. I don't care about their money. I want to have an open and open discussion and not be censored. Uh, I. So but, here's the thing. I so living in California, I am completely the opposite. I am. Um, I I believe that the states do taxation theft. I believe in state state taxes, federal taxes. I'm against because it's just theft. yeah. Here in the states, it's it's now taxation theft. That's pretty much what it is. But yeah, it's I. Here's the other thing. It's I don't think America has freedom the way we think it is. No. America is no. the most free country on the planet, or is it not? It I think is, Mexico but it isn't. Mexico is pretty fucking... I saw a guy that yeah. built his own car and drives it around the streets in Mexico. It's... You can do that. No, I when I was in Mexico, I, I met a couple guys that built their own cars. Yeah. And they're like, you oh, crap. You can shoot crap. guns anytime, as long as you don't piss off the cartel. See, that's the thing. You know, this... Well, yeah. There's a certain point where you should be like, you know, I've seen Rambo 6. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, Eugene Bird. Uh, and I th and honestly, I think they should have stopped at 5, Steve. Rambo 5 was perfect. That was a great finale oh. with him oh. walking down the road to his old man's place with the mailbox. That was You're dumb. not that wrong. Was... You're not wrong. But have you seen the last one? Yes. And it was predictable. And it was, I like. No, they should have stopped. So you had the same mentality as Gary did because he started yeah, watching. It. I watched it before. I own, I have one of the replicas of the Rambo knife from the sixth one. What? And yeah. I have. You have all the best movie props. I know. You've got an actual legit Rambo knife from the movies. Yeah. Dude, you want me to go get I'm it? So glad I'm your friend. Do you yes, want me I to go do. get it? All right, Is that I'll go a get it. Question: Does the Pope shit in the woods? Yes, he does. There you go. I'll oh, go no, bring so. it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's. I feel like we're abusing the chat here by not paying attention. I'm sorry. Steve's an interesting guy. He's got a lot of um, good things to say. <laughs> uh, Eugene Bird in the chat. Uh, as a serving military member, you better listen to what he says. Freedom is great compared to an enforced consensus law. Agreed. But there does need to be some order to prevent what we label as crime. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Hi, Steve. Hey. All right. As Frankenstein said, fire bad. Andy Masterson. Hello and welcome to Andy Masterson. You're back. Fire, not bad. Fire, good. Fire, cook meat. Fire, good. Fire, make whiskey. Fire, good. Damn. Uh, yes, please, Steve. Um, do you have the knife? Can I make you big? I have it. Yeah, you can. All right, I'm going to swell you up real big. Oh. <clears throat> so here's the knife. God, I can't read this. Wow. Oh, wow. Now, can you back? Can you bang on the back edge of that to chop firewood, or is the back edge sharp? The, so it's a skull crusher back here. It's a full tang, so I can actually go hunting with it. Yes. Um, Jump out of a yeah. tree off the back of a deer? Yeah. So it's the first edition of – it's the 4,030th of – out of 5,000. So they only made 5,000 of these. Damn. It's the most beautifully made knife. I love so this How thing. does that compare with the other Rambo knives? Because the other ones had a compass in it, man, and a fire start. The back well, that was the first one. You're goddamn right it was the first one. This is... So, I love this knife. It's so beautiful. Did you have the first one? No. You want it? I... Well... My wife That's said, scary. when we get a has access to this shit. So, my wife said, when we get um, 
when we get a house, I'll get you all of them. The other ones. Wow. There's actually two from Last Blood. Two different ones. There's this one, and then there's a smaller one that he uses in the movie. This is the big. This is 15 inches. Wow. So is... I think I think Rambo three is 20 inches. No, 20 yeah. inches. Of mach... That's a machete. At that like, right. that's a machete. There is the machete one. I love this knife. This is the most. It's. It's, it's is that, beautiful. Is that more than three hundred Canadian dollars? What's that in American? Two hundred American. Two, it's three. it's around there. Damn. They're yeah. about 150, 180. Wow. Hey buddy, good to see you, everybody. I'm not as good at keeping up with the chat. Steve, you handled your chat really well. No. Um, Wait, so reading the chats? No. No. No, you handle <laughs> the books. You don't read any of them. It's perfect. Works very well. well, I I read them if there's a question. That's the thing. Uh, well, it's Eugene Bird has a good sentence. If you wouldn't mind reading that. Oh, I like the balance we have in the USA. Uh, if we could get rid of a few unelected agencies that makes that make rules, uh, yeah, um, a few dozen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I dozen. for my stuff, yeah. I don't really. I don't really get in engage in the conversation of the chat because to me that's a side conversation with everyone. They, like I'm unless it's like a, a really good question, then I'll bring it up. But I'm trying to push it on Rumble for um, since I'm monetized there. It's a bollocks because you got to acknowledge the chat because then you're just ignoring them. And why the fuck do you, if you're not if they're right. not part of the conversation? Why are they here? Well, to me, it's it's a little like. If it's a hangout, like I just did a more conversations and I had real Wade Nation on and we just talked about sports and stuff. It's a little bit different. It's more relaxed where I can actually engage in the um, people in the chat. That's a little bit different or in the Lego build. But if it's Manorama, I don't have time to actually engage in um, the chat because I'm producing the show at the same time. So I have you guys. But... If someone sent a rant, which is a super chat on Rumble, yes. I'm going to acknowledge it because, hey, it's there. That's why I'm trying to push your questions. I'm trying to get people okay. to ask questions and that Interact. stuff. Yeah. But if it's a laid back podcast, like more conversations or Lego build, I'm going to engage into the um, in the chat more. But if it's Manorama, that's more of a, of a bigger show Depends for me. What? Yeah, see, the bonfire streams is all about the chat. Exactly. And when you say more conversations, you don't mean M O R E. No. What do you mean? See, I played it out really good. I know, accident. I like it, and that's why I'm telling you. Please promote so it. So, more conversation is M dot O dot R. It's Manorama, but it, it allows people who've been on the show in the past to come on and we just do a podcast. We hang out kind of like what Joe Rogan does and other podcasts where we just hang out and talk about whatever we want, whatever's on our mind. That's what it is. And so, yep. and that allows me to kind of be relaxed. I don't have anything planned. It's all. And we even just, have some women that join the chat. Like it's not all dudes. It's not a sausage. Yeah. Well, it's mostly a sausage fest. It's for the more conversation it is, but for Lego build, I allow anyone to come on. If you want to hang out where I'm building stuff, do that. But that's where those shows I can actually engage in the conversation with the chats. I love your Lego. Build. Rama, I can't really building Lego. We're watching you and we're just shooting the shit. Yeah. And that's when we can ask like people like Raquel, who was in our chat. Uh, Raquel and, and Moira Kitty, who hasn't been here yet, but she might. Uh, we can ask them questions, and they can we can all discuss it. And uh, it's a nice, civilized adult conversation. Yeah. Around, around Lego. Uh, so Eugene Bird in the chat says, "I heard the entire Canadian Parliament was held at bay by one armed assailant. A good guy with a gun took care of him. Did they learn yes. nothing?" 
That's true. They're Canadians. Well, you know, well, yeah, like we don't expect a dude to come up and do that. So you're too nice. We we asked him to put it down, and he didn't. Wait, yeah. We we said sorry like a whole bunch of times. Uh, and so John Cipolla says, "Is that how you say that? Is it Cipolla? I think Cipolla. Yeah, Cipolas. Cipolla. Sure. Uh, okay, the government can have the F thirty five. I want to." Also, you're not wrong. As citizens, as part of this nation, should we not have the same ability to have this, everything the government can have? We should be also be able to have. If you are a responsible citizen, and if you're and if you're willing to go and fight for your nation, because along with the response, see, along with the privilege of getting to vote. You had responsibilities. And this is why women, back in the day, a lot of women did not want the vote. Because yeah. they did not want to be part of the draft. They did not want to be part of a fire brigade. That if a fire breaks out in your town, you have to stop what you're doing because you get the vote. And part of that responsibility comes with the privilege. You've got to go now man buckets on the bucket brigade. Women did not want to do that. Many of them. Not all. And so they didn't want the vote. So yeah. now, uh, in America, uh, women are part of the draft, and that is the way it should be. That's fantastic. Actually, women... Wait, in Canada, are they? No, America. No, Canada, no. We we treat America... No, we we treat women like they're above us. They they get all the privileges with no rights. No responsibilities. No. They, they get all the... No, we don't... They are, there's no draft here. No. Nothing like that. No, so guess what? Women do not do the draft. What? Yeah, women don't do the draft. No, 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 no. Steve, this is 2024. We're all equal now. It's equality. I know, they get but... the vote. They, they get all the rights. No, the, of course they're in the draft. It's, equal, it's equality. Steve, We're equal now. They, they don't get it. What? They don't get the draft. What? Surprise! Yeah, Wait, they don't get the draft. Not... I'm dead. I just looked it up. Whoa! Okay, I'm a woman. I identify as a woman. I have <laughs> vagina. But here's the thing: you're you're past vagina. the age. You're. I'm almost past the age. I think it's what 36, 37. What do you mean I'm past? Fuck you! I'm too old. I'm too old. Really? I'm yeah. 52. Yeah, you're past it. I, can I don't think they this. would. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. That's all. Awesome. So I, I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to join the draft because um draft because I have double vision. Right. And short bus. Yeah. My name well, is Steve. His name is Short Bus. It's legit. I'm not making fun. His name is legit. Short bus. Yeah, so <laughs> it's oh, 18 to 25. If you're under six foot tall, they don't want us anyway, right? Like we're under six foot, both of us. They don't but we'd fit in the holes, man. You and I would be great in the actually in the holes. Small soldiers are the best. They eat less, yeah. they take space, they're easier to transport. The Vietnamese were right. Small soldiers will kick the shit out of bigger soldiers. Here's a question day. I have for you. What gender is the best snipers? No. I know that you seem to think it's women. It is. And three weeks out of the month, I would agree with you. Technically, women are better snipers than men. Three weeks it's out of the proven. month, they are. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. What about that fourth month? They're going to be killing their own CEOs. They're their own CEOs. <laughs> You're going to tell me to do what? Boom. Yeah. But yeah, women are better snipers than men are. We can be it's totally been actually proven. Oh, we can? We, yeah, I need a sandwich made. Women know we love them. Like, full I, respect to I, my mom and my sister. But I'm going to make fun of you the same way men are made. Is if you expect special treatment, you're on the wrong fucking channel, sweetheart. I like that. I like that. I Here's the thing. Um, I, I know women are better snipers than men are, but I do like my sandwiches made. Women Even though I know how to make them. I'm patience. picky. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a Russian lady painters, that's painters. 
women make good painters because they have attention mm -hmm. to detail. Well, I think it was yeah. in Russia that there was a female sniper in Russia that was like the top of, I think still is one of the best snipers mm, Okay, to I this day. Canada, during, it may, it, it may be Canada. It's either Russia or Canada. It's one of those two countries. There's a female that um, during World War II, she dominated. She was, and I think they made a movie about her and it was, I think because of the patience and everything about that, that just worked really well with the woman because men, let's be honest, men are just, we're idiots. Let's just, yeah. Uh, we're just dumb idiots. And Jacob said, but how do you decide who's an idiot? I'm an idiot and I've decided very easily. Easily, but uh, that kind of power in the wrong hands would label you and me an idiot. Well, unless you're Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, man. How are you guys doing? I feel like I've just now taken over Canadian Spider Man stream. Yes, I have. On today's episode of Canadian Spider-Man building a bonfire and cooking a dear heart. Um, okay. This really had to be. We were not talking about you. It's okay. I, no, I couldn't hear you. I, I didn't hear a word you said. So. Cool. Or, hey, not, you know, PJ? PJ is a guy that I would like to have on Manorama. <clears throat> but he's not been on show. Manorama. He was? I wasn't. Yeah. There. Was I there? He was there at the beginning. Okay. Because I, I he's got a lot of good man points to say. And he's, he does. He's very, Here, I'll uh, be right back. Uh unbiased. Uh John Siplett in the chat says, uh, citizens are ignorant when it comes to second amendments and firearms. Some of them are, not in the country. In the countryside, we're we're pretty full on. We we know gorillas are out of thoughts. It says you have to look at the per capita for shootings because uh, we're the third most populous country in the world. Yeah, you are. Really? Third most populous? No. No. India, China. Really? America's next after India and China? I don't believe that. Really? Brazil? Really? I mean, maybe. Okay. I mean, I believe you, gorillas. I, I've met you. I, I've talked with you. You're, you're a rational person. Interesting. Um, we are ranked 34th. If you like, if you take four cities out of that rank, 133rd or somewhere around there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Eugene Bird in the chat. And welcome to the bonfire. Anyone that's just joining us. Uh, we have a fire going. We have some focusing issues on the camera. There we go. Uh, great uh, bonfire. We've got some birch and some pine burning pretty pretty big in there. We've got some five-foot logs burning. I'm pretty far away from the fire because it's hot. But those are five-foot logs in there. Uh, Eugene Bird in the chat says... Uh, yes, in Venezuela. I've been to Caracas. I've been to Venezuela once for an afternoon. Uh, they elected a communist named Chavez. Uh, he seized the guns first. Yes, he did. And he seized media and the businesses and dismantled their Congress. Yeah. And then total inescapable communism. That is exactly, yeah, that's exactly it. And that's not the only example, historically speaking. Um, I am a student of history. I'm certainly not an expert. I've studied history all my life. I've been to a lot of world historical places. I've been to a shitload of museums. I, I, I love to study history. I, I believe that to be true, uh, Eugene Burt. Uh, sadly, yeah. 
So we 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 know the steps, and we just we can't let that happen. Now that we know, uh, we can't let that happen here. Uh, but it started with uh, taking the guns from good citizens. That's exactly right. If you're a good citizen, why do you need to, to have your guns taken away? If I'm an upstanding citizen, I'm exactly the person you want to have a gun. The reason why the United States has never been invaded is not because of the United States military, friends. It is because of the arms and ammunition in in, in the United States citizens' homes. That's why the United States has never been invaded. You'd have to be a fucking moron. Well, there are a lot of those out there. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Our real nation. I'm glad you're having a good time. All right, let's uh, catch up with the chat. Uh, PVP says, uh, don't believe in the polls. They can be very wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong there. It does need a bonfire. Yeah, your streams could use a bonfire, buddy. Absolutely. You're welcome to join uh, anytime. Spidey's off camera. Uh, watering the horse. Yes. I, I have to sleep. Poop break. No, no poop break. I can go for hours. I can go for hours. Yes, exactly. George Washington was probably against the party system. Yeah, perhaps. He was a Freemason. He was a Freemason. He was. He yes. In the chat says, it's not the political affiliations per se. I remember when the MPs for all the parties came together at the table to meet in the center and hammer out policies they could live with. That's the way it used to work. Yeah. I'm glad you can hear the snap, crack, a pop from. Can you hear the fire, Steve? No, I can't. Uh, yes, I can. Man, that is one nice carpenter's cup in front. Of Are you a carpenter? Is that why you have a carpenter's cup? I'm going to test you right now. Do you know what this is from? Your mom's. The last crusade. Your mom's cutlery drawer. Someone said it. Well, that's my buddy Cassius. Well, Cassius he knows this better than you do. This is the Holy the Grail, baby. Crusade. This is this is where I pour Indiana Bud Light. Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, this is where I pour Bud Light, and I live forever. Oh, oh. Yes, awesome. I can't drink out of it, but there you go. What do you mean you can't drink out? Of it? If I drink out of it, I'll actually die. Oh, right, you'll shrivel up like yeah. No, there's gold metal pieces in it. Oh, I think gold yeah, makes it's all gold plated in here. Oh, yeah, like wow, yeah. John Sickless says, I don't so I drink out of my Trump mug. I like your Trump mug. Can, do you mind if we blow you up to your Trump mug? Because yeah. I like the Trump mug. You should okay. That Does it look familiar, oh, guys? Camera, right up to the camera. There we go. That's awesome. Does it look that familiar? Like there's there's not another poster behind me that I'm graciously. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> he's he's sniffling right there. I'm gonna itch his nose. It's That's Asian. Awesome. It's Asian USA. <laughs> In face, I had a few beers. Let's be honest here. Yeah, so have I. I'm glad I've been drinking. I know. We're all drunk, baby. Me anything. They never went deep enough into the context. All right. Uh, he says, agreed, Spidey. Critical thinking is indeed critical. It is critical. Yeah. Good night, Raquel. Uh, you're feeling very tired tonight. And critical, uh, he says, I've been a critical thinker. I was a kid. I remember when I was like three feet high and listened to the first quote of adults thinking they were all uh, too much BS. Yeah, that's what adults do. I got to find out who won the MMA fight. 
and leaders do need to spend time. See, earlier, Steve, I said that all, if you, a requirement to become a leader of a country, you should spend a year backpacking around the country. As I agree. You've, you've been around, you've traveled, you, you agree, you've been to, well, we just did a Russia stream on Thursday. That was fantastic. And thank you. For I that. found out that Russia is actually a communist or a um, capitalist country. Well, they are now because America. Beat yeah. Them in this commission. <laughs> we beat him with a newspaper. You did. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> It is dark, uh, John. Simply, yeah. Putin's like, huh, maybe that's how you do it. The Russians will cheat. I don't know. Did did figure skating come up when you were in Russia? Did you talk about cheating on the figure skating? No. Cheating? No. Nah. They're all, that was like, oh, the steroids? Yeah, no, there's no need to talk about it. Well, and some of them were men. Some of them were men. At the end of the Many folks in Vancouver speak Chinese, that is true. It was more, yeah, it wasn't too. Yeah, we, need we do need another baseball team. Absolutely. Who? No. Canada? Yeah, Montreal no. Expos should come back. Montreal Expos kicked ass. You got the Blu rays. The Blue Jays, yeah. The Expos. Blue Jays, Blu rays. When I, when I saw the LA Dodgers in Montreal and the Expos beat them, that was in 1983, mm. though. We do have the Blue Jays. They are pretty cool. We just gave you the the title, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, we had a lot of American players, so that helped. And some Cubans. And some oh, Cubans. the Cubans uh, are good. Roberto Al Alomar. Roberto Alomar. Was he not from the... the yeah. Republic? He was Dominican. Yeah, Roberto Alomar. He was the reason why... He was one of the reasons... Well, Dominican, like when I went to Dominican Republic in 2006, it was, I saw kids younger than me, but like 10, 15 years younger than me hitting home runs. I was like, yeah. I'm doing something wrong here. It's, it's in, it's in their DNA of baseball. I agree. I it's, I they're bet. good, man. It's here's the thing. Have you been to Dominican Republic? I, I have, and I was gonna say, let's do a live stream. I spent eight days in Dominican Republic. Uh, absolutely, I did. Yeah, I spent two weeks. It's it's a it's kind of like Mexico in a way. A little bit. Yep. I lived probably about two hours away from um, Hades. It was, I think it was Santiago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I did a mission trip there. It was cool. I liked it. Here's the thing: when you start off in Mexico and then you go to like Dominican Republic, the syllables are different. Everything is much different in the language. Putacana, the, the name Putacana comes to mind. If Putacana yeah. is the Dominican is is a place in Dominican Republic, then that's where I was. Yeah, it's more I think east. Okay, it is. Okay, that just popped into my mind. That, that yeah. It was the first place I was, I think I was 18. First place you went skinny dipping with a girl. No, wait, what? Where was the first place you went skinny dipping with a girl? I don't think I've ever gone skinny dipping. Really? Yeah. Is that a gun? Can you hear that, Steve? Yeah. Something shooting. That's a rifle. With 10, 12 shots in Canada? Yeah. We're not allowed to own rifles with 10, 12 shots in Canada. That was a um, lot of shots, though. Wow. Okay, maybe 9 or 10. Yeah, we're allowed to have 10. We're not as free as you. I don't feel as free. Even though you're in California, why does the government have more firepower than I do? Why are they more trusted than I am. Okay. Why? So I don't the, think the government should be more trusted than its citizens. Because people are lazy. Ah. If people actually yes. understood how the government runs, we like Canada. I, I don't know how Canada's run, but in the States, it's probably similar. A loop. 
a little bit similar to Canada or a little bit close to um yeah the states in Canada I mean, is probably similar. You have a constitutional similar. monarchy. You have a democratic republic, right? Yeah, it's here's the other thing. When everyone says democracy, it's the most annoying thing ever. Why? Because America is not a democracy. We're a republic. These, all right, don't these two things go hand in hand? No. Can you not have a democratic republic? You can, but we're a constitutional republic. We're a republic country. Democracy is. I'm gonna look it up right now. I I know the difference is. So do you when you go to vote, Steve? And and you don't have to tell me how you vote. I don't want to know. But when you Trump, go to baby. vote, <laughs> I do it. When you go to vote, uh, do you have a paper <laughs> ballot? That do you? Because we still up here in Canada, we check off the paper ballot. We have a fucking paper ballot for every vote that we make. Yeah, it's well. Do you do you go in with a little piece of paper and a pencil and check out in America? Is that what you do? Well, we use computers now. Uh huh. So, so here's the thing: a republic is a republic is based on the Latin phrase "res publica," is a state in which political power rests on the public through their rep representatives. It's Pretty much one vote is what it counts. Democracy, on the other hand, <clears throat> is a system of government by the whole population or all eligible members of, of a state, typically through elect, elected representative. The thing about... So, republic is pretty much one vote. We're not a democracy. Okay. You're a republic. Yeah. It's pretty much stated in the Bill of like the Bill of Rights. Like we're but not you, a democracy at all. But you do have a democratic vote, I hope. Well yeah. It says a state governed by a democracy, plural noun democracy. Democracies control of an organization or group uh, by the majority of its members, the intended extensions and in, of industrial democracy. Okay, that's so that more. Is well, republic is more for the people. It's in contrast of the mo uh, to a monarchy representation. In a republic, may or may not be freely elected by general citizens. Pretty much what it means is democracy is run by corporate. Republic is run by people. Okay, right. That's the difference. Less of a is, is if you and I went into office and we had a bunch of organizations... Oh man, we make it fun. The mass, right? Oh yeah, it's ha republic. Ha if you see Javier Millier, he just Department of Education gone. You know, Department of the Environment gone. Department of exactly State, gone. Like so that. republic is more based on people, the citizens. Democracy is not really that, and it's very loosely. Everyone thinks, oh, democracy, democracy, when you see it on social media, it's like, America was not based on democracy. It was based on republic. It's in the Bill of Rights. There's nowhere that mentions democracy. It's just, democracy has been loosely turned. It's like when you say Nazi, it's now, it's lost its meaning when you say Nazi. You did so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of people say, "Oh, you're Nazi because you're you vote for Trump." Like, do you understand Nazis? Like, do you understand? No, they it's don't. yeah, it's, it's like word, when you use when word. you use. Yeah, but when you're a child, you call someone a poopy pants because that's the worst word you know. It's when you. That's it's it's when you use a word 
so much that it loses meaning. Like, you and I, we're old enough to know Nazi, that's a bad word. That's a, that's a, that, that brings a lot of baggage into the conversation. Nowadays, people younger than us, they just throw out Nazi like all willy nilly. It's like, do you understand? They don't. Exactly. They, they, I, I went to Auschwitz. I saw Auschwitz in Poland with my own eyes. I don't throw that term around loosely. Have you ever heard um, when I know we're going down this path now? Have That's you ever heard actually Hitler? Did you ever hear Hitler actually when they when someone um, translated what Hitler was saying from German into English? Yeah. No. It's very fascinating. Okay. Like what he had, like you know, when Hitler. <clears throat> So when I was in film school, we watched a lot of documentaries. I took a class, um, history of documentary, and really fascinating stuff. And every time we watched one that was filmed by, I forget what her name was, but she filmed it during the Olympics when um, Germany went to the Summer Olympics. And you would hear Hitler talk. and. Okay. When you hear people talk and they sound angry in a language that you don't understand, they actually took Hitler and they translated it out. It's not as bad as you think. I'm not. Here's the other thing. I'll say this right now. I'm not supportive of Hitler. I think he was a very bad man. I'll just say that right now. But some of the speeches he had to say was very much pro-German, pro the people of Germany. He wouldn't have become as popular if, as he did. Because here's the thing. Yeah, he shouldn't say some things that were supported by the people. He Here's what I'll say. This is what I'll say popular, about Hitler. He was a popular motherfucker. He here's the thing I'll say about mustache. Hitler. is He was a terrible person, but he understood speech the way and, Obama did. He yeah. knew how to talk to people. One of the interesting things about Hitler was he would do <laughs> he would do this thing where he would have on the speakers this high frequency that would just give people headaches. And then he would turn it off right as he spoke so it sounded pleasant. He understood how Pollux works. Yeah. It was he understood the strategy of making his voice sound more comforting. And it's like honey. When you take honey, it's soothing. It was he was very soothing. And I'm like, he's smart at speaking. Like yeah. It's just he he didn't get into office and the leadership he was at for who he was. It's just he knew how to talk to people. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. like I understand Why politics. John, John Sipple has a really good question. And this is maybe maybe that is the question of the night. Oh, how will you how stop will gun you violence? Stop gun violence. Mental health. Nope. Mental not even health. that. Nope. What? You don't give Mental. people to, to shoot people and they won't shoot people. No. Because here's the thing. Guns don't shoot people. People, people shoot. do. That's right. Mental health. Hello? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everyone has a mental problem. No, I don't. It's, Fuck that. Yes. No, I don't. I guarantee you do. No, I don't. It's, it's how you stop gun I'm violence. I don't have a mental problem. How you stop gun violence? I love you, my daughter. Listen, everybody. John said, "My Biden is my mentor." <laughs> I am trying. How you, to how you stop gun violence is? Yeah, you how do you give, stop gun violence? You take all the guns from people. No, you don't. What do you no, want to be? No, no exactly. Because they're going to they're gonna use knives, like in England, right now. Yeah, they're going to use knives. How you stop gun violence is you give law-abiding citizens the right to bear arms, to, to conceal carry, open carry. That's how you stop it. Here's the thing. Everyone always thinks that, oh, this guy has his gun, his his hand, his firearm on his, on his 
on his waist. Oh, he's going to cause problems. If you go to a bunch of southern and midwest states that have that allow constitutional carries, Such um, as. pretend I'm Canadian and I don't know the south midwest. So states. constitutional carry is where you don't well, need well, to get a permit to carry a concealed carry. And states it's that just that all you do. There's like twenty five states that um, do that. Now it goes by county. That's the other thing. If you go to a town or a county that has constitutional carry, which abides by the Second Amendment, everyone's concealed carry is the safest place you're going to be at. Because here's one of the things I mentioned. I wanted to mention this on um, Manorama last week. The reason why I want to own a gun, a firearm, is because I don't want to shoot it. That's right. I own it because I don't want to shoot it. Oh my god! Exactly. It's the it's. I don't want to shoot this. It's so far behind. See, Eugene uh, Bird uh, agrees with your last statement. Oh, howdy there! Absolutely. Absolutely not. Criminals will then have the guns. So yes, if we stop people from having. See again, something like ninety percent of crimes in Canada are are they're not performed with with legal guns. They're they're done with the illegal guns. Here's yeah, the thing. Know. Here's the other thing that you have to think about you when it comes to we need Tyron. We need we need Tyron on this one here. He would Tyron. Notice. Tyron yeah. Lethbridge. We need Tyron Lethbridge, and he was here earlier. Uh, he was here an hour ago. Dang it! I missed him. Yeah. No, so here's the thing about. About um, sorry if I'm cutting you off. No, no, go ahead. And Rennie is still uh, here. Hey, what up, Rennie? I'm Charlie Burton. Is if you look at when you say we need background checks, we need all these things about guns. Here's the thing: people who don't abide by the law, they'll find a way. It just when you put exactly. all these restrictions so on here, away. it it allows the law-abiding citizens not to have that You're that's right. the problem it it strips us away from it but it gives the other people <laughs> that's the thing like biden is my mental problem oh he uh, yeah okay. that guy is a wackadoodle all right he's a wackadoodle Okay, we have a fantastic chat. Holy shit. All right. How many people are watching? Well, like 70 on YouTube, and I don't know how many on X, at least half of them. Like over 100 people. Uh, well, they Jesus like the bots, but they're not here for you and me. They're here for the burning of I know, planet. right? And you they're like, screw you. Screw your freedom. Pine and the birch. Do you know why I don't put. um? Do you know why I don't put um, what's his name, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the tip of the hat? John Sippa, you you've been around a long time. I trust you. So you're welcome to it, sir. Um, no, why don't you? Because he said, "Screw oh, your freedom." Shit. Scotty, good to see you. Uh, he said, "Screw your freedom." Who yeah. said, "Screw your freedom"? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Was it because of a vaccine mandate? Yeah, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Screw your freedom. But he's not in the tip of the hat. But he's the he's the commander. He's the dude that goes out to protect freedom. Stallone. What the fuck? Stallone. Yeah. Stallone over Schwarzenegger. American born. None of this commie bullshit. American born. Sylvester Stallone. He's a man. Also, of look up. Look up like Stallone's it. dad and grandfather. You'll be blown yes. away. They're, hey, Scotty, good to see you, man. They're part of the Nazis party. Good to see you. Absolutely. Uh, the, the ATF would try to enforce it with the United Nations, says Oh, Johnson. God, I hope not. ATF? They can fuck yeah. off. Uh, Pleasant Valley Picker, who just down, lives down the river, uh, down the road, 
says say right. Regina to Americans and they giggle. Is that true? Regina. We have a capital city named Regina. He is snickering. Steve is snickering. I am. Regina. <laughs> That's a, that's <laughs> if they turned us into China, there would have been violence. Yeah, there would have been violence. And John Sipola, you can write China in this chat as long as you're respectful to people in the chat, as long as you're not malicious to other people in the chat. You can write that I'll never be monetized for what I've already said on YouTube. You can write whatever the fuck you want on this chat. This is a free for all. That's Steve comes on here. You can say whatever the fuck he wants. Absolutely. Good to have you here. Ari Buffel. This is Cardinal Sin's brother, folks. Ari Buffel. Good to see you. Hey. Um, if Bob and Doug didn't do it, <laughs> try Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Do you know Letter Kenny, Steve? Have you watched Letter Kenny? Mm -mm. Do you know of Letter Kenny? I've heard of. It is a it is a show. They're based in Ontario. It is so it's one of the best, wittiest, funniest, non-politically correct shows you will watch. Letter Kenny is fucking hilarious. And and the, the girl, the sister on there is smoking hot and she's of legal age. So it's she wears like Wow, like um, incredible, uh, incredible. Yeah, she's she's nice. And there's hockey. There's lots of hockey. Uh, some guy, this girl is random. Uh, some guy on Facebook is offering five thousand dollars to anyone who can successfully send them a glitter bomb. Oh, dude, you just opened the door. You're you're gonna get glitter bombed all the fuck. Talk to me. Talk to me, and I'll send it. Every package you open for the next 10 years is going to be glitter bomb money. Hey, great to see everybody here. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate uh, you joining, everybody. We've got a great chat here. My wood uh, is not dry or green. Uh, well, it's one of the two. If it's not green, it's dry, PvP. What? What is it? It's pink. I don't know. Oh, that wood. I need to poke something. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> you know, they make... Have you heard of the Fleshlight? Let me send you a link. 3,200 oscillations per minute, folks. There's not a girl on the country that can do... On the planet uh, can do that. Robert Guillaume. Yes, Benson. Okay, you did catch the, the Benson uh, comments. Yes. Uh, Mikey Suez4, hello to you. Uh, he says, I'll be doing a makeshift stream since there's uh, no Jeopardy for a QOT this weekend. It'll start shortly. Awesome. Thanks for being here. And thanks for putting that in the chat. That's awesome to have you here. We appreciate that. PPP says, one of my friends in art school was a native guy. He thought oh. I was mixed blood by the way I look. Oh, did you wear feathers in your hair? Yes. Hello, Ariba Bell. It is great to have you here. All right. Uh, good night, uh, Tyron Lethbridge. You know what? You were fantastic on Manorama. Um, I, I'd love to stream with you again, Tyron. You were fantastic. Love to have. I want to talk more guns with Tyron uh, Lethbridge. Absolutely. I'm going to try to get him on again. Yeah, please do. Yeah, he's he's got lots of free time. He's just with Rennie. Like, what are they doing? They're not doing anything important. Absolutely. All right. Exactly. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh. Jim's landscaping says he's not blue. No, you're not. Good observation. 30,000 K. Woohoo. Really? Maria? Maria with T and Tally, you hit 30,000? Wow. Jeez. You can quit your day. Diamonds off. Jubilee. I, I think you can quit your job. Once you 
because if you have 10,000 subs, you still have to have a normal job on YouTube. Like, it's not enough money to quit your job. Yeah. 30,000. That's different, Maria. Good for you. And we have Carla uh, Burton joining us. Carla Burton says, I love political talk, but I'm driving across the country. I need to replay. Well, uh, you have that option. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, good to have you here, Scotty. And good to have you here, Carla. Catch up with chat, Spidey. I am am trying. I am absolutely trying. This is hard. Like, the chat just gets going and... Uh, Justin and Spidey in a cage match. Yes. PvP, 100%. If he's not unconscious in five seconds, I'll eat my shirt. Uh Uh-oh. The flannel shirt. If he's not unconscious in five seconds, I will eat my flannel shirt with no condiments. Because he will be unconscious. He will have no choice. That's just, I don't want to get into details, but he will stop seeing daylight in five seconds. John Sippola says, Frank or Steve, I'll be dropping by, so don't go anywhere. Oh, hey, great to have you here. What up? Congrats. I'm here. We are here. So, we got to have a voice. We do, Scott. Um, does the American government, so if you didn't yeah. have guns, would American government be more controlling? I guess is the yes. basic question. They yeah. would be. Do you really believe that? Oh yeah. Yes. So do I. Why do you believe? Why do we believe? Why do you and I believe that? Because we we're ignorant. The nations that don't have guns. Because we're ignorant. That's Russia. what it is. We're ignorant. We allow we allow the we allow the government to tell us what to do. Look at the lockdown. Oh, I'm scared of this and I'm scared of that. I'm like, John, you do know you have freedom of will. Yep. Like I look at it this way. I don't want to get religious, but it's take those. It's not given to us. We need to take freedom. Freedom. Like, I look at it this way. This is the best analogy I have of of America. You can't have an analogy (laughs) without anal. There you go. It's, I look at it, I don't want to get religious, but this is how I look at it. You can say whatever you want. Okay, cool. I'll say whatever I want. Uh, Trump Trump is the daddy of America. Uh, Deal with it. Uh, no wars. We had low gas prices. Um, the economy yeah. was good. If, Your dollar was high, oh, which yeah. sucked for us. I hate I it. When it really screwed you guys. Screws but here's the thing. Sideways. Here's the thing. This is the best way I can right. do analogy of America and religion. Not saying America. Well, America is the greatest country, but you're up there. You're in the top five. Yeah, it's. When you look at how God said, "Look, I give you the freedom, the 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 freedom of doing whatever you want." Okay, that's yes. America in a sense. Is we have the freedom to do whatever we want. It's when you go to hey, radioactive the cities. It's not so much the same thing. It's when what? you go to like the yeah. Midwest and South. It's freedom yeah. there. That's it's that. Different. Yep. It's it's like what I'm you different. have, Canadian Spider Man. You you live out in the woods, the boonies. You're building a fire. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. Because you there's can no cops eat a, It would take the police an hour to get here. Yeah, and we don't the cops. It takes my neighbor two minutes. That's the thing. You can eat a deer heart on Manorama live, which was awesome that you did that. But that's the same thing about. Religion is the free will. It's the same thing with America. What you have the free see, will. I, see, I my my youngest brother, who's now living in Western Australia, Patrick, 
he once told me, why would I be religious? Why would I want to add another layer of rules and restrictions to my life? I can't disagree. That's a good question. Here's disagree. the other thing. So I don't want to get philosophical or anything, but I'll say this. Christianity is built upon relationship, not religion. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't learn that until I was older. Yeah. Christianity oh. is more built around when relationship. Are you older? When are you getting older? Oh, man. I probably have more gray hairs yeah, than you, yet. man. <laughs> I probably have way more gray hairs than you do. Yeah. It's, yeah. Maybe. It's, well, because I don't more, have kids for a wife. Well, no... here. <laughs> you, you got that one. Here's the thing. It's. You're not as stressed out. You're just living the life. You're you're the type of the guy that's like, I'm living out in the woods. I'm chilling, relaxing, going to Mexico for eight months or however long you're going. Five. And yes, you're just no chilling. Not and me, you've lost. Yeah, but you've lost your tan. It was worth I know. It, it was worth I it. I see it. Yeah. I don't regret, I regret nothing. Yeah. It's. For me, I have so much stress because I live in a state where it's just constant stress and it just builds up. So if I grew my hair out, which I'm going to do, I'm growing my hair out a little bit just to see what it's like now in my late 30s. And we'll see how much gray hair is. My wife's already counting. She's like, you have some here, 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 here. And she's like, right here. And I was like, I'm bald right here. Just a clean slick. I got and, the Bill Crystal look. And so if you point out her gray hair, she's appreciative? No, she'll slap me. You know what? Double standard. I Here's yeah. the other thing. Okay, so you want to... I, I understand this. So I've been around enough men to see this. Yes. When it's guys... It. When guys get older... There's a certain insecurity, especially when losing hair. It's either losing hair or getting gray hair. Here's the thing. When guys accept the fact that, look, I'm getting gray hairs, women love it. I don't know why. My wife loves my gray hair. And I'm not even 40 yet. And I have it all over here. It's all right here. It's thick. Just thick, just white gray hair. And my wife hates when I shave, and she hates when I grow my hair out. I'm growing my hair out a little bit, just for fun. You know, the last time, the Molly, last, Molly. your last few years of your thirties. But women love the gray hair. There's the thing, because it brings yep. wisdom. Absolutely. Just because you have gray hair doesn't mean you're wise. It just means you've dealt with a lot of things. No, exactly. Yeah, Biden has a whole lot of gray hair. <laughs> Biden's a whole another crack of porn that I don't know, but guys yes. get very I insecure. They left in Afghanistan. Yes, girls. You guys yes. left so many weapons and money. You guys literally left crates of money in Afghanistan. Why couldn't I you know. drop some off in the Okanagan? Like drop them off near Vernon or Kelowna. Because you and I weren't in you charge. You and I will pick them up. You and I weren't in charge. But here's the other thing. Men are very insecure when it comes to losing hair. I don't know if you've oh, noticed I'm that. Not, no. Here's the thing. I have, my dad still has thick hair, so I'm good. I, yeah, it's not a concern. Here's the other thing about guys. Um, some guys don't have the head to be bald. They're not blessed. I'll say that. You're not blessed. It's not a privilege. It's a blessing. Like, That's right. for me, I can shave my head. I'm blessed with that. It's perfect. Some guys have some wackadoodle heads. I'm like, just put a wig on or toupee or whatever you want. I don't care. It's, yeah. I have a buddy of mine in Texas. He has a weird head, and he rocks it. I'm like, hey, there you go. Like, the same thing with a mustache. Like, when a guy shaves his beard and does a mustache, it's a very insecure thing because it's a 70 porn thing. They're like, I just feel so weird. I'm like, rock it, dude. <laughs> rock the mustache. I did that one. I did that a couple, like a couple months ago. Or no, a month ago, actually. And I, we went, my wife and I went to church and 
the the couple that's in our couples group, the husband looked at me like, "Who's with Who's with Steve's wife right now?" <laughs> I oh, looked like right. a fucking exactly. detective. Also, the dog is there. Uh, the what? John Sippla in the chat says, "And what happened to the red states? They handled the COVID the best. Did the red states handle the COVID the best? Yes. Oh and, yeah." And which states are doing the best economically right now? Florida. My home state. And Florida had little restrictions, right? Yeah. They were yeah. my wife and I went there for for our anniversary. Texas and Florida. But Florida is the number one. Like my wife and I went there for our anniversary and I showed her my hometown. And she's like, This is a very okay. clean place. I was like, I don't remember anything about this town. Yeah, because there was no restrict. I mean, economically, the states. That oh yeah. If anyone said California that, was economically great during COVID, they're no, fucking stupid. No, they're they're retarded. Yeah, no, you can't lock. Oh, we can say small retarded. Small businesses. I don't we know can say retarded. Business. We can say retarded. Fuck yeah, let's get. Because I am retarded. The black peer, the black peas have a song. Let's get retarded here. Yeah. because no, retarded means slow, and I'm sorry. If you're mentally slow, I'm sorry. You're fucking retarded. I, like, you're bad hey. luck to you, but, you know, you're lucky you're alive. 20 years ago, you would have been killed. Or 200 years ago, they would have been. See, I can say it because I am retarded. Yeah. Yes. Legitimately. <laughs> paperwork. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> You dick! I saw what you did. You sl you slide that one in there. You weren't supposed Paper to hear works. Oh, you. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I like. But you've got a giant American flag. That is so cool. I know, right? God bless America, is, baby. That is awesome. The homeland, the free and that the brave. Is awesome, man. So um, are Americans too patriotic? Are you too fla flag waving? I am. You are. I am straight up America. I don't fly any one other country, even though Cover I'm me Irish. Harder, Daddy. <laughs> even though I'm Irish and Cover me Finnish. harder, Daddy. Govern mm. govern oh yeah. More government. <laughs> even though I'm Finnish and Irish and Egyptian. Yeah, that's right. You have you have a an an African on your show right now. That's right. You are Egyptian. <laughs> something my, something my brother. Look, you don't look black. But who am I to judge? Yeah. You know what? I don't yeah. give a flying fuck what color you are. Can you do you know how to brick leg? Do you know how to roof? Do you yeah. know how to drywall? Can you build a wall in under an hour? That's all I want to know. Well, you hold up. How how big of a wall are you talking about, baby? You well, 30 by 10. I don't know. You know, decent size. Yeah, you can do it in an hour, two uh, hours. Give them five hours. Don't do an hour. That's crazy. What, are you well, going to Home Depot? I, I'm a hard ass. And we use yeah, an air See, here's the thing. If you and I, if you had, if you hired me to work on a house, you'd be like, do this an hour. I would just say, fuck off. <laughs> to use straight to your face. We need so I many level. houses in Canada. Is America the same? Like we are literally dying for housing in Canada. You guys can't be the same. Here in America, especially in California, they just build houses. They just build it. I'm like, who's going to buy it at like $6,000 a month to rent? Do you realize what? that rent, some places in California That's rent? $6,000 a year? Yeah. That's what it's, a house should cost. Housing in California is ridiculous. Dude, my tent was $400 and it has a chimney. I looked at places in other states and I'm Literally. like... The rent that I'm paying, I could that buy is this house. No, it's not. Like that. I almost bought. I almost bought my wife this house, this five bedroom house. It was all finished, everything. Two five, acres. How many kids? Hold are you up. Having? I'm hoping a lot, but it was a five bedroom house, four bathroom, 
all single, single story, two acres, have a huge barn garage where you can do stuff. Guess how much it was cost? Uh, less than four. Yeah. My buddy Cash is saying he's a builder. 400,000. 150,000. Wow. That's see, was that in Maine? That should be in no, Maine. Texas. Texas. I almost, I almost, do Texas. you know what the mortgage was for, for a month there? Yes. You should watch the Rambo movies, John Cipolla. Yes. Um, no, I don't. Well, it depends on no. I it, Texas is not all the same. You're a big mm. state. You're, I mean, not compared to provinces, but you're pretty big for the state. And and yeah. it's different from east to west and north to south. It's completely different. This was near Hugh, okay, yeah. This was near Austin, Texas. The mortgage for this house was six fifty. Six hundred fifty dollars a month. Yeah, that's that's a good price. I t I told my wife I was like, "Hey, I have a gift for you." She's like, "What is it?" And I showed her, and she's like, "I don't want it." I was like, "I was like, do you realize we can actually just buy this house right now?" It got sold in six hours. By the time I told her, it was already sold, gone. Never, so it was you, nice. Totally it was, not, she didn't like the inside of it. That's the thing. She's like, I don't like the inside of it. I was like, God dang it, just pick a place out of side of California. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, that is a paradox, Scotty. It's funny. We somehow have a show with 72 people watching. It's kind of crazy. How are you doing, Must Scotty? Must be it's fun. good to see Scotty here, man. I know. It's I, I like having him around. He's very talkative. And he has a lot of political opinions. And he is in Ontario. We like to call it Ontario. Did you know Canadians call Ontario Ontario? I can see. I can see that. Yeah. It's still the same worst case. Yeah. Same. You know what we call Chicago? Ontario. Worst case, Ontario. Uh, what do you call Chicago? No. Bang, bang. Oh. Yeah. Please tell me you got the reference to that. Please tell me you got the reference to that. I Bang, bang, it's a song, right? No, Chicago, bang, bang. Someone in the chat has to know the reference to that. What, what, was there a recent shooting? In no, it's Stripes. Oh, I love Stripes with Bill Murray and um, Egon yeah. Spindler. The guy's like, oh, Chicago, bang, bang. Was that a Japanese dude? No, it was uh, whatever the country they were in. Oh, Yugoslav, Poland, Ukraine. Could have been Ukraine. It might have been somewhere around there. I, I love, yeah, I love Stripes. Bill Murray. Oh, Although one of my that favorites. big that big armored vehicle that they had, like one the rocket, RV? Launch, like you're a moving target. Like the yeah, RV, the military RV. It's a terrible idea. The guys are just the military guys are just gonna hot box the fuck out of that. Because I know no. dudes in the U.S. military smoke weed. They smoke a lot of weed. In the it US was military. oh no, someone in the chat. It is Czech Republic. That's what it was. It is okay. Now we're catching up to the chat. I am miles behind PVP. I'm trying. Uh, try not to be too much of a. Uh, I never seen your gender. There you go. Oh no, you were not. <laughs> Rancor Steve does not assume gender. No, I never do. You can't be drafted. No. You're way behind, dude. I'm trying. That is, we have an active chat. We have a really active chat, and I've I've been keeping up. I've been clicking and clicking and clicking. Click clacking. Uh, I'm trying to. I don't want to jump ahead too far. That's a fact, Jack. I thought it was from a lady from Stalingrad. Ooh, we are far behind. Uh, past the age where they send the young bucks. But I am at the age. 
but I'm at the age where we are fucked at the draft. No, no. It, it, as long as you can put a put a scope up to your eyeball, you're not too. Uh... True story on population. Uh, Gorilla's Random Thoughts says, Women have better eyesight uh, because of the time we were hunters and gatherers. Yes. Women had to be able to see the berries so their eyes adapted to see the different shades of color better. Okay, and maybe men recognize like animal shapes better. Okay, it's it's evolutionary. I can believe that. Why do you need to go through the background check? Uh, to make sure that you're not a psycho when you're purchasing a gun. I'll show you a psycho. Uh, Canadians did burn down. Because, wow, okay. Let's... I like the sound of your fire right now. Can you hear the crackling? Yeah. It's Cash, do you mind putting another... Can I beg of you to put on another log? Do we have another log? If oh, yeah. you don't. Oh, yeah. More logs. We got more logs. My buddy Cassius is helping me with the, the fire tonight. Invasion USA with Chuck Norris. Awesome. Is that where the poster's from, uh, Steve? Yeah. Invasion oh, Invasion USA 2. That's number two, isn't it? That poster? Ooh. I'm not sure. Uh, I have spent two weeks there and was chased by flamingos, says John. Oh, he's talking about Florida. Swam with dolphins. That was fun. I swam with dolphins in the Amazon River in Ecuador. I mean, they Ooh. were like 60 feet away. But technically, I was in the same river as they were. They were 60 feet away. They were pink dolphins. I think they, they're pink because they're sunburned or something. What is a... What is a... What is... He, John Simple is saying it was a win a Winchester. Winchester shotgun. Man, do I own a Winchester? I don't think I do own a Winchester. I own a Savage. I'll show you a Winchester. And I own a Mossberg. And Mossberg's made in Texas, isn't it, Steve? Mossberg? Yeah. I think Mossberg. I have a Mossberg shotgun. I don't have a Winchester. I should have it. Do you have a Winchester? You do. No. What is it? 30 30? I'm talking about you have a 3030 Winchester lever action. Nice. How much do you want for it? He's yeah. never <laughs> people that own 3030 lever Winchester, Steve. They never sell them. They just don't. no, they don't. Do you know why? Because they they're awesome. Yeah, I want a 3030 lever. You don't action. sell guns, you just buy guns. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you, you'd like it, Steve. If you came up here, you'd enjoy going shooting with us. Oh man, what? it's heaven, baby. Do we we have a 45 Magnum here, don't we? 44. We have a 44 Magnum we can shoot. I'll bring my 357. 357? Nice. Yeah, I own him. I got one too. We have a 357 here. I'll do it with I'll hold allegedly two at the same time. No, allegedly. No. Oh, I was absolutely no, we do not have a 357 All right. Magnum here in this. I'll house. bring I'll bring two 357 Magnums, and I'll shoot both of them one-handed. What? Yeah, at the one same in time? each hand. Yeah, one at in each hand. Time. You're going to yeah. shoot two 357 Magnums. Well, good luck getting that across the Canadian border, first of all. And second of that is awesome. Like a dirty, hairy That's thing. That's like a double mag. Yeah, wow. it's like... Crazy. You're not gonna hit shit. Oh, I never my three. I can't hit shit with one three fifty seven. You kidding me? <laughs> but that's not the point. That's not that's not what it does. It, it's not supposed to hit shit. It's supposed to just when you hear it, you run away. <laughs> Good thing I know how to pass a wall. You can shoot through a wall with a three fifty seven magnum. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, you can. Uh, John Sipola says, this is why we have the electrical, electrical, electoral, electrical. no, it's not the electrical, it's the electoral college. 
uh, protect smaller states' rights against the bigger states. It's needed, 100%. Absolutely. Uh, and yes, uh, John Sipla is absolutely correct. If you love Rush Limbaugh or Trump, you are a Nazi. That is fact. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if he's trolling or not. No, he's being sarcastic. He's totally being That's persistent. what, okay, that's what I thought. I was like, uh, what? No, he's totally, hey, Don McDouglas is in here. Obama the drone man. Yeah, Obama drone. killed a lot of people with drones, didn't he? That is true. Oh, Man, that fire's did. going awesome. Thank you, Cassius. We got some pine fire going. You better we have pay him. Five people in the chat. How oh, yeah. much no, you pay I, him? Absolutely. Well, I, I pay him in rum. There you go. Nice job. Plus, I told you him you were going to get him a carpenter's cup. <sighs> no, not happening. Not with gold. You, no, you give him some. Give us some bourbon. <laughs> no so rum, bourbon. bourbon. And we've got Ooh. Ooh. bourbon's not a big thing in Canada. We we like the rum. We're not a big bourbon Why nation. Rum though. Why? Because rum is awesome. It's we're in oh, the no. navy now. Rum. We're not bourbon is just bourbon is okay. So when you got going right there, bourbon, if you had like about that much of bourbon, you're good for the night. You're around the campfire. You can maybe do two of those. And that's it. You're just chilling. Education and training. Agreed. Yeah. I had, when I went, um, I think it was two months ago now, we did a, um right. all day gun shooting. I went, I went shooting for, I think, eight hours. And right. at the end of the night, we had tri-tip and we had scotch whiskey. What's a tri-tip? What's a tri-tip? Oh, tri-tip. Oh. I saw that once. It was a lady, and she looked like she was having a lot of fun. It was called Tri Tip. Yes, I've seen that movie. I need to. I need to. I need to introduce you to a lot of things. It's a type of. It's a type of meat in a cow. I don't know barbecue. I need to come to California. It's a, okay. So Tri Tip is a California thing. It's it's the meat that gets wasted everywhere else. But let me like. If you and I ever did a stream together, I'll cook you a tri-tip. And Man. I'll make you a tri-tip. I don't know. When do you want to? We got to no, work this out. No, no, no. Sorry, you misunderstand. You were saying if. It's not yeah. if. It's when. I know. We need. That's why I'm, we need to talk about this. Sure. When we do meet up. And we will do a manorama live with you and I. A lot of ammunition and fire. We might have to. Mm. We're gonna have to have some. And I will cook you a tri tip where you feel like you're in heaven. Ooh. Yeah. But it, I don't. I'm fine with heaven, but I don't want to meet all those religious preacher type folks. You won't. It bypasses them. But none of them don't are worry. Okay. You, know you go straight. You go straight to Paul. You go to straight to Paul and da King David. And you're like, I'm good. I want to hang here. with Tom Green. Okay. You know him? Mm hmm I think he fucked a moose once. Uh, yeah, tri-tip is a part of steak. It's a a lot of states, they throw out the tri-tip because it's a waste. But wow. it's... Good to see you, Willie. It's, it's one of the most amazing pieces of steak I've ever had. And okay. Hello, this Rachel. year I cooked, I think... 40 tri tips. 40. Wow. Yeah. So that's like 120 altogether. 120. Try three times oh. 40. It's just one slab of meat. <laughs> the slab. <laughs> so if you get. <laughs> I get it. If you if go you to a store, to if like you go to a store, it's about like this big. But if you get it where it's not. um marinated or anything it's about like this big okay right. it's with the fat you got to trim it off it's right dude it's candy i love candy dude this is i'll if the day that you and i hang out i will make you a tri-tip it's gonna be a week eat it. i'm not coming there just for a day 
Oh no, a week. I'll cook like, you. I'll cook asleep. you, man. Yeah. My wife might kick you out a lot sooner. But no, I, if when you come hang out, dude, you Gary, I'll bring. I'll try to get Andy out here. We'll all, awesome. dude. We'll do. I yeah. just have to point my car south and drive. I think. Yeah. Are you closer to Washington State? I can be in Washington. I can be in Seattle in three hours. Four hours. Okay, so you're on the West Coast side. Yeah, I can be in Seattle in four, Seattle in four hours. Yes. We got to do a show together, man. I'd love to, man. And stream it with a bonfire. I. You don't look that old, Rancor Steve, says John Cipolla. No, you look pretty good for a 50-year-old. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm closer to 37, but whatever. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. I, man, I'd love it. I, absolutely. And, and like, we, oh my God. We're, like, I don't want to get your channel canceled, though. Like, we might what? get it some shit. No. Well, I mean, if we're together, we're chances are we're going to be pressing the boundaries here a little bit. We'll just do it on Rumble. Uh, oh, ooh, yes. We'll get Mike Lorber out here. Yes, he's not far from me. He's he's just over the Rockies. Yeah, we'll just. Dude. Yeah, I just have to cross the Rockies to go find Mike Lorber. That's why. I just need a passport, and we'll just get there. That's how we do it. Uh, John Simplis says, "Okay, it's late. I'm heading off to bed. Good night to you, and thanks for being here, uh, John Simplis. Have a great stream, and can't wait for Tuesday, since I'm off Wednesday. That's for Manorama on Tuesday, Ooh. Steve, on your channel, on Rank or Steve's channel." <laughs> Uh, I will break your brain. But yeah, the holy shit, man! You had me confused. Like I don't even know what's a girl and what's a boy anymore. Like if they ask me what's a woman, I don't even know anymore because of your. Should don't. your should your chat know? I think you should tell you. I, most of them do, but yeah, absolutely. See, you have this thing where it's like spot the tranny, right? I'm good at it. Tell tell the folks about Spot the Tranny on your so show. On Tuesdays spot the tr- on Manorama. So Spot the Tranny. Here's the thing. I I didn't know. I there's a few guys on the show that I broke. Tom is one of them. <laughs> you the geeky leftist Tom, who is also from New Brunswick. I love the guy. So it's pretty much all the Canadians. Um, I broke. So on the show, Manorama, I do this thing called Spot the Tranny, but I call it Hombre or Senorita. I do it in a way where you can figure it becomes a life skill. It's like if a guy is single, how are you gonna in 2024? How are you gonna if it's a woman or a tranny, <laughs> whatever it is, okay. Um not Canadian Hawkeye. It's Canadian Spider-Man has epically failed at every single one of them. Here's the they thing. Your instincts attractive. Here, here's the they, thing. They, I, I, I mean, the penis would have gave it away. Like I would have stopped. There was one lot. Pain. There was one two weeks ago. You're like, ooh. Here's the thing. Everyone who is on that episode that I do the hombre or senorita, they don't know. That's the other thing. No, like no if idea. it's the simp tweets, you all be sexy. A lot of the simp tweets, everyone gets the gets a heads up so they can come up with their own jokes and everything. Um hombre or senorita, you all don't know because it's a guessing game. Um, Andy has, I think about 80%, maybe 90 has gotten it right. I know you even oh. said after he everyone was, I picked, you laughed. See, you've I got picked, a lot of experience with trannies is what I'm thinking. Well, no, it's, it's, you have to look at the face. That's the thing. Single guys, if you're in the dating, you have to look at the face. I even picked you last for Blair White and you're like, Ooh, she's kind of hot. And everyone's like, it's a dude. I don't even know who Blair White is, though. I'm in the woods in Canada. What the fuck do I know? Okay. About? All right. That's fair enough. It's 
the reason why I also do it is because I want to hear you, Mike Lorber, and Tom yes. all go, oh, hey. It just do all that, like just this gut reaction, like, hey, she's kind of hot. And that's like a dude. And everyone, here's the other thing. Everyone picked Megan Fox as a dude. And I'm like, that's a chick. And everyone's like, Megan no, Fox it's not. Hot as hell. Yeah. Because I hid the yes. thumbs. Here's the other thing. I hide, I tried to hide the throat. That's yeah. the giveaway. Okay, so you take pictures that purposely don't have a throat. Yeah. yeah. I make it difficult. That's a fact. Jack. Even Andy, Andy yeah. texts me when we did it a couple weeks ago. Andy texts me. He's like, all right, you've really pushed the envelope. That, he had that, a hard time. Uh, yeah. Well, good for the, though. He, it's hard to surprise him though, isn't it? it? It is. So if you, if you made him take a second notice, that that's funny. Uh, William Shakespeareberg in the chat. And we are paying attention to the chat. Says, uh, I just noticed a Rancor's mug. Is that Donald Trump meets Chuck Norris? Yes, it is. It is Donald Trump's face. Ciao, everyone. We do... Oh, hey, Tiger Stripes. Hello. Uh, right Tiger back. Stripes is not about eyesight. Oh, with women, uh, with shooting, with, uh, with snipers. Hello and welcome, uh, Tiger Stripes. She says, it's not about eyesight. It's about superior hand-eye coordination. Yeah, we're better at that because we start earlier. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I mean, that is why men and women are yin and yang. That one complements the other. That is why we fit together so nicely. And yes, that was a sexual joke. We are meant to complement each other. 100% tiger stripes. Absolutely. Men and women in general. There is a trick also. What are office in San Francisco? Girl, it's good to have you here, huh? Uh, hello, Mossberg BB shotgun. Home defense. You don't have to aim. It goes all over the place. Yeah, uh, I love my Mossberg. Love my Moss. Although I would like a Winchester. 30-30. Lever action. Absolutely. There's no, no reason why you wouldn't have to three of those around. Uh, Eugene Murray says, uh, when they hear that slide, put a cartridge in, they'll be running. And they, you don't need to fire. Exactly. You pump a shotgun, you don't need to fire it. That is not a joke. Being sin sincere and serious, that is actually true. If someone's breaking into your house, if you pump the shotgun, they're not going to keep coming forward unless they're retarded. Absolutely, that is a turn. And that way you don't need to shoot them. You know, because it's a lot of, like, butchering animals and meat is hard. Like, if you shoot, whatever you shoot, you got to eat. So, you know, tri-tip is the state. Hey, I'm here, says Fermented Simina. Hey, Fermented Simina, Cinema. Hello. Uh, we have a stream coming up. Uh, Really shortly, fermented Simona and I got my beer ready. Dear, uh, let me send you a stream and you can hop on. Uh, I didn't intend to be streaming straight through the entire time, fermented Simona. Uh, absolutely, um, 100%. And I will send you this right now. And we can jump on. Uh, I didn't intend to be streaming this long. I know we were going to stream about Japan. Uh, send them up. And so I've sent you the link, and you can absolutely jump on. We can talk about politics and Japan. For, uh, William Shakespeareberg in the chat says, "Pull up a chair, fermented cinema." No, not that one. They're going to burn that one. Get the other one. Yeah, we do tend to burn uh, stuff around here. Awesome. I sent some stuff to you. On yes, you did. And am I meant to? Yeah, I see those. Ooh, wow. Hey, those are gorgeous. 
Absolutely. I'll be joining you. Okay, fantastic. Those are really nice. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Maybe we can put those up later for Method Zen Memo. Absolutely. Yes, please jump on. Uh, we're just poli talking politics. Uh, Japan has some interesting politics. Our friend Fermented Cinema is joining us from Japan. There's definitely, you know what? The Second Amendment conversations could absolutely be had uh, concerning Japan, 100%. And uh, yeah, you, you've lived there for a long time, so great to have you on. Hey, look who's here. Joining us. Ah, there we go. All the way from <laughs> Japan. How do I look? How do I look? Uh, everyone likes to do the top down view because it makes your face look slimmer. But unfortunately, yes. sit in my car so I don't disturb the kids. It's nap time at the zoo. <laughs> oh, yes, you do have kids. Yes, I understand. Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, I've had zero time to prepare because I've been on a four hour stream talking about the Second Amendment rights. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I see you got a... There you go. That, that's a good view there, eh? Through the steering Reckless, wheel. Do you know Fermented Cinema? And do you know Reckless Cinema? No. Yeah, I don't think we've ever actually officially talked. Uh, I, I definitely know of Rancor, Steve. Yes. Uh, I'll never forget. Uh, he, My favorite appearance of yours, Rancor, Steve, was when you were doing... I think it was the Christmas special with Doomcock. And you were in the... Uh, in the vent doing the John McClane. <laughs> I will never do that again. Um, <laughs> that was painful. That was a oh, bad. It that, uh, I can't believe you found one big enough. Like, because you know, <laughs> in the movies, they're always big enough for, for a man. But when you see so many of them, they're like tiny little boxes. It's like, oh, God. It looks so awful to be one. inside. I told Gareth, <laughs> like, we're going to make one. And it sucked. It really did. I was like, this is the worst idea ever. I, I fell asleep. Oh, I was like, it this went... sucks, man. I was like, is he going to light himself the whole time with the lighter? I had a hours? lighter. I don't think I used a yeah. lighter, but I had a lighter for it. Oh, that was classic. That was great. I was like, oh, I like that. That's that's 110% effort into the, uh, into the, into the stream there. <laughs> Oh, looks like Spidey's back. I, I am back. I can't believe you're still in shorts. Are you not cold? The fire's pretty cold. Oh, that, it's, it's a uh, fire we got going here. The pretty big fire. Um, so you're you're coming to us from Japan in in Shikoku. Uh, in yeah, in uh, Sh uh, Shikoku. Shikoku, yeah, yeah. I I never made it down that far because I was working for Nova, teaching English, and you're familiar with Nova. <laughs> Yes, I remember Nova. There were some stories about them. Yeah, it's all they're all true. Um, yeah, the <laughs> yeah, it's it's all true. Yeah. Um, a <laughs> lot a lot it's of like, Nova teachers didn't get paid for their work. But um Yeah, yeah. He was I, uh, I, he was I think his, Nova I think Nova crashed like literally like the year before I got here. And okay. I remember we had a lot of teachers that were like in the company I was working with, they're like, they're all talking about Nova. <laughs> it was like, a, it was a they shit were show. The biggest... Yeah. Because I'm, uh, I'm working for like, uh, kind of like, I think it was like the, their main competitor at the time. And then of course okay. they cleaned up. Okay. Hey, who's stoking the fire back? Oh, that's my buddy, Cassius. Cassius play. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, we were opening up, uh, Nova was opening up a school once a month, but one new school a month. It's crazy. Absolutely yeah. Insane. But um, yeah, Japan. Oh, uh, Rank or Steve, if you have to leave, absolutely, buddy. Um, yeah, I got to head out. Um, It's getting pretty late, and I got to break some thing, things down because I've had a few to drink. But um, <laughs> I had Rank fun, Steve, man. before. Be yes. Be before you leave, ch check out my channel, please. I've always wanted you to take a look at it. Yeah, I will check your channel. I'm not leaving because you jumped on. I just... <laughs> it's getting smell? a little late. It kind of looks like that. <laughs> yeah. It might be a little B.O., 
No, it's um, I it's good to meet you, man. Um, yeah, I wish I could hang out a little bit more. Um, See, Japan should have guns. J Japan I, I needs agree. guns, right? What if Japan <laughs> had the same firearms laws as America? Would the Japanese have as many like M60s? Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's that's a. Uh... Now, that's they're a they're theoretical question. <laughs> that's, that's a fun asking. question, baby. It is. Uh, that's a, yeah. free, baby. Uh, I would. There's definitely guys I know that would have some. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, I I do know some guys here that do have hunting rifles, uh, and I'll I'll talk to you about that because they got the wild boars around here, and I, I'm uh, kind of yeah. in the countryside, so they need to uh, hunt down the boars sometimes. And those things are freaking ferocious, man. They'll kill you. Oh, they will. Yeah, they they can gore you like uh, gore you like really deep and yeah. stuff. Yeah, some of them are huge. I'm too freaking for that. Uh, so, Steve, you've got to leave. Uh, before you do, uh, do you mind yes. promoting your own channel? Because I, I, I love being on your show. Please tell us uh, what you've got going on before you leave. If Hi. You don't I'm Ray Corsive. I have no show. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do a <laughs> show called Manorama. Uh, it's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Um, this coming Tuesday, we're talking about cars and why men gravitate towards cars <clears throat> and why we give them girl names. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing, I guess. And I also do a Lego build every once in a blue moon. Um, and yeah, and then more conversation, which is more Lego build and more conversations is the weekends kind of thing. But Tuesdays is Manrama. You can check that out on Rumble at Brink or Steve or on YouTube at Brink or Steve. Or if you want to get updates on any of this stuff, you can go not Rank or Steve on x or twitter whatever age demographic you're at um this has been fun man i've enjoyed this very much um usually we do a i know kanae spider-man was complaining like a little girl because he couldn't do the poll of the last poll on tuesdays because every tuesdays we do a poll um the type was stripping now right <laughs> yeah, there you go um, <laughs> Kanae Spider Man is like, I didn't vote for this, and I'm like, Well, you gotta be here and see it. So, I do a poll on every Tuesday during Manorama of something masculinity. I don't know what we're gonna do the next poll, it's kind of off the cuff kind of thing, but we do that. And well, yeah, it's about cars, right? So, best engine <clears throat> like 440 or a 370. Oh. Best classic car. See, I'll now you're really cars. getting into Stingray, it. Stingray. Corvette Stingray. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. It's the, it's the Mustang Shelby GT500, baby. Ooh. Yeah. See, now you Except change your mind. Except <laughs> it's a Ford. No, I don't. Because it's a Ford. If a Ford <laughs> G. Here's the thing. If a Stingray came, if a Stingray and a GT500 came up all at the same time, which one are you going to get into? Well, I'm not getting into a Stingray because of Steve Irwin. I know, <laughs> but I'm... I know which car you're going to get into. I'm... It's the Mustang. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yes, you're not wrong. It's the most masculine muscle car. It is. I, I love it. Actually, I tell you what. Engine. I was just yeah. just in Hawaii, and uh, uh, we had a family reunion in Hawaii uh, a couple weeks ago, and my brother he rented. Uh, it was a 2023 Mustang uh, convertible. I'm not sure what the exact uh, like uh, model it was, because I actually haven't followed them for a while, but. I was surprised because I kind of fell out, fell out with Mustangs because I didn't like their their just like their uh, their chassis designs during kind of like the two thousands. Oh, it was but terrible. all of a sudden, it was terrible. Yeah, so I kind of fell out of favor with them, and I hadn't really checked in for a while because in Japan, family life and stuff. And all of a sudden, my brother shows up with this beautiful convertible. I'm like, I love it. They're going back to like the sharp edges of like the eighties and stuff. It looks fantastic. Yeah, and it looks mean. Yeah. <laughs> 
I had a 2005 Mustang GT. It was kind of the Boss 308 version. Oh, I love it. I wrecked <laughs> it, but I loved it. Uh oh. It was a V8. Oh, it had a fire extinguisher. Ooh. It had track tires on <laughs> it. It was oh glorious. But yeah. <laughs> but thank you for having me, Tony or Tony Stark, uh, Canadian Spider Man. <laughs> All right. All right, Tony. <laughs> uh, thanks I, for having I've had me. enough to drink. I'll take whatever name you're I know. giving. All right, there. Spider Stark. <laughs> exactly. Thanks Spider for having Stark. me, Putin. Dude, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. You know what? I do want to have a chat about uh, Russia because I, I, as much as the media tells me to hate Russia, that that makes me want to not hate them. You know. See. So, the more that but, I'm told to hate Russia, the, the less I hate Russia. I'm sorry. You tell me to do it. I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck you. There's ulterior motives. Let's just you must can we like launder Russia. some money. Let's get a great, let's let's have a great idea to launder some money. How can we do that? Oh, let's have a war. Then we can launder yeah. some money. <laughs> but thank you for having me, Canadian Spider-Man. This has been fun. I really enjoyed it. And it was good to meet you, um, Cinema, because I can't read the yeah, it was nice to, fermented uh, uh, cinema. Fermented, there we go. You see, you're mm. drinking little fermented beverages. <laughs> I got them in both yes. cups, baby. Love the nacho. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't, it was nice to actually finally get to talk with you, too, uh, uh, Rancor Steve, even just for yeah. a minute. <laughs> so I'll see you. I'll be in the chat somewhere. Um, thank you for having me. This is a lot of fun, man. I like what you do. No, if you haven't checked out Canadian Spider Man's travel episodes on Thursdays, go check them out. If not, I'll wrangle you up and I'll make yes. you watch them. Yes, Diamonds Jubilee. See you guys. <laughs> Good night. Right, see you, man. Here. See ya. Want us your Rambo knife? <laughs> I know, right? Now, now I need one of those. I know, <laughs> I know. Everyone wants. Hey, it. if you want, actually, all right. Before you go, if you want knives, you know the place mm -hmm. to be is only about a hundred clicks from where I live in Japan, over the mountains, is Kochi, and Kochi is famous for selling like the best knives in the world. And they have a Sunday, mm -hmm. they have like a Sunday like farmers market, and half the stands are like local fruits and vegetables, wonderful stuff, and half the stands are knives. Just yes. knife stands and knife stands yes. and knife stands. Wow. And it's so awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You had and me it's at so knives. Cool. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. So if you ever come to Japan, put that the Kochi Sunday Market. Boom. That should be on number one on your list. All right. I'll do that, man. <laughs> Thank you, Canadian Spider Man. Awesome to meet you. you. Fermented cinema. It's been fun, man. We should have fun. Cheers. This I'll... was one of the fellows I was going to recommend to have on uh, Manorama. <laughs> he knows about men in in, uh, in Asia and and how you you're a father, so you have advice. Oh well, yeah, find me. Well, find me on Not Rank or Steve. DM me and we'll talk and we'll go from there. And I'll get you on, man. Sounds good. I like the sounds of that. All right, all right. Take care, okay. guys. All right, we're going to talk right. about life in Japan. Uh, Have a good one. <laughs> take care. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, what? So, oh, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, you are. Oh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, are you kidding? You're, you're one of the guys I wanted to have on uh, before this. <laughs> um, now, you are in the countryside in Japan. and um, Yes, indeed. The gun culture... How would you describe the gun culture in Japan? Have most Japanese fired a gun of any kind? Uh, there are. Uh, the gun culture here is like obviously like the, the imagery is cool, right? Uh, and that uh, you, you don't have them in your home, of course, uh, unless you're like on a farm, and then you have them like uh, in your uh, uh, barn or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, but there are shooting ranges around and, uh, okay. people, I know quite a few people that have for like a birthday party or for an event, they go to the shooting range and you go far off some rounds at the shooting range. Wow. That's a thing. In yeah. Japan. 
Wow. Yeah, that's the thing, especially okay. countryside, because they got the, uh, the space for it, right? I was going to say, I never saw it. that in Tokyo. Not once. I saw oh, no, golf, no. a lot of golf courses and, sh and uh, like, you know, um, golf-related things in Tokyo, but I never saw you know, a gun range. You know what I bet it is, too? Also, just the noise of a gun range, right? In the countryside, oh. they could put it up in the hills here. Right, but That's in Tokyo, the noise would just be too loud, right? And people complain. The Japanese are very particular about noise, aren't they? They are. Oh my God, I can go all day about. Oh, you got to be dead silent on the train. You got to be dead silent on the train, like when you're commuting and stuff, especially in the morning. Nobody I talks. Know that. But by a Japanese but, businessman for talking too loud. Yeah. On the train. But, I had. But then Drinks, yes. <laughs> uh oh. There you go. That's always the key. Yeah, so I get a few drinks. Yeah. Me too. I, 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 like I wasn't drinking on the train. I know better. Like I'm not a stupid guy. Shit. I know better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna be spilling stuff on the seats and being a dick no. or something, right? Like, no. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I respect yeah. The culture. But yeah, that, you you don't want to be noise is a thing over there. And do you think it's because there's so many of them in a small space that they are noise conscious? I think that's definitely a big part of it. Is like you, it's so crowded that the only way people uh, don't, you know, end up killing each other here is you just, exactly. yeah, sometimes exactly. just got to be tone it down, right? Just, that's right. Yeah, because you're yeah. bumping elbows all the time, and it's just gonna. If everyone's also shouting, it's gonna definitely grind on you, right? After a while. <laughs> and 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 there where was, did you live before Japan? Uh, before I lived in Japan. Uh, I lived in uh, Vancouver, Maple Ridge, uh, and Burnaby. I know it well. Uh, but my my family now lives in Kelowna and Nelson, so those are all BC. Uh, you know them all. I know. I'm between. <laughs> I'm halfway between Kelowna and Nelson. So yeah, I know exactly. Oh, uh, are you like in uh, Creston then, or Rosland, or? Oh yeah, closer to Kelowna Vernon area. You're not like in Beaverdale or something, are you? No, no, no. I'm I'm on this side of Arrow Lake. Yeah, I'm on, on the close. Oh, okay. Side. But yeah. It's oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Hello. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh. Go cool. uh, West Kegel. He's always good. And Moonbots 165. I didn't know there was over 164 of them. Neither, neither did I. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Uh, thanks for being here. I I didn't realize you were here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> we do want to keep up with the chat. Uh, and so. Coming, I mean, in Canada, yeah, there's a we have a lot of hunters, we we do shoot things, we do have a yeah. lot of hunting guns. I mean, we don't have AK 47s, but there's a no. lot of guns in Canada. There's a lot of guns. Well, I think, like, uh, like, like myself personally, like, I'm 100% a okay with long guns because, like, long guns are so. Yeah. And by that, like, we mean rifles, like hunting guns. Yeah, yeah, like hunting guns and rifles and stuff. It's like... Not an Uzi. Like, You're not going to go hunting yeah. a deer. <laughs> yes. Unless you... Yeah. Well, that, that reminds me of like the scene on like uh, the Distinguished Gentleman. Remember when they're like tried to... Uh, uh, they bring him along. They're like, uh, oh, what's it called? When he tried to throw money at a politician again. Uh, lobbyists. Like the lobbyists are like taking about hunting. And they're like, look, these Uzi are just for hunting. And they're just like shooting out a flock of ducks. <laughs> <laughs> like I went the whole thing and they only hit one. <laughs> sure. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, but yeah, here around here, um, they, they do have some long guns around where I am uh, in Japan. Um, just again, because of the, the wild boars, you know, she, she around oh. here. Because they, they get into your gardens, like these farmers, they eat everything. Okay. In the country. Uh, well, that must be down south because Aomori didn't have that problem in the north. Yeah, this is down south. Yeah. So like a, so, chat says it's my Yes, West Japan. That, uh, West oh. Kegel says it's my impression that the gun culture in Japan is non existent outside anime. Am I wrong? <laughs> uh, yes and no. Uh, so, again, obviously, it's the imagery is the biggest thing in japan when it comes to gun culture but as i say before especially here in the countryside they do have gun ranges and i do know quite a few people have, have gone off ranges. and okay yeah they sh shoot off live rounds and stuff yeah yeah so 
Yeah, I, I, in fact, I even know one person that's actually a pretty big gun hobbyist, um, and he goes there quite often. It's a pretty good shot, too. Nice. Yeah, and then, of course, there's the uh, the Japanese um, Armed Forces. It's technically not an army, but it's no, like... There's self-defense force. The right? self-defense force, self but the self-defense... But it's like literally that's the right. world's fourth biggest army and, like, most powerful. It's, like, it's wow. huge. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, like it, it could still like uh they, they many believe it could still go toe to toe with China, like even though wow. it's like the population's like ten well, to yeah, one. Because a lot of yeah. there's so much corruption in China. A lot of the military leaders in China have filled their missiles with water and sold the rocket fuel for cash. Yeah, yeah. Japan. It's a it's a very it's a very similar thing to like kind of what, what's happened in Russia, right? Where a lot of those generals filled yeah. their pockets with the cash. Exactly. Um uh, but in Japan, it's a lot more strict on corruption stuff, right? Like Japan yeah. will go all out. Oh yeah, no, the, the, the Japanese right now it, it may be all Hello Kitty and J-pop and stuff right now, yeah. but I, don't, don't piss them off. Don't no, don't piss exactly. them off <laughs> because they because they will fuck you up. Like, <laughs> yeah. And and because they're singular minded. They are yes, if, that's if if they as a society decide to do this thing, they all get in the boat and start rowing. Yep. And it's full steam ahead. <laughs> There's no immigration really to speak of. I mean, they are ninety seven percent Japanese born, right? Yes, yes, it's yeah, it's pretty much ninety seven percent Japanese born and my kids. Exactly. <laughs> We're now are half and Japanese, yeah. I kind of see the lack of immigration these days. That might be a positive. It's it's one of those things where like I'm usually, uh, I, I'm usually uh I'm usually like a very uh what's it called? I'm usually a very uh centrist type person. Canada's yes. immigration rate right now is off the charts way too Same. fast because because there's absolutely no time for any assimilation to happen it's just no. too much of a floodgates exactly. and then and then what's funny is though people say well you know this happened before when like you know the irish and, and uh, the italians Not i'm part italian no. came over but but i also say yeah and you know what the the, the two decades after that also kind of sucked because so many came in at once and they started That's fighting right. each other and they started you know like that's it wasn't right. perfect. It it took decades to mellow out after that, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's like uh, yeah, we we just have. I mean, yeah, we 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 don't need to continually uh, grow our population. I don't think that's sustainable. Um, no, yeah. I, 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 what you want to get to be perfect is like. First of all, it'd be nice to increase the actual birth rate, like the at-home birth rate, to its replacement, and then like you could grow well, a little bit with immigration. Funnier, I think, is the problem. <laughs> well, you just got to ask the Surrey girls, and if you know that joke, then you yeah. you're from BC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rod Thunderheart, great to see oh, you. there. Oh, I know. I don't want to abandon the chat here. Um, we have some great people in the chat. Thank you. For oh, yeah, keep keep rolling in. Can you get in trouble for drinking in your car? Only if the engine's on, which is not right now. <laughs> oh, okay, because and I, my time and I'm, 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 I'm in my I'm in my parking spot too. So okay, and I, well, and I haven't I haven't spent as much time in Japan as you. Um, I've only spent a couple of years, but alcohol is readily available, and and mm -hmm. most people act like adults and treat it as such could That's you what, have the loose alcohol rules in canada that you do in japan without a fucking disaster well I, I i think that we're already seeing the results of that with like the loose drug rules in canada which is people have no self-control or responsibility and uh, that's one thing i saw it's like japan like you can drink it's uh open liquor laws anywhere you can drink anywhere uh, like walking down the street, fine. At the beach, fine. Yes, in the park, no fine. No problem. You um, walk right up to a police officer and have a chug of, yeah, and they don't like care. whiskey and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. That's right. And then, um, it's still, like little jars of whiskey in the convenience store. For oh yeah, $2. The, the, at the convenience store and a twenty four seven too. There's no like, 
There's no cutoff no. hour in Japan. But I, I had a vending machine outside of my apartment block in uh, in um, Abiko, uh, yeah. red wine in Chile, and there were you didn't have to put ID. You just nope. put two hundred n and and you get a bottle of wine. Yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah, the little the little the little glass sake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then like yeah, and because the key reason why you can do that here is because if that was in Canada or America or Australia. What's no. the first thing that would happen? That vending machine would be smashed apart. <laughs> All the booze oh, would be and taken. Be right. So be looted. Why? Yeah. Why is yeah. that? Did the Japanese have more respect? Like they I did. say, it's education system. It it's is. It's beaten into you as a child that you respect your uh, community and your surroundings. And it's, I so, so wish we, we had that. There? How do we get to there and still maintain our freedom of thought? Because I, I, Spent a lot of time in Japan. Mm. They don't have the freedom of thought. It is restrictive. It is. It is restrict. I'd say it's restrictive in professional settings. But then, where does a lot of the weirdest, wackiest stuff come out of? It comes out of Japan, because That's once you're right. when, once you're in your personal life, then you can go hog wild. And I like that. I like. I think that's the difference. Is in Japan, there's still a separation between professional life, where it's more about assimilation and, and working as one yeah. and then your personal life where you could do all your weird kinks and whatever right like and do you think it's a coincidence that japan has a reputation for strict pornography because you can't even <laughs> at least when i lived there i don't know what it's like there when i lived there in 2005 you couldn't have a dirty magazine it couldn't show pubic hair you had to blur that out. I'll tell you. Hair. But some of the insanely most crazy pornography comes from Japan. Yes, yes. So All right, I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to address that. First, that. I'm just gonna, first, I'm just going to look at Wes Cagle's comment here. He says, uh, as far as long guns in Japan, are rifles or shotguns more popular? Rifles, for sure. Uh, all the people I, ha I know, that all the farmers I know, they have rifles. Again, because like for precision shooting, uh, to get like a wild boar like, in the uh, woods. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. uh, it's not it's not like a bear coming at you and you need to <laughs> shoot off a shotgun round, right? No, these things are far out and boom, get in the field, right? Yeah. Anyway, so about the porno, the funny the funny thing about yeah. Japanese porno it's and and a lot of yet the most fucked up. A lot of uh, uh a lot of Japan's laws and. And again, Japan as a collective society means that sometimes things change very slowly because everything is like a committee. They got to talk to this, do this, decide this is a group. And it takes a while for things to change. And yeah. a lot of Japan's current laws are based on like 1945, 1950 era American laws. Oh, Because, uh, of course, the Americans came in the occupation and they kind of and the Japanese then kind of retooled their whole constitution and stuff. Right. And um, because they were defeated. And so when they're defeated by something superior, they sort of take on that, okay, we, we, they're better. We need to take on board that culture because. That's where the Japanese are so smart. They didn't say, let's continue fighting these guys forever. They said, hey, wait a minute, let's learn from them. And then they became the world's second biggest economy. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. 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 Overnight. It's from, from it's the crazy. 60s until the 80s, 100%. In the yeah. 70s, bad kick ass. Yeah, it was amazing, amazing transformation. Like the world never seen it before, and oh. uh, and and so the the porno laws kind of linger on that because how it works is, oh, stoke of the fire, stoke of the flame. Yep, that's it. So how 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 the law works is, in physical media, you can't show the uh, uh, any orifices that's being penetrated. So you can't show the vagina being penetrated. You can't. It, you can show the if the vagina is being penetrated, you can see the butthole. But right. once the butthole is being penetrated, then that's blurred too. So it's the weirdest thing. But that's for physical media. Now, if you do it like if you watch the streamed versions or like the uploaded versions, then you can see everything. But oh. magazine print and DVDs and stuff is going to be blurred, mosaic okay. as they call it. But like, right. yeah, because it's like this weird old law and it's the same with uh, like gambling in Japan, you know, the pachinko parlors, right? 
So yeah. it's, oh, it's, it's, Japan, Japan. It's, it's like the it's like Vegas on steroids times. 10. Yeah, but technically, it's not gambling because you what? win prizes, not money. Because in Japan, gambling is illegal. But what right. they do, what they do is you gamble, <clears throat> gamble, and yes. then you win a prize, and then right next door to the pachinko casino, the pachinko parlor, there's a little shop that does trades, trinkets for cash. Imagine <laughs> that. So imagine that, eh? It's bizarre. Uh, and yeah, you just give them this little trinket it? and you get this money. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's lurking right. in the background. He's always driving. Fermented has invaded the Japanese gene pool. I support this. Yes, I know. There's little fermented cinemas running around now. Two of them in this country nice. well, that Japan, I know of. <laughs> Japan definitely needs more red uh, <laughs> yeah. uh Says, uh, I have heard that the Japanese are considering to modify their constitution that the U.S. Mm. forced on them after World War II. Uh, Yes, I mean, they agreed to it. They could have said no. So, mm. uh, to allow they... them to deploy their military overseas once again. So Japan is going to be an offensive force? Whoa. They, they, they want to be offensive force again. Uh, I think they... Wow. Japan kind of sees... They're not dumb. They, they see the writing on the wall. Is that they see the writing idea? on the wall. Uh, it might be for them at this point, just because might the be right. whole... The whole, like, uh, global free trade or like the you know the global uh no borders stuff is kind of falling apart now and it's starting to become yeah. piecemeal again yeah. and they see that writing yeah pretty aggressive uh yeah yeah absolutely. there's a pocket of gas when i lived in japan uh there was big talks there's a massive pocket of of gas underneath the ocean between japan and china and it was technically in japanese waters Mm. Part of it was in China, and China was going to diagonally drill down into oh, the yeah. gas pocket, into Japan's gas, and tap it. And that was about to explode in 2004. Classic. How Some did, classic how did slant go? drilling. Yeah, exactly. Slant I, drilling. And that's yeah. not racist. That's nothing to do with nope. the shape of nope. your eyes. That is literally it's all slant to do with the drilling. drilling. That's right. And right now, and right now, I'm not being racist. It's just really bright in my car. Yes. <laughs> the sun's shining right in my window. You are <laughs> yes. racist right now. I know. I'm just a racist bastard. We, we're all racist these days. <laughs> so everyone so did is. Did they get the gas, or how did that pan out? I I haven't paid attention in the last twenty years. I the last I've heard about that is I think it's kind of uh, no one's. It's a gray zone still, and I think. No one's technically touching it, but they both claim yeah. it. So it's Japan has a lot of those. They have uh, they have that with Korea territory. But if China can drill in slanted, they can yeah. get it. Yeah, they can get it. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, and that's where you got to get, and that's where you get the quote from. Um, there, there will be blood. It's drainage. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I got my straw. <laughs> Japanese and... schools have no janitors. No, there's no Jedi's here. Oh, janitors. <laughs> janitors. <Okay. laughs> janitors. There should be uh, Jedi. Yes, the kids... If one country in the world has Jedi, it should be Japan. It should be Japan. It should yeah, be Japan. Well, well, like uh, the uh, famous lightsaber is based on like we hold a sword in Japan with two hands. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've... And I've done... And I've done kendo. I've done kendo. I'm actually knee done in kendo. So holding the sheen eye. So I know all about the, the Jedi I ways. I picked it up in a oh, second hand yeah? shop. Yeah, I went to a second hand oh, nice. shop. And it's a training. Yeah, but you yeah. wax up with it, it, it hurts. Oh, yeah, it's fun. It hurts, it hurts, like, a, it hurts like a bitch, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the bamboo yeah. strapping all bound together with the leather. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it won't cut you. But I would almost rather get hit with the sword than that. Like, oh, yeah. No, if, 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 if you're doing that freestyle... Uh, you're gonna get welted to pieces. <laughs> yeah, I'm just with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, well, he's big. Yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, for um, uh, that's right. Uh, Rod, Rod Thunderheart. The uh, it is um, uh, the kids do clean up the school, 
Uh, but actually working there, we, we got a nickname for that. We call it pushing the dirt around. Oh. Uh, Cause let's just say that it, it's, okay. it's good training for the kids, but it's not always the best job that's done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. they, they push it under the carpet and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. That, that dirt finds its way all sorts of nooks and crannies. <laughs> Because remember, they are still kids. <laughs> it's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah. What if someone, I, Johnson says, uh, what if someone wants to listen to their epic car stereo system throw, while throwing one back? Can oh, well, that in your car and listen to your music and just drink. Because in Canada, uh, you'll get a. I'll tell you right now in Japan, that's probably a no go because you're going to be drawing a lot of attention to yourself with the music. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, it's all about noise here. You can do a lot of stuff here as long as you're quiet. <laughs> but once you're loud. The country here, you can do a lot as long as you don't piss off your neighbor, you're fine. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. As once you start disturbing your neighbors, then the trouble comes ah. looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I suppose. suppose just keep the keys keep keys out of sight. <laughs> That's true. In the trunk, yeah. If the police find the keys in your possession, they because they have nothing better to do. I guess there's no real crime for them to go to fight. Like, you know, it's not like the politicians are doing any real crime, right? So yeah, just yeah. Oh, yeah. Never. Never. <laughs> Paul, you know, if there's one person you can trust around the world, it's a politician. <laughs> I, I, that, well, there's a reason that's a saying, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's I like track your dry clean. Humor, sir. I salute your dry humor. I am a full <laughs> fan of Monty Python, Faulty Towers, dry humor. Yep. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Damn right. The Japanese, the Japanese, I mean, it's not like they don't have a sense of humor, but they don't get dry humor. They don't get... No. Like, does your wife understand you at all when you joke about? No. They, 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 they have like no concept of sarcasm. It. No. They don't get sarcasm at all. Yeah. Uh, Japanese humor is very. Uh, I want to say Japanese humor is very on the nose and slapstick. They love slapstick. It's like guy falls down, everyone erupts laughing. <laughs> it's just like if you. Yeah. It's like they're stuck in the fifties. Yeah, it is. Yeah, TV Japanese TV does feel like. A modern dystopian version of like 1950s television in North America. And in 2004, when I was in Japan, it was always the same 10 presenters on TV. For whatever yeah. it was, on any channel, it was always the same, the same 10 people, more or less. Yeah, yeah. They have their, uh, they call them idols, right? Uh, idols. Yeah. And they got the same idols everywhere on everything. And it's, uh, you can always tell who's the flavor of the month. Because they started appearing on everything, every commercial, That's every right. this, like, oh, she's the popular one now, and then, uh, then they're gone, and then a new one comes out, and yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting yeah. watching that, yeah, like, like in 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 the West, like obviously Japan has manga, which is like, I'm not I'm not a huge manga guy, but I understand why it's good and why it's respected so much, and there's a few I like. But, but uh, can you but, read kanji enough to read manga? Because I never got. I uh, never, I couldn't. I just I, didn't get that. I can read kids manga with okay. the kanji. Uh, like, I, I got my Doraemon books and stuff like that, which I like. And if you know Doraemon, it, it's a really cute. Finding Nemo. I, I, I have it here. The Japanese version of Finding Nemo. And you start oh, from yeah? the back. You don't start from the front. You start from the... Yeah, I've been reading it for 10 years. And I think I'm on page four. <laughs> you have to take notes. Like, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is a good challenge, uh, like learning kanji, because it's like, yeah, because like people think like, okay, like you learn English and you've got, okay, you do got like a, the uppercase, lowercase, A, B, C, 26 characters. Uh, then there's also cursive, but a lot of people don't learn that anymore. But like no, in Japanese, it's like, okay, you got, you got two phonetical systems. You got hiragana, katakana, and actually yes. I can't remember how many characters they have, but I think it's like 40 like something 50, characters. Or, no, no, it's more, it's 50 something. It's 50. 50 something. Okay. Yeah, yeah and that's each of those. So fifty-two yeah. times two, you're already at a hundred and some characters. Yeah, and that's the easy part. Now it's time that's to start the, the kanji. Part. Yeah, that's yeah. the easy part. The, the yeah. character symbols that look that they they present they, they stand for concepts. Yeah, 
sentence. Yeah. And they're yeah. all in the same like, sentence. They're in the same and sentence. Then, and then, and then each each kanji also has like two different, like two or three or four or even more four pronunciations. Five. Yeah, right. five. And, and one's like the meaning and one's like the, yeah, yeah, it depends like whether it's like the first or second kanji in a word or like uh, something like that. And it's like, oh, it so just, did it's, they create it's so... this language on purpose so that no one else could understand them? Because that's my <laughs> They did. Like if you were going to create something, this is what you would do. It is. It says, especially since it's so different from English. Like that was a kid, I kicked myself in the ass for like not learning French or Spanish. Be like, that would have been so easy. Now that I think about it, I'm like, God damn it, the hell was wrong with me? You know, like. But, but would you agree that that getting to a basic level of Japanese conversation is easier than getting to a basic level of French or Spanish because you have all the conjugation, and Japanese doesn't have any conjugation. Uh, it's, like until you get the high levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be a hard one to answer. I, I, I did see like a like a I read like an article once about like the most difficult languages to learn, and I think like among the easiest were like I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, oh no, now my brain's going to like completely. It was actually like Italian or something. It was like was like one of the easiest to actually learn. Um, like if you're starting from scratch in general, like uh, from from anywhere in the world, right? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. And then I think German was kind of on the easier side as well. Uh, then you had uh, moderate languages uh, like French. Uh, I think uh, like Swedish was moderate and stuff. Moderate? I think Korean was moderate. Uh, well, and then uh, got to learn. Wow. Yeah, and then and then the hard ones were like Russian, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Polish. Uh, and all those. And then they said, where's English? Admiral Teague, hello. And, oh, Admiral Teague, nice to see hello. you. Yes, Hi, yes, you. hello there, sir. Salute the Admiral. <laughs> and, and where was English on that scale? They said English was the weirdest one because, like, for a beginner, it's easy. To get beginning English is easy. But then to get fluent, it becomes among the hardest in the world. Exactly. Because, yeah. Because the problem with English is there's a lot of things we can say simply, like this is big, this is small, and stuff. But there's so so many uh, synonyms in English that uh, it has it's got the world's thickest dictionary of words. So there's so many random small words for so much right. stuff. And then also, also uh, a, a thing my Japanese students hate, and I mean hate about English. And I totally get this now because when you're thinking about mechanically, and you're like, oh, I never thought about that, is they hate... Uh, counting in english plural like how come counting some things are the plural? most difficult thing in japanese because you count I, I don't pencils different than you count rocks different than you count trees because every shape has a different counting well, that, that, that's what i say because they yeah, for like for, for, for example for those like if you're counting <laughs> beer cans it's like hon like ipon nihon sambon exactly. yes. hon. right then it's if you're counting cylindrical. Yeah, if you're counting sheets of paper, it becomes my because it's flat and wide. Yeah. Ichi my ni my san my yo my. Right. So there's yes. all these weird counters well, well, for like all these counter. different objects in Japanese. Yeah, it's but like they purposely made the language as complicated as possible. It's true, and and uh, and like from our, from our perspective, I see like that makes absolutely no sense because in English you each say like three cars, you don't need a counter. Uh, uh, two trees, no. right? You don't need a counter for what it. what I'm counting. I'm yeah. just numbering them. But in Japanese, it's not like that. It's, are they round? Are they flat? Do they... Yeah, are they... I mean, alive objects are counted different than unalive objects. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and like animals is like... Uh, if it's a big animal, it's to. It, uh, ichi to, ni to, san to. If it's a small animal... It's a uh, hiki, uh, ipiki, oh, nihiki, sanpiki, yonhiki. Yeah. Oh, but then I'm like, well, who? Okay. I'm like, I've heard that. Who decides? Who decides the dividing That's line small. between big and small right. animals? Right. Like, yeah. what the hell is uh, is a raccoon? What, what what's uh, what's a deer? What's a small deer? Oh, my <laughs> like, God. So yeah. in the fa the the funny thing that I found fermented cinema, uh, cinema. I'm just calling it, gonna call you fermented <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, I'm just call me fermented. Yeah, the <laughs> Japanese people, and I will get another beverage. 
uh, the Japanese people themselves got confused. They themselves don't understand this. And they, themselves they do. They do. Work in, and they've got to use their phone to. Oh my god! To, like, to check it out. Yeah. No, I, 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 I've asked my wife. Done that. Like, not only to fuck with other nationalities. Yeah. So they can never understand you. I asked There's her no like, "What's reason. the we?" We we were at the zoo. I'm like, what's the counter for zebra? Is that is that toe or hickey? And she's like, I don't know. And she had to go check it out and research. Like, what is it? Like, what is it for zebra? I don't know. <laughs> like, but how long have but, you been in Japan? Uh, uh, Eleven Seven. years now. Oh my god. Were you okay? Yeah. So I was there in 2005, and then in 2016. So you, in 2016, when I was in Osaka and Tokyo, I was here. I was here. We were here at the same time. But yeah. not in Osaka or Tokyo. I might have visited Osaka. Yeah. Oh, man. That was a rough visit. That, that particular time, I the fire department took me back to my hotel. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but the fire department, in many cases, act like the police in Japan. And I they did do, not yeah. know that. And like they had everything out of my pockets because... I had too much to drink and they took me back to my hotel <laughs> no way. and every and everything in my pockets they put in ziploc bags and presented to the hotel staff so that it was all countable and very professional yeah. wow everything's done professionally to the team make sure it's all sorted nicely and stuff yeah um, so do you get the corruption in japan that you do get in china and apparently we're finding out in canada we get that here too you you don't uh, get the corruption, or is it just unwillingness to do my job because that's too much work, and that's what you get? I would say obviously nowhere in the world's corruption free. There's always there's always someone lining their own pockets or trying to do something right. Because there was like a recently uh it was actually this what, was the CEO of like Mazda or fuck I can't remember what company it was. Uh, it's a straight arrow usually. Yeah, oh, yeah, they are they are quite straight. Well, he got. This guy got caught. He was siphoning money off for something. But the, but the funny thing was, of course, he ended up being like half Peruvian. And he escaped to oh, Peru in a box. Okay. So he's not <laughs> Japanese. Obviously, he's not Japanese. He's, they're going to shove that on the Peruvians pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, was, he was a uh, 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 Peruvian boy. He was Peruvian born Japanese. That's what he was. So Nikkei. Okay. Yeah. So and, was, and yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna call a spade a spade. I'm sorry, but the Japanese tend to think that their own culture is pretty perfect, and if something did wrong, it's because they're obviously influenced from another culture. They are fairly racist. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. I have many Japanese friends. I love you all, but in general, you do tend to think that Japan is the best race on earth. Uh, they definitely still have that thought and feeling <laughs> with that not again not everybody of course not everybody. but just uh as, no. as, as things fall together uh because um again they were a, a, uh an I, I, isolationist country for yes so many hundreds of years and stuff so that Until, takes yeah yeah so uh, of course that Commander stuff's going to have a, and the black ships have you ever been to shimoda and izu hanto i i love the commander perry uh matthew perry not the guy from friends but matthew perry uh because like he's in all, the, he, yeah, Commander. He he he's in all the classrooms. They have pictures of him and stuff. What? So he's he's like a, yeah, he's a he's a huge figure in Japanese history and culture. It's hilarious. Yeah, and they even did their schools. even like a couple of years ago, there was a McDonald's campaign, and they were using his image for about him bringing McFlurries to Japan. It was what? so awesome. Like Four hundred yeah. years ago. I know there's something they did. <laughs> Commander like, Perry. What do you got for us, Commander Perry? Perry. Perry. I got McFlurries. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Oh, my God. And see, Shogun is a popular show now streaming. And so that ties yeah. into that's where Shogun comes from. Hello yeah. uh, to the chat. We don't want to ignore you. I'm having a oh, great yeah, time talking right. to you. And it's so easy <laughs> to just talk to you. But I, I don't want to forget the chat because they are uh, an important part of this. Well, the chat, uh, trust me, the chat's important. Uh, I did my stream earlier today. And every chat I get uh, is like a huge thumbs up for me. Uh, William Shakespeare Spielberg was really active on mine. Uh, really happy about that. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. I, I know him personally, uh, although we've never. Oh, yeah. Him. 
but I would, he's one of the guys that I would like to meet in person. Uh, absolutely. Um, he knows a lot. Oh, no, he, he was, he's he was great. Cause I, I streamed, I streamed today and, uh, he was like, I think the only one when I first started streaming for the first few minutes, he was the only one watching, I think, but it was great because he just, he kept on, uh, uh, commenting and keeping it going, helping me out. And it was really nice. This, later the count got up to like 10 or 11 people watching, but yeah, I, he was, yeah. It's always great when he can join your stream because he's always got lots of great comments to say and stuff. Don't let them drink your milkshake. No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My milkshake. Don't because it's about drainage. <laughs> the janitors are evil. <laughs> Come over to hey, the Moira dirty Kitty. side. <laughs> Did you hear we were, talk we were talking about you earlier, Moira Kitty, wondering if you were going to join in, and I thought you might be around. So thanks for being here. Hello, Maria everybody. Kitty. Brrr. Um, you know, it's a, <laughs> I, she's she's often here, and you know what, Moira Kitty is political, and I would love to talk politics with her in particular. Uh, anytime. This was a political uh, night tonight, so uh, I'm quite happy. Now, what can you say? A and I think I know your answer. I can say lots of words. Can you? <laughs> あ、あなたのあの、あなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあなたはあな
I actually prefer that now more. Big on the cosmetic surgery in the Japanese. It's all cosmetic surgery. Yeah, yeah. But you have Japanese going over to Korea now for those surgeries. Do you? Yeah, yeah. It was starting. Uh, Yeah, yeah. We we do, we do. But again, it's like um, it's it's just like how there's Americans and Canadians that'll do it too, or Brazil, like or go to Brazil and do it. Um, Still, the norm in Japan is not plastic surgery, but like uh, and. Aomori. But like, yeah. Aomori ben hanase masuka. Do you speak Aomori? Uh, Aomori ben hanase nai. Eh, to, boku wa Sanuki ben. Sanuki, sanuki ben. ben Where, oh, where's Sanuki? I don't know Sanuki. So, uh, I live in Get Kagawa. Ben to the and... end of a word, like whatever place you're from. Uh, like I, yeah. I'm from the Okanagan. So you add ben to the word of it and it means dialect. So, uh, yeah, you so know. Di- it's, Japan yeah. is full Osaka of dialects. Ben and is, is dialects how the Os- Osaka people speak, yeah. Sanuki, it's actually fascinating Sanuki? because I don't know Sanuki. so so Sanuki is uh, where I live. Uh, the real it's the old name of the area. It's called Kagawa now, but in the old days it was called Sanuki, and so they just call it, still call it say Kagawa Ben. They still call it Sanuki Ben, and, uh, and and actually where I'm from is famous or where where I live. I'm, it's so funny you live somewhere so long. It's like where I'm from now. It's just fuck. Like, I've been here eleven yeah, years. You might because <laughs> you have been. I mean, you probably yeah. <laughs> understand more history than some of the locals because you actually give a damn. That's actually that happens. It's like because you're actually interested in you learning and you study it, history. and you're telling them their own history now. You're, they're like, I yeah. never knew that. I'm like, you don't know that. It's just it's just over there. Like, you know? We're new, and we're like so fascinated, and yeah, yeah, because uh, like, yeah, around there's so many wicked historical sites and uh, like old like uh, uh, castles and like uh, actually I'm, there, like right yes. now in my car. I'm, Right in yep. front of me, I'm looking, I can see a castle. I'm not lying anyone. There's a castle. Like, I'm in my parking spot. There's a castle just down wow. the road. Yeah. Wow. And I can see it right now. Yeah. Try learning Chinese. I, I did try to learn Chinese in university because at the time I was dating a Chinese woman. <laughs> That's a good incentive. He says, no, yeah. fuck that. Try learning Vietnamese. What? Oh, Seven geez. tones in that one language. Yeah. I believe. Good luck. I tried briefly. Um, this I this is where water. Japanese is. This is where Japanese is thankfully simple. Is yes. there's no tones. There's no, there's tones, no tones in Japanese. Everything's no mono. Yeah, it's so mono. And actually, if you do, yeah. I speak because North Americans we speak tonally, so we have ups and downs. Yeah, I actually got made fun of for doing that because oh yeah, when you when I speak Japanese, I found I got better if I actually. It's kind of racist, but I actually try to do a Japanese impersonation of like Mr. Miyagi and speak like that, yes. and it and it works. It's well, because it works. The, it's because there's actually truth in that because that's how they talk. It's very mono yes. and da 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 da. There's English very little expression speakers. in the speaking. As an English speaker, and I am assuming you've been speaking English all your life. I have, yes. <laughs> oh. Trying to. You, you, you've heard. <laughs> A lot of fucked up English in your life, have you not? From oh, people yes, trying I have. to speak bad English, but yes. the Japanese only ever hear perfect Japanese. Exactly, they, never they hear only fucked up Japanese. So if you yeah. mess it up a little bit, they have no idea what you're saying. Yes, yes, it's amazing. Right? They can't, they right? can't bridge the gap. They and can't. it like perfect example of this is I was um, working at Blockbuster. And this like Greek or like Eastern European guy came in and he's like, do you have dead fish? And I'm like, dead fish? What, what the fuck? And so I was searching like, like, dead fish? Never heard that movie. Are you sure you're not looking like, I, you want to make a sandwich? Or like, I don't know. What, what are you looking for? And he's like, do you have dead fish? And I'm like, dead fish? And I'm like, dead fish? And, I'm like, and then it's like, hit my brain. I'm like, oh, you want big fish? We just got that in this. <laughs> What's and it's like fish? because it's like uh, a big big fish was uh the movie w- uh done by um uh fuck who who uh Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Remember okay. the Tim Burton movie Big Fish and it's got the the guy from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi in it. Um oh my brain is just Ian McGregor? Skip. Yeah, 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 it stars Ian McGregor. Anyway, it's called I Big Fish seen and like Disney Star Wars. I refuse to watch Disney Star Wars. <laughs> and, and I was able to make that jump. Where I'm just like, okay, yeah, I, I, could, I see what you're looking for. Because we, we're, used to, we're used to people speaking broken English. 
and us having to fill in the gaps. Yeah, but but Japanese, no idea. I went to KFC. Japanese. My my friend and I went to KFC like in the first year I was here, and we were like, "Oh, they got chicken crispy. Can we have chicken crispy, please?" And the person just stares at us like, "What?" And we're like, "Chicken crispy, please." Stares at us. What? And then I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I looked at the katakana, and I'm like, chicken kurisupi. Oh, yes. chicken kurisupi. What kind yes. of And I was like, yes. What the fuck did you think chicken crispy sounded like? It sounds like yeah. chicken kurisupi. Yeah. They don't <laughs> like, get it. If it's not exactly yeah. correct, they don't. And what kind they don't of fucking get it. I, yeah. I understand. It's Japanese for Yeah, yeah. What kind of mushroom means? I know. Oh, I see. Yeah. I yeah. got it. I got it. What kind of yeah. Wakarimas is present. Wakarimashita is I understood in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, um, espe- and especially in the countryside where they get pretty fucked up English to me. Yeah, it, it, living in a ski resort, and I understand. Like you can be coming from Hungar- Hungary, and you can speak some fucked up English. As a backpacker and a, as a former English, and I was an English teacher. You get even better at this. I can understand sort of what you're saying. But yeah, I remember going to McDonald's and I was trying to order mayonnaise for my French fries. And I <laughs> Uh-oh. said, "Uh oh, yeah, I know, right?" And I said, "Um, serious." I said, "White sauce, like shiro, shiro sasu, you know, white sauce, um, mayonnaise, you know, mayonnaise." For the <laughs> she could not get it, and I was, and I later learned I was like that close. I was like mm. one pronunciation off, like one little syllable. They do not understand. It has to be perfect. And you can describe it. You can say shiru sauce. It's yeah. white sauce. I want it for my French fries. Like, how many white sauces do I fucking want for my French fries? Hey, uh, we, we need a uh, big Jimbo in the back. He'll give you some white sauce. Right. Um, yeah, no, no thanks. You can get but, yeah, no, it, same, the same thing happened to me. Um, so, like, uh, I was eating, like, uh, these beautiful chicken skewers. Skewers. Um, yakitori and uh it has um uh for those that know there's a thing called umeboshi uh kanae spider-man did you ever eat umeboshi yes yes so umeboshi is um it's like this uh very sour this very tart plum sauce it's delicious it's awesome uh or or it's a little sour plum Anyway, on yakitori, they have like an umeboshi sauce that they put on the chicken. It's very delicious, but it has a specific name. And I forgot the name of the sauce. And I'm literally saying umeboshi sauce. Umeboshi, uh, eto, aji aru sasu. Uh, a right. sauce that aji has umeboshi taste. flavor. Yeah. Right. And they couldn't yeah. fucking get it. I'm like, figure yeah. this out. Like, Jesus Christ. Like. Put this puzzle together. Not. What am I asking for? Because they don't have <laughs> they don't have a hundred tourists coming to them. Yeah. All they hear every day is perfect Japanese from people that have spoke Japanese all their life. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Now ume means um, uh, plum, but yeah, plum. Boshi, boshi means hat. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, so that's a plum it's, hat. It's, it's the same pronounced, but I forget what boshi itself actually means. It's a Maybe different kanji. Some of the chat different. knows, or it's a different kanji, but the same pronounced. Um, uh, probably not too many people know more about Japan than you and I. Uh, uh, that's maybe, right, yeah. Maybe I could be wrong. I could totally. There, there, could, be, there could be a huge yeah, anime a enthusiast on here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just so funny. Just like, do that. And it, it just shows you actually how. Bridging the gap with people who are uh, ESL or like you know second language speakers is actually a skill. Second language, Be- yeah. Yeah, being able to actually listen to people speaking a second language and then fill in the gaps is a skill. And yes. you can tell like people 100%. around here. Yeah. Do you mind reading this from our friend William? This is a good. Oh, let's friend. see. To be fair, it does seem that learning multiple languages as an adult is possible more of a talent than a skill. <laughs> Personally, love doing it. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, definitely as you get older, it is more of a talent than a skill if you're more language prone. Because um, yes. uh, what, what's the old saying? It's like a child's mind is a sponge. 
and an adult's mind is a stone. <laughs> it's like everything just fucking splashes off. Well, yeah, that's I like. Mean, yeah. I don't know. I I moved to Japan um when I was thirty one years old. Never spoke a lick of Japanese, and now I can speak Japanese enough that I can embarrass myself in multiple Mm-mm. conversations. Oh yeah, you know uh, I, I know. You know, um, I, but you know what? I, I learned some idioms. I learned some idioms and some expressions that really helped me so that Japanese native speakers think I'm more fluent. Like, um, uh, okay, Saru Mo. Do you know this one? Saru Mo, Kikara, mm. Ochiru. Yes, yes, yes. So the, the monkey fell from. The monkey fell from the tree. <laughs> yes. Even monkeys can fall from trees. So it, yeah, yeah. it's an expression in Japanese. It means everybody makes mistakes. Don't worry about it. Every- everybody makes yeah. mistakes. And it and literal translation is even monkeys fall from trees. Yeah. Even monkeys fall from trees. Everybody makes mistakes. Saru, which is monkey. Saru kikara ochiru. Saru kikara. Ochiru. Saru mo. Saru mo. And mo Saru means mo. also. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, even even monkeys fall from trees. I love their idioms, and um, I love. Oh, here's a good one. Maybe you know this is a really old one. Uh, shit, uh, I've had a little bit to drink, but it's basically just a little. Uh, just a little. <laughs> no, it's only been eight. No, it's only been eleven hours, so we're good. Well, I was um, wondering, do you, do you recognize these guys here? I got some and donuts. Ooh, I do recognize so these- those. And donuts. So, like, oh, if you don't know what Anko is, they're from Seven. Yeah, yeah. Anko is a sweet bean. So these are sweet bean paste donuts, and these are mwah, delicious. Mm. If you like the red <laughs> bean, they're not delicious. Mm-hmm. If you're expecting chocolate. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you look at it and it oh that's got chocolate and it turns out to be red bean paste, it's disappointing. I was eating these in front of my daughter this morning, and she literally said, "Chocolate? She's only two. I'm like, no, this is not chocolate. No, it's red bean. Anko. Anko. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually did I did the faux pas, and I didn't mean to. And it's because I was thinking of it. And if I wasn't thinking mm. of it, I wouldn't have said it. But I accidentally said unko in company, <laughs> which means shit, instead of anko, which, means which shit. is Japanese yep. red bean paste. I said shit instead yep. of red bean paste. Because you're well, thinking, uncle... like, okay. Don't say unko. Don't say unko. Don't say unko. Because unko means shit. Don't say unko. Say anko. And you say unko because you're thinking of it. Well, anko, anko wa unko ni narimas. <laughs> so no red shit, bean becomes shit. <laughs> yes. It eventually. In one end, at the other. Uh, Canadian yep. Spider says West Kegel. Uh, and thanks for being mm. here, Fermented Stamina. Thanks you for, for being oh, here. Oh, no worries. Um, Spider-Man. Unpopular take here. Being a racist isn't bad. Being for your own race. Well, being <coughs> prideful. Yeah, okay. Uh, mm. Being prejudiced is what is the problem. Mm. I'd agree. Well, I'm proud I, I'm of like, my I'm own like a... race, but I don't think any other race is inferior. Bingo, bingo. Exactly. Color. You can be fucking turquoise. If you're a cool person, I want to hang out with you. Actually, if you're yeah. turquoise, I definitely want to hang out with you. You're extra. I, I, I actually had like an idea of like how you could spot like a real racist. Because like these days, the word like racism is like so overshadowed. I'm like, here's it what is. A, here's the difference between like a non racist person and a racist person. If you see a helpless child and if you want to help them and make sure they're safe, regardless of their race you're not racist if you see a helpless child That's but right. let's say you're like oh i don't want to screw that child they're this color you're an asshole you're a racist nobody asshole that's how that. it goes yeah. nobody says that these days yeah I yeah hope. exactly nobody says yeah. that. like there's there's no child you wouldn't help that's in trouble right you wouldn't that's care what their race is it. it's like you help that's that exactly child right. yeah exactly yeah. right wow I have so lost my place. Agree with you for a uh, And German for English speakers. It looked at it. Yeah, I heard German, if you speak English, is easy to learn because the grammar is similar. Uh, that definitely goes on. 
Uh, and of course, like, well, uh, English is kind of a weird language because it's cobbled together between it's German grammar. Oh, Taylor's twin Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift, Taylor greater Swift. than Disney, Star Wars, and MCU. Is that the name? I love it. Yes, it is. He's also known as Matt G. Matt G. Okay, Matt G. All right. He's also Matt G. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks for being here, man. Hit that like. Uh, you're sort of correct. Uh, modern testing issues are an evolutionary issue. I would agree with that. Mm. Okay. Uh, man, you've been 11 years in Japan. That is... Yes. After a after year and a half... I mean, I was married, uh, not married. I was engaged to the woman for seven years. We were together for 12 years. We backpacked through 21 countries together. Now that's we cool. Through, that's something. We, we went through 15 third world countries together. We moved house 11 times together. If you can move house Dang. with someone 11 times and backpack with <laughs> them through 21 countries, you're a good match. But honestly, yeah. uh, for Prince Sim Cinema, I she couldn't live in Canada anymore. She had to be back with her family. There was things going on with her family that she needed to go back with her family. And and I couldn't live in it, I couldn't live in Japan for a game. Like I literally just walked over here and took a pee. You can't do that. Well, it's, in Maybe where you it's, are. It's, Maybe it's, where it's you it's too are. bad that you it's too bad that you never gave the countryside a try because I think you'd enjoy I, the Japanese applied, countryside. But but Nova needed teachers in the city. I applied uh, for the country. I wanted to go to the country because that's where you get the real. Immersion. It's true. And that's where you get the real Japanese that's right. and the that's real right. and the nature and the animals and well, like like I, I sent you those pictures today. Is there a way you can show those pictures? I, I Let's can. show them. Absolutely, yes, I can. Uh, All right. I uh, have to. Yes. How do I do that? <laughs> yeah, because okay. unfortunately, I'm on, I'm on my phone right now in the car. Uh, oh, so I watch those pictures. I'm, those... New at this. I'm I'm new on on YouTube, but I think mm. I can. I think I can. No, that's not. These these pictures were taken this morning. A beautiful day here, just gorgeous. It's like 20, 24 wow. degrees. Lovely spring day. Um, all right, fuck yeah, it. really warmed up this last week. Let's see. Okay, that is a tab. Okay, so let's share that tab. Yes. Window, Chrome tab. There and then this should just have the present function. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I'm new at this. There we go. Can ah, cool. you see that? All right, so All right. ladies and gentlemen, what are those I'm, I'm, in your hand? I'm gonna explain right now. So that's me, uh, looking handsome as ever. What a what a what a guy! <laughs> just, just, um, Man, you're like six foot tall anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm six foot one. Yeah, you got me. Um, and uh, so this is uh, today is springtime. We went takinoko picking, and takinoko is bamboo shoots. So those are fresh yes. bamboo shoots. Take, yes. Take is bamboo, and bamboo, yeah. ko is child. So take no ko is child of bamboo. Yeah, and this is where Japanese is super is easier than English. Is it is anything it really that's is. young is ko. So like right. a dog, you don't say puppy like a different word. You say iru no ko, uh, right. a okay. child of dog. dog. Yeah, ko is instead of it's child. Yeah. And like bear, uh, which is uh oh geez, I forgot bear. Uh, Kuma. Uh, Uma's horse. Kuma. 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 Yeah, Kuma. Yes, Uma. So like Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. Yeah, Uma's Kuma, Kuma Thurman. Thorns. So I instead of saying cub, you say Kuma no ko, which is just Kuma. bear, okay. uh, child of bear. Uh, so they That's, don't have like a specific yeah. word for that. So Japanese students hate learning the names of like young animals and stuff. Apparently. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and so they, you're uh, picking uh, baby bamboo here. Yeah, yeah. So picking baby bamboo here. This stuff's delicious. And actually, I, I got it's a jet so in about. In stir fry. I got a jet in about 15 minutes because I'm gonna go okay. prepare these with my kids. Um, okay. But 
Yeah. That's some we picked there. Uh, let's go to the next picture. I'll try. <laughs> uh, oh, you're assuming I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. How do we do that? Should be scroll down. Should should be the next picture I sent oh. you. Oh, scrolling down. Okay. Um. Nope. There's no scrolling. And oh, yeah, there we okay. go. There we, there we go. So, so this is what they look like in the ground. So this is the uh, the bamboo shoots in the ground. And you could only pick them. That looks nothing like bamboo. I know, yeah. Isn't that cool? It just comes up like these little nubs. And you could only pick them in April. So this is the only season you could pick and eat them. And they are delicious. Like, oh they my are. god. Like you boil yeah, you Baby boil them and the Yes. Yeah. Uh, now you can for, buy for, them canned. You can actually buy yes, them yes, canned. You, you can buy them canned, but I'm gonna tell you, fresh is way better. Like, obviously, like, like anything you can pick fresh. And again, this is the huge benefit of living in the countryside is I have this opportunity wow. this after, this morning to go out and pick these, right? So these so are, there they are on the farm. ground. Wow. Yeah. This is just from, just from the forest. Uh, oh, there's a picture. So that's, that's where that is so gorgeous bamboo. I love yeah. bamboo. So this is I, where I, I was this morning. This is, this is the bamboo forest. Yeah. Up on the mountainside near where I live. So we go up this little you road walk here. You through here on a daily basis? Yeah. Uh, not a daily basis. This is only for just sometimes. Uh, it's fun to go up to the mountain up here. Yeah. And But bamboo and, forests have ghosts in them. Do they not? Well, where doesn't have ghosts, right? Everyone's died somewhere. I guess. <laughs> Especially in <laughs> yeah. Japan. You're living in a country yeah. that has had... Like, do, do you feel... Like, when I get off in, in, in the plane in Europe or Japan... You feel the, the age. The, old, the age hits you like it's tangible. Yeah. Like you can the age, it's palpable. It's weird. Yeah. You, you can really feel it. And and you can feel that people have been here for so long because there's always these little shrines. Yeah, see, even in yeah. Canada, like even in, even in BC, it's weird. It's not much longer, but compared to like, say, like Kelowna or Kamloops or even Vancouver, oh. if you go to Victoria, it just feels more lived in. You're like, things have it, been happening here longer. Is, you feel it. For, they have been yeah uh yeah Great oh i tried you. learning mandarin but failed miserably i, I failed too at mandarin yeah. uh uh japanese uh, is nothing like chinese i cannot speak no. chinese i have i can read some kanji like big and and peep like person but I, the I grammar is no they, they, they use they use the same kanji uh actually to an extent uh japanese kanji's changed over the years too of course yes. um and uh but the the grammar is completely right. different and there's no yeah it's 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 like if you speak english you can read some french words but it doesn't really help you too much right. not right no, you can maybe read like oh yeah oh, or Kashian. oh that's a warning sign i got it right like yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly that type of stuff yeah that's that's, that's the, about the extent it, of it it's it's the most frustrating because they use katakana as you know for foreign words so because it's in katakana, you can recognize that it's in katakana. So you know that that's a foreign word. You can probably in yeah. English. You probably know that word, but you cannot figure it out because they butcher well, it's, it. Well, it, it's like in, 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 Jap in English, we say McDonald's. But the Japanese, the, the Japanicized way is Makadonaldo, which is right. hilarious. And, and just like how like breath has a yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a vowel with each one. Yeah, oh, right. there's a William, William Shakespeare, Shakespeare was talking about the teeth here. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, it's well in Japan. What 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 they do is they call it cute teeth. They call, call it cute teeth. Yeah, Grand Cinema. I love the architecture of Japanese castles. Yes, they're beautiful. Gorgeous. They're my favorite castles. Have yeah. you been to Osaka Joe? Of course, I have. I've been to Osaka oh. Joe. Joe means castle, by the way. <laughs> yes. Um, yes fantastic uh I, I, i'm actually if you guys don't mind i want to come on spidey's uh uh show again and i'm going to show you some castle videos i have yes, please. Uh, can we if just you guys do don't an mind. exclusive castle video we, uh, stream? yeah we can if, if you want to do that castles. yeah i yeah. have pictures from osaka joe and um and i went to a few castles in japan and i went to this one in in kyoto uh was it kyoto it was kyoto I man, it was this wealthy merchant's house in Kyoto. It's a famous spot. <laughs> it's on the tourist circuit. 
and and it's this wealthy. Merchant. It's not my house. <laughs> and he has trap doors and 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 hidden rooms all through his house because he was worried about yeah, yeah. you know people stealing his his money and things and breaking so and stealing. Yeah, and you can go, but they don't let you go if you can't speak Japanese. And I had two yeah. French dudes with me, like from the hostel, and I was like, oh, let's go here. And yeah. they said, yeah, let's go. okay, let's go. And and I thought. And, and they got there and I said, no, no, you don't speak Japanese. You I managed to convince them that I spoke Japanese enough to let me in. This and I is... was translating for these two French guys. I had to work by looking at the guy's expressions. I didn't know what the fuck he was saying. I mean, I, I could listen a little bit. I had to explain in French what was happening. It was a fantastic tour. I'd love to go mm -hmm. with someone that actually speaks Japanese someday. It'd be fantastic. This is actually interesting of like where people mix up also racism with just um not being able to provide services is correct some places some places like i've had it where it's like they, they they'll say like no uh like japanese only or something but sometimes they not refer to japanese people they mean the language right because and they don't actually, want everyone else to be slowed down by your inability yes, to yes. follow along. but if you speak japanese they'll say okay come in you, you can come in because you speak no. the language and then it's okay. It's not actually like because you're a different race. It's just that they they are nervous and don't know how to approach because they don't have the English language skills to talk yes. to someone, right? Yeah. So that, yeah. Uh, do many Japanese yeah. make fun of those using the Kanto dialect or is it just an anime trope? Um, Kanto dialect? Not really. But no, Kanto not that I've experienced. It's the main island of Japan, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Island. Um uh, West Kego, honestly, the the one that they joke about a little bit is the Osaka dialect, uh, the Kansai, Kansai Ben. Uh, actually, Shrek, Shrek, in, in in you know how like Shrek speaks Scottish, uh, like yes. a Scottish accent. Yes. Well, in the Japanese dub version of Shrek, he speaks in an Osaka accent, which is fucking hilarious because Osaka is known as like the China of can of of uh, of uh, Japan. That's <laughs> why, why do see yeah, that's because my my fiance was from Osaka or Wakayama. She, but the Tokyo people have a real thing about against Osaka, and I don't. It's like it's a competitiveness. It's like Toronto. It, it is competitive, and it is, and it's like uh, it's totally like Toronto, Vancouver, exactly the same. And like Osaka is more open and warm and friendly and more well, louder. That's the so stigma, yeah, that yeah. racist because Tokyo people would say different. They would argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, how do you tell <laughs> fermented Santa? And this is a loaded question, sir, because I know you know the answer. If you are right. going up an escalator, how do you know you're in Tokyo as opposed to Osaka? Well, they stand on different sides of the escalator. They do. They really yep. fucking it's do. It's really bizarre. It's bizarre. <laughs> they stand on different sides of the escalator. It. Yep. And they're probably and they ain't changing anytime soon. Japan, they're not going to. If you're blocking the escalator, that's a no-no. You fucking stand to yeah. one side to let other people walk past you. Makes sense. You do not just, it's not a casual, like escalators in, in Japan, it's like a combat sport. Like you stand yeah. to one fucking side. And if you're fast enough, you can go on the other side, but only if you're fast enough. <laughs> Don't you be <laughs> slowing right. down, people, you motherfucker. But it's <laughs> yeah. in Osaka. Uh, it's Osaka. They stand on the left side, and and Tokyo. They stand on the right side. Am I am I remembering yeah. that correct? That is correct. I, th I think it's like as I remember it in Osaka, they stand on the Canadian side, and yeah. in Tokyo, they stand on the British side. Yeah, is, okay. is how it goes. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, and it's a thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, it's it's just is this hilarious and bizarre? Well, well, they, they actually did a video, and it was hilarious. It's hilarious test. Uh, they had a tank of live eels. I'm not joking. Live eels. And it was okay. free. And you take Unagi. them home with Unagi you. In Japan. Yeah, in Japan. they're delicious. Unagi. They are they're delicious. delicious but, but it's live eels in a tank in the middle of the city. And it's like, okay. you can take them home for free. I think they had like 50 of them in the tank. Okay. And in Tokyo, by the end of the day, only two were gone. Because, you know, it's a freaking hassle to take those home, right? In yeah. Osaka, they were all gone within an hour. Because <laughs> oh Tokyo people yeah. are more. Osaka is more. Way more. Yeah, yeah. Osaka is more like bold. Osaka is bolder, and Tokyo is more reserved. Yeah. So the the Osaka grandmas came up, so, and they just took so, them all. 
<laughs> which one would be New York and which one would be LA? LA is definitely Osaka and Osaka, uh, yeah, Tokyo would be New York, but much more yeah. with like a, almost like a Washington DC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have been or to like, Washington. I have been to Washington once. Yep. Me too at the airport. Right. And it was awful. <laughs> we're closing this up i'm freezing my butt off it's getting colder all right well done. let's get let let's get the last couple of pictures done okay Got a couple more pictures here uh so the next one there if you click on uh on the one this one here yeah so you can see this is all you can see the chainsaw there you can get a little size there we didn't well you use the chainsaw to cut down the old bamboo nice. um but uh, obviously the young ones no chainsaw, my friend. yeah yeah well, this is like an old little shelter area. It's hilarious. That's cool. um, a big knife. And uh, yeah, so there's there's all the bamboo that we uh, that uh, Takinoko, the young bamboo shoots that we picked. Go 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 to the next picture. I'll show you how we how we pick them out. So go to the next picture. Hi, hi. Chotomate means just a minute. Chotomate. Well, there's there's the hillside they grow on. So they're all growing within. So the young bamboo. So a bamboo shoot lives for only about three years. It grows up real fast, and then after about three years, it ages and it dies. And it's it's like aspen. If you know aspen, it's all one plant, right? And it's just got sappers that go right. under the ground and, and they grow up. And uh, I never saw bamboo falling down. I never saw bamboo falling over in Japan. Oh, it, it well, this is very clean here because they clear it out. If you if you go to a forest where they don't clear it out, it's impenetrable because it's, it's all okay. down bamboo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, go to the next picture. I love bamboo. There, I could build with bamboo all day long. As, as yeah, a carpenter, I, I do construction, as you know. I could build with bamboo all day long. Bamboo's beautiful. I love bamboo. And uh, there's the tools we use to dig out the uh, bamboo shoots. Whoa. So these are awesome. So you got to dig around the roots, and you got to cut the roots. Wow. And it's good hard work fucking uh, getting those suckers out of the ground. Is that men's work or women's work or both? This is anyone wants to do it, but it's traditionally men's work. Um, okay. And then the last picture here is lunchtime and sitting nice. on uh, this. Today, I was just sitting on the tarp. Oh, bamboo are huge. Enjoying my lunch. And that's the view looking up in the sky. Isn't that beautiful? Those are beautiful and huge. Huge. Yeah. Huge. It's gorgeous. I mean, I can't do a Trump impression, but those are huge. <laughs> Huge, that baby, wicked. huge. That is awesome. Yeah. So that, that, that's picking bamboo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I've got yeah. a lot more photos of Japan. This turned out to be a political conversation, and I can talk politics <laughs> all day long with you, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, we the can. The difference between, I mean, Japan, I mean, because... Um, also, I, also, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay something out here right now for everyone listening on my channel and stuff, too. Because if you watch my content on my channel, I take shots at both sides. Because I'm not afraid. I'm not a. Uh, I'm someone I can be friends with anybody. Yes. And I don't care what your what your politics are, as long as we have something in common we can enjoy. I, I'm gonna be your friend. Darth Vader, or GI Joe. Yes, or exactly or right. Boom. That's right. We're friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, William Shakespeareberg says I have I had a fairly decent conversation. With an Italian, uh, oh. who spoke only Italian, and was uh, with it, and the first year uh, studied Spanish while in Uruguay. You were in Uruguay. Uruguay. That's right. cool. That's cool, I, man. I you should talk about that. Uruguay. Yes. Uh, witnessed my friend using Spanish to speak to Portuguese guy. Yeah, Portuguese That's and Spanish. You you can communicate. Um, I. I did spend, I, I've been to Portugal. I love Portugal. Spent a month in Portugal. My Spanish did yeah. come in hand. I, yeah. It was useful. Sister it's, languages. Sister languages. They are sister languages. Yeah. Wow. It's getting cold. It's like here. English and, and bad so English. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I, I speak, yeah. I speak five languages, in cur including cursive. Yes. <laughs> I do speak cursive. Thanks for being here, everybody. Really appreciate it. Glad to have you here uh, for Memphis. Uh, well, thanks very much. I would very much I want, love to have you on. 
I want to come back on again and do like a because I got a whole bunch of pictures I want to show and stuff Castles. and do like there's a lot of cool stuff I want to show you about 100%. Japan and this kind of and also even stream because I've been streaming for five and a half uh, hours now. Um, but no I, worries, I'd love no to worries, do no worries. Politics with you, I'd love to do Japanese Anything. castles, like a stream yes. just devoted to castles. Uh, absolutely. Um, and and some of the major spots around Japan. And and, and again, yes. uh, I mean, I have probably a hundred pictures of Japanese food. If you wanted to do a stream, we could do how food long too. Could you talk and about Japanese food for. Oh, forever, forever, man! If you want to stream that's ongoing forever, like that yeah. freaking Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, AI thing. Do you like natto? Ah, natto choco. Actually, for those listening, I'll, I'll do my spiel right now. Subscribe to Fermented Cinema. The algorithm yes. hates my channel. Uh, it's probably see my content. I think I make good stuff. Um, yeah. So please subscribe to it and share it. Try to get your friends to subscribe as well. And I have a challenge, which is I hate natto, which is fermented beans. In Japan, it's they're gooey and disgusting. Beans. It's like fermented soybeans. It's so fermented. It's, I like it. But, but, but when one of my, I, I live stream, um, I'm trying every week, but I might cut back to once every two weeks uh, on a Saturday just because I'm so busy with family and work. Um, oh, exactly. But the, yeah. the, the deal is uh, on my live stream, if I ever hit 20 viewers viewing at the same time, I've gotten up to 16, 17 now. I'm going to eat awesome. natto live. I'm going to eat natto live. The, the next one is going to be on the, I believe, uh, in two weeks, pretty much two weeks today. And yep. it's going to be talking about the Mad Max series in Fury Road. And if 20 people are freaking watching that, I'm going to eat fermented beans live. Fermented that, that cinema is... is going to eat fermented beans live. All right. So come on, make it happen, people. Make it happen. Share it's the channel. <laughs> beans. It's very stringy. They're, like you pull it out, it's yes. like spider webs. Like, and you put a mustard sauce on it. Yeah. My fiance's father loves Shikata Ganai, Shikata Ganai. It can't be helped. That's my whole life. I'm trying to get YouTube to pick up, to get my channel oh. going. Shikata Ganai. Come on, algorithm. Shikata Ganai. God damn it. <laughs> Hajimete. That's, it's my first time. I, I hadn't seen that expression. Ah, that just means, it just means like, uh, like uh, I'd say like yukuri, the, the, the direct. Moikai Yukuri Kurisai. She she got the ganai. She got the ganai. The direct translation would be like, uh, "There's no way." But I would say like our equivalent in English is like, it, "Like, um, what can you do? What can you do?" Uh, she got the ganai. Yeah. She got the ganai. Yeah. I've never heard of. Is that a new expression? Yeah. No, oh, no, that yeah. that's an old one. That's an old one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. And and and, so and but. There's so much Japanese I, I want to learn and talk with you. Well, let, let's talk more. Let's talk more. And and by the way, Spidey, I just got a couple messages from my wife came up saying, where are you? Yeah, time <laughs> we, to go. Okay. <laughs> time to go. Yes. Berg, great to see you. So we can uh, easy. Julie, That's a skill. Adults, not so much. Yes, I know. Yeah. That's true. Oh, well, Irene Johnson, you should... Subscribe to Fermented Cinema too. I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. Just Fermented heavily suggest. Cinema, please subscribe to his channel. You are in Japan. <laughs> you are our contact. You are our ginger yes, yes. in Japan. And I, I do do interviews in Japan, Ninja. and I do do videos about Japan too. I, I, yeah, I, I'm friends with Ginger Ninja, and he is also up uh, more in the Tokyo area. If you know Ginger. Oh Ninja. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I know Ginger Ninja. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's an art. Yeah, he's up in your way. Uh, his again, his Japanese is better than mine by far. Well, um, we should have yeah, this all stream together then. Yeah, twenty-four <laughs> degrees is a bit cold. Yeah, yes, we're Celsius. using Celsius. Twenty-four because yeah, you... we're Canadian and Japanese. West Kegel, Japan Canada and Japan, Japan use the same system, so we're gonna we're gonna use Celsius. <laughs> exactly. Good, great to have. Hey, Jedi Bill, you're back. Thanks to having Jedi Bill. Heart. You know Jedi Bill. He does great karaoke. Oh, he's I know great. Jedi Bill. Yeah, he's good. He actually uh, comments on my channel sometimes too. It's great. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's like doing the mushrooms too. Yeah. Yeah. Not That's in the fall though. Yeah. Exactly. 
And and yes, bamboo is the tallest uh, grass on earth. William yeah. Spielberg is saying thank you oh. to everyone. Thanks for being here, man. I know your wife is calling. Yes. Uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Actually, I just want to tell you because what we're going to do now is we're going to shuck the bamboo and we're going to boil it. So Ooh. that's what I got to go do right now before I get in too much trouble. All right. Yes. Thank you for having me on, Thanks Spidey. For Thanks All right, for being see here. See you guys. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. That's awesome. Thanks for being here, Fermented Cinema. Um, live from Japan, folks. There you go. Uh, I went to a couple castles in England and Scotland. Yeah, man, the castles in Japan are no less impressive. I've been to castles in Ireland, Scotland, England, and Japan. France, uh, been on top. I was on the top of uh, Pierre France. If anyone knows Pierre France, uh, the castle in France, uh, sort of climbed over the barriers and went on the ceiling or on the rooftop. Probably wasn't supposed to do that. But, uh, the castles in Japan are really elaborate, really impressive. Uh, good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, William Shakespeare Berg. It says Miskatonic Madman. Just saw your comment. Uh, for about eight months. Private tutor for eight months. Good for you, man. DJ Play Nice. Good to have you here again. Thanks for being here, folks. Really appreciate you. Joining us around the fire. The fire's kind of dying down right now. So I think we're going to wrap it up. We've had a lot of great guests on tonight. A lot of good political conversations. Um, really enjoyed talking with Fermented Cinema about Japan. And you know what? Uh, Fermented Cinema, um, if you're still listening, I'd like to have you on in the next week or two. Uh, there's a lot more we can talk about. Japanese castles. I've got photos. You've got photos. I mean, Japanese castles sounds like a good stream to me. <laughs> sounds pretty fucking cool. Uh, Japanese culture seems very big and not disturbing anyone else, says Irene Johnson. Yeah, I would agree. I would mostly agree, other than that whole World War II uh, incident. But yes, other than that... Uh, DJ Play Nice says, uh, when you're using a staircase that's made of stone and it's worn away several inches of rock, it really tells you how many feet have been there and how many centuries. Yep. Cobblestone's the same way. You're 100% right. I've seen those all through Europe. Absolutely. Um, a lot of history there. Uh, William Shakespeare Spielberg says, back in 2011, saw a TV report said the Beijing government recognized 80 plus official dialects of Mandarin across the mainland. I've encountered people in the city they couldn't understand at all. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. William Shakespeare Spielberg, you speak some Chinese, don't you? I believe in private conversation, uh, yeah, you speak some Chinese. That's pretty impressive, man. I 80 different dialects. I'm not surprised. Uh, Miskatonic Madman. So I tried learning a little Mandarin informally and uh, couldn't get your head around it. Um, I find Spanish and French. Well, I guess because I, I learned French from the age of 10 years old in Canada. French and Spanish come easier because we're used to it. But you know what? Japanese has no conjugation. I, uh, Japanese, out of, I don't know, I've learned, I mean, I've learned and forgotten, but I've learned five different languages. I've forgotten Italian. Can't remember much Italian. Prego is about it. Um, but Japanese is, is a lot of, I mean, I've only studied Japanese for about four years on and off, as opposed to 10 with French. My Japanese is probably better than my French. Um, it's an easier language. It's it's just more simple, I think. Getting through the chat here. Uh, and your observations. Not standing out, being loud, etc. Says DJ Play Lice. But density is not as big a deal. I think subways, Shibuya Crossing. Yep, Shibuya. You're familiar with Shibuya? 
Yeah, that's a hell of a crossing. Yeah, there's like 500 people at any one time in the street. That is, you're absolutely correct there. Great to have you here, William Shakespeare. Berg. Uh, you can only learn something like Mandarin if you're living there. That's why I stopped Vietnamese. I'll get a private tutor when I get there. Agreed. Um, I learned Japanese. I was studying Japanese frantically, like every day when I was living there. And now that I've moved away from Japan, it's true. I don't speak it very often. Um, I, I just study it enough to maintain. I don't learn more. So in order to learn more, I would have to move back there and live in the culture. I, I'm the same way, uh, William Shakespeare. And I admire the people that, that don't have to live somewhere to learn the language. I can't personally do that. But yeah, good for them. Okay, yes, I get you there. All right. Romance languages. There's a lot. Yeah, between Italian and, and Spanish and French, there's a lot. Um, I, I don't regret learning French. I regret being forced to learn it in New Brunswick because I was forced to learn it. Therefore, I didn't try very hard. Because you're, If you're telling me to do something, I'm, I'm probably going to resist it. Guaranteed, actually. Um, had I, were I to do it over again, um, I would have paid more attention in French. French is a good language to learn. And yeah, I, I, I had the opportunity to be fluent and I, I'm right now I'm a two out of 10. So I, I could have been a four out of 10, but I mean, there you go. Uh, you, you forcing us to learn it. it it's not the best way. Soybean fermented soybeans are terrible. No, West Kegel. It it depends. Uh, they're they're pretty good. No, 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 no. Some of them are all right. Some of them are all right. Can't get past <laughs> William Shakespeare. Let me see if I can do that for fermented. Yeah. Thanks for being here, folks. I think we're gonna wrap it up now. Thank you. I appreciate it. William Shakespeareberg, man, you're a legend. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I clearly need to double your wage. Now, wrenches don't get paid anything on YouTube, folks. Um, we just do it for helping out other people, really. So thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, William. Uh, Irene Johnson says, okay, I subbed lovely, great information and love the visuals. Hey, thanks. I appreciate you. Thank I appreciate you being here. You've been here for uh, quite a while tonight. Thanks for being here. Uh, you gotta go nigh. Yes. See, that's, I never learned that expression. That is awesome. That is definitely something I'm going to write down and remember. That is really cool. Excellent to learn. Claiming, yeah, okay. Climbing on a castle roof. Yes, it wasn't that. Um, we basically, my buddy and I just stepped over barricades and climbed up the stairs that led up to the castle roof. Pierre Franz, if you know where that is, it's in central east, France, like northeast of Paris, I suppose. Pierre Franz. And uh, yeah, we climbed that castle, went all through it. It was fantastic. I've got some great photos from up on top of that roof. I uh, didn't get in trouble. So I it's like 20 years ago. I can't I don't think I can get in trouble now for that, probably. Um and if anyone has met Rank or Steve here for the first time tonight, you can find him here. Yes. Thank you, William Shakespeareberg. Yes, Rank or Steve was here earlier tonight. Fantastic uh, gentleman. Uh big proponent of the Second Amendment. We got into some great political talks there. It was fantastic speaking to him. Hey, Christopher. Great to see you. Christopher Dominguez is here. Hello to you. Thank you for being here. We're just wrapping up. We're just finishing the chat. We are done, folks. Thanks for being here. Best way to learn a language is to be forced to speak it. Agreed. Uh, the 13th Warrior with Antonio Banderas. It's a perfectly good example of that. Uh, the fire's dying down, folks. I think it's time to call her quits. 
Yes, those are the languages of romance. Portuguese, of course, with Italian and French and Spanish. I speak all of them badly enough. I speak each of them badly enough to offend people, I suppose, is the good way to put that. Irene Johnson, good to have you here. Thanks for being here. Uh, Christopher Dominguez, DJ, play nice. Thank you for being here. Rod Thunderheart, man. Glad to have you here, Rod. I'm just packing her down. It's late at night and the fire is out. We are done. Let's keep going. Rod, I've been almost six hours, man. This is like a doomcock length uh, stream here. I'd, I'd love I'd love to keep going, but uh, it's I, I think we've covered a lot of topics. I want to do another stream, uh, definitely, uh, with Fermented Cin Cinema on uh, Castles of Japan. I think that would be a good travel stream, Castles of Japan. And... Um, yeah, we're shutting her down, Rod Thunderheart. It's been a long night. Thanks for being here, folks. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much. Good night, everybody. Fantastic political chat. Um, and again, you know, um, we don't all have to have the same political opinions. Uh, actually, I I find we learn more if, if we have some different opinions coming uh, on board here. So it was really good to have. And um, Anyone is welcome to 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 say what they want to have to say. Um, I'm against censorship. If someone is trying to tell you that you can't speak, I kind of want to fight against that, and I will fight with you, even if I completely disagree with what you're saying. If I think you're full of shit, I will still fight for your right to say it. There's no censorship; doesn't help anybody. Thanks for being here, everybody. Rod Thunderheart, yeah, it's been six hours, man. The f I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold, dude. It's time to go in the house, you know. Uh, the DC of the Great One. No, I'm not at all. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here, uh, West Kegel. Thanks for being here, uh, William Shakespeare. I appreciate your help. Good night, folks. Uh, this has been a great political chat. Uh, we covered Australia. We covered the Second Amendment. We covered Canada. It's a fantastic conversation. Have a lot of great friends uh, that have made this possible. You know, a lot of good wrenches in the chat. Um, Raquel, Rennie, uh, Rennie A., William Shakespeare, all of you. Good night. Thanks for being here. We're going to wrap it up. Have a good night. And, um, yeah, censorship is no good. If, if someone is saying hateful things, if someone is saying misinformation, if someone is saying stupid things, you don't censor them. You give them you give them the friggin microphone. Let them expose themselves. You give them the microphone. Let them show the world how much of an idiot they are. You don't censor them. That ain't the way. So thanks for being here everybody. Good night, brother. Good night, William. Good night, West Kegel. Good night, brothers. Good night, sisters. Thanks for being here. Free speech, man. Without free speech, we don't have a whole lot. We think I think we have more in common than we have. Wow, that yeah, that camera is just fogging up. We got we got some dew moving in here. It's cold. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks, folks. Have a good night. Free speech, man. It's worth fighting for. I might not agree with what you have to say. I probably don't agree with it. Even if I absolutely disagree with what you say. I will fight for your right to say it. You know, censorship is the coward's way. If someone's saying stupid things, you give them the microphone. <laughs> Half of what you two is advocacy. So you've been here too. Okay, uh, DJ, play nice. You come around next time. We'll have another stream. We'll have a lot more bonfires. I, I've paid the, the money to be on StreamYards professionally now. Uh, so we might as well have a lot of bonfire streams. Might as well. Until until uh, the fire season starts and, and we can't have any more fires. It's ironic, really. Fire season means you can't have fires. <laughs> Who would have thunk? It is a great time to be alive. You know what? It is. Uh, absolutely. Um, 
there's there's less starvation in the world than ever before. There's actually, believe it or not, there's less conflict in the world. Uh, it's a great time to be alive. It is. I, I'm nothing but uh, optimistic. And seeing you people in the chat, I'm very friggin' optimistic for our future. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. The bonfire's done, so it's time to close her up. Good night. Good night, everybody.